Check my check. What is going on around? Talk to me right quick. We got a nice one lined up for you today. It is your host, Lord Cognito, here on a Sunday, the Lord's Day, appropriately. <laughs> what's going on? I right, Max, what's up? Let's see you for more season upon us. Cheryl Mac, my guy, man. Yo, I appreciate the love and support. We outside early. I see the videos. That's a lot of love, brother. You already know. Gaming Forte. Hey, Forte. What's going on? Now I'm Omar, the homie. Lydia Master. What's going on? Tim Purr. What's up? Necromancer Zale. What's going on? Christopher Hart. You're on time. That's what I want to see. <laughs> what's going on? We got a phone, man. Supposedly the legend. Hopefully the legend will come through. This will be fun. And uh, talk to the people right quick. Lords are pulling up. You know what I'm saying? I had to pull up right now. Atomic Sands, what's going on? I see you. A little tired today. We got a big show. We got a big show. It's been a crazy week. <laughs> we got a big show, some great topics. James Morrison, what's going on? I see you. So we're going to wait for the legend to get in here. You know? Oh, you can't be late for the audio video version of the. All right, for today. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Master Clowns, what's up? You know what I'm saying? We're going to wait for the legend to get up in here. Throw the crest up. We'll show him some love. We're going to talk to a legend in the game. Ham Solo, what's up? I see you. Great birthday weekend. Okay, happy born day, Def. Singer, what's going on, bro? I ain't see you in a minute. Fuzzy, what's going on? Blam crew in them. <laughs> That's what's up. The car master, my guy. Lloyd Metro, Nintendo in the building. Salute. Everybody pulling up. That's what's up, man. We got some fun show. Great topics lined up. Trying to get the legend up in here. Jason Rubin, y'all. This is legendary. This, the accomplishments. Hopefully, we get the chance to talk and uh, really dive deep into some things in the past and in the future. Kurt, what's going on? So, look, I'm gonna go make sure everybody's good. Go see what's up with the rest of the lords. And uh, yeah, we got a good one. I'll talk to you out a bit. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and um, you know we're about to get started. I am well. It's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. 
Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo, 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 This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame Still I be running, collecting them rings You just a target when I'm in the range I was the hardest to start Regardless, back when you was messaging people on AIM Check my vocals All on Twitter, but I'm anti-social Love my city, but I'm still by coastal I got it. Nah, let's switch that um, What is you what doing? I Don't do. stop Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo- 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 fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got no nah, let's switch that um, what, what i want to do don't stop no that was dope keep that keep that keep that keep that going keep that going <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got it. no let's switch that Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> update. <laughs> update. Update. So shout out to Lord Jason Ruger. I'll peace canceled. <laughs> I'll be <peace doc. laughs> But uh, my man's, you know what I'm saying, run a little bit late. So um, he will be joining us in progress most likely. But uh, we got, actually, we're going to wait for him. We're going to wait for the legend. So um, he's still coming. Everything's a go. So real quick, let me read some super chats before Sov get here. Oh, um, shout out to Master Clown. Shout out twenty dollars super chat. Leave a comment, brother. Morales through the ceiling. Okay, okay. And then um, hold on, Gerald Mack two dollars super chat. 
All hail the ILP. Salute the Lord. So, yeah, the legend is still coming. Jason Rubin. I got off the phone. We good. You know what I'm saying? Just need a little time. So we might start maybe maybe like five, ten minutes after. But I'll keep you guys posted. Waiting for the rest of the Lords to get in here anyway. So we good. But we're going to have a good show. Just wanted to make y'all updated. I was saying what we might do, depending on what's all on Go live briefly just for the gym to pay your own stuff and then We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, if Saul get in, we might read them joints off. And then, um, like I said, we, we got to give the legend his his proper intro, his flowers, though. We got to give him his flowers. So we will be back. We will wait. Hollow, I see you. What's going on? I'll talk to you out of it. Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them range you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got no let's switch that what i want to do Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog thing, very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boil you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, fire This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got no let's switch that what i want to do Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog thing, very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boil you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And, uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. 
This is that yoga, fire, flame. They think it's arson up in the apartment. They call a the department and I get the blame. Still, I be running, collecting them rings. You just a target when I'm in the range. I was the hardest to start regardless. Back when you was messaging people on AIM. Check my vocals. I'm on Twitter, but I'm anti-social. Lord my city, but I'm still by coastal I got you. Man, this was good. Um, what are you doing? Don't stop. I'm just keep that, Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame. Still, I be running, collecting them rings. You just a target when I'm in the range. I was the hardest to start it regardless. Back when you was messaging people on AIM. Check my vocals. I'm on Twitter, but I'm anti-social. Love my city, but I'm still by coastal. I got you. Man, this was that. Um, what are you doing? What do? Don't stop. Nah, that was dope. I'm just hey, keep that, keep that going. Keep that going. <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And, uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame. Still, I be running, collecting them rings. You just a target when I'm in the range. I was the hardest to start it regardless. Back when you was messaging people on AIM. Check my vocals. I'm on Twitter, but I'm anti-social. Love my city, but I'm still by coastal. I got you. Man, this was that. Um, what are you doing? What do? Don't stop. Nah, that was dope. Keep that, keep that, keep that going. Keep that going. <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And, uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame. Still, I be running, collecting them rings. You just a target when I'm in the range. I was the hardest to start it regardless. Back when you was messaging people on AIM. Check my vocals. I'm on Twitter, but I'm anti-social. Love my city, but I'm still by coastal. I got you. Man, this was that. Um, what are you doing? What I Don't stop. Nah, that was dope.
I'm just some super nerds. <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't here to boil ya You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again And we are live Iron Lord Podcast Lord Cognito here talking about the latest with Advanced GG There's a lot of things going on with the new product line Let's get right to it so we got that focus line, y'all. This is that standard. This is what we use right now. Kind of our caffeine substitute. And what we usually do right now when we're gaming, we don't use coffee anymore. We're utilizing this focus. On deck number two, you already know this is my favorite right here, the energy line. You already know birthday cake, one of my absolute favorites. Completely delicious. This is a pre-workout equivalent. And also, doesn't use beta adenine, so you don't get the jitters and stuff like that. So it's really good for that. And then the new, new. We got that hydration line y'all this is really good for people who don't like caffeine who want an electrolyte substitute and it is really sugar-free absolutely delicious so you got your three choices once again you know cog love is sour you already know and we're doing this right now so go get yourself to advancedgg.com use code iron lord on the checkout this is something i use all the time got to support advanced gg great products if you want to get your workout on even if you don't work out you're just gaming you need that focus and again the hydration line for those who don't want caffeine no sugar electrolytes you're good to go Lord Cognito here, Iron Lord Podcast. Peace. I'ma just chill and watch them and eat snacks in the attic I wanted to chill with the pack and be like a young whoop But then they would mistake me for addict If I can imagine it's cool to get you some advice Then invite your girl to your squadron Cause if you don't give her that option You gonna be single player like Siren You gonna get tossed in the bushes by King David Royalty and not a pretender Detrimental to an elemental What's an avatar to a knee bender I gotta be me though I know it's my destiny Work to Carnito Who cares if you fly if you still a mosquito You swear you ain't something but really be Steve-O yeah, yeah. You like to collect stuff and that's cool But I got bad news even if you really was that dude, King David still be the king of the statues. Since a juvenile, I've been cursed with a curse to be musical. And if you hate it, we'll meet in the crucible. Other than that, then it's cool and it's beautiful. We let you know that your dreams are pursuable. Whatever you want to do, then it's doable. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. Woo. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. Right, a little little mic check so I can see a level, a level there. Hello, sir. Yeah, oh, there you go, there you go. Now we looking good. <laughs> All right, hear ye, hear ye, and we are live. Welcome to the Iron Lords Podcast LLC, and also live on LordsOfGaming.net, episode number two sixty seven. And it's another glorious Sunday. We're back at the round table on the Lord's Day, and today I'm extremely excited about our special guest. And we've got Metaverse content and the co-founder of Naughty Dog. Is Sony scared of Xbox owning Call of Duty? Deus Ex Return and a Series S SDK to discuss. So we're going to get right into it. I want to introduce a Lord who not only began his journey as a young savant within video game development, but whose illustrious career is highly revered as a visionary to iconic franchises and the virtual universes he now empowers our developers to create. Introducing the VP of Metaverse Content at Meta, co-founder of Naughty Dog, and creator of the Crash Bandicoot plus Jack and Daxter franchises. The Iron Saint of Comics, who moves in mysterious ways, but will always give the realest speech at any developer conference. Live from Cali. Don't shake your head. We loved it. Kind enough to make his <laughs> debut at the Realm of the Lords. My man, Lord Jason Rubin. How are we doing, sir? 
You embarrass me. You embar <laughs> that's too much. And, but I do know it took until episode 267 to get me on. So I know there's at least 266 that were even better introductions before this, right? Is that the way it works? But I'm glad to be here. Absolute pleasure to have you in the row. Man, a legend of the game. I know you got so much going on. Have you got a chance to be playing any games during all this visionary, all this creation and, and stuff you've been doing? You know, it, it's getting harder as I get older. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to be the gamer. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't doing something that I had to do, I was playing games. But mm -hmm. then I, you know, you're working hard. Yeah. In the Crash series at Naughty Dog, I was playing games because I needed to look at the competition. At mm -hmm. this point, with two kids, a wife, working at Meta, I, you know... I don't get to play a lot. When I do play, my daughter wants me to play Roblox or Wonderbox <laughs> or, you know, Genshin Impact or something. I, I don't get a lot of time for my own gaming. So I have not as much I as I'd like. I hate you. I hate you. At, least, at least you're still getting it in. Shout out to the daughter still doing it up. And, just... and I play the VR titles. You know, okay. I do, I do can't try to keep up with that and make sure I see what's in the store and everything. But quite often, I'm playing the stuff that isn't out yet, which I can't talk about today. Oh, but... yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. What'd you, what'd you say, kid? What'd you say, kid? No, I, I said that. That's that's a great thing. Um, I, I I can sympathize with that. Too. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and you already know we got the four horsemen of gaming, those original lords of the realm, here at the round table with time sensitive intros. So we want to respect Lord uh, Jason. Why, why do you time? have to always remind? <laughs> <laughs> have to respect Lord Jason's time, Lord King, who eats other people's minutes. But anyway. <laughs> if they hand them to me, I will. <laughs> <laughs> my co-host with the co-host, my brother from another mother, the <laughs> difficult game conqueror, lord of his own world, and the how of the young wolf. My man, Lord Addict, how are we doing, sir? Doing pretty good. You know what I love? What you love? Me. You know, I love how King is acting like if we didn't, if we took up all of our time. If we sat here and did all of the time we was allocated, and he acting like he wouldn't still do time. Why you put time on him? Do his intro so all day to be listening he to you. He forced time on me so he could steal my time. He's a thief. <laughs> That's how you Thank you so much. So quickly, sir, what you've been playing? Uh, I've been playing a game called uh, Symphony of War. Mm. Uh, there, there will be a review. Why people always say addicts levels are low? Like, yeah, it sounds like your mic source has actually changed. It's, it does sound like you, you, it's coming from a different mic source for whatever reason, but it's all good. I st you still still fine. I just you can tell it's different. Oh, hold up. Yeah, they, they, no. yeah. yeah, look at you as attacking the, the, the chat. Now. Okay. Yeah, right, 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 excuse me, answers me. Don't worry, but it's totally <laughs> professional, Lord Jason. You see, it's a pro professional <laughs> show we do look, here. Look, man, it is me. Oh no. See, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> there I have to keep there we go. Sometimes I have to keep this chat on online. Wow, yes. you sound magnificent. Addicts world, y'all. But so Symphony of War, that's, that's been it, sir? Symphony of War, yes. And there will uh, my review is done. And after the podcast, uh, we'll be premiering into it. No uh, doubt. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was actually a really fun time. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? I was doing research on it when mm -hmm. I was doing the review. And uh, only two people made that game. It's crazy yeah, what two people do. so crazy. Kind of art it's funny you said, too, when I talk about what I'm playing, it's so interesting you said that. Oh, shout out to 108 Dragon TV in the building. Good to see you, brother. Hack success yes, on your surgery. Yes. Good to see you, man. I, I I just noticed that. I wanted to give one away. Man, Limpy, what's going yeah. on, Limpy? <laughs> Lord Limpy, Limpy. Let me stop. Lord anyway, Limpy. we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna. Do that. We're gonna Lord be focused. Limpy. We're gonna be professional. <laughs> and, and Limpy, Limpy Lemonius, <laughs> and of course we have our most technical gaming lord, the solo gamer who lives for the single player selfish experience, and also the Sostradamus. Lord, <laughs> Lord Clarity and Patreon. <laughs> You're making me laugh. I'm of the, Lord Clarity? Yeah, you're Lord Clarity now of the I Am Bank. My man, Lord Sovereign, how we doing, sir? I'm good. Doing fantastic, man. Doing fantastic. Um, Let me see. Let me see. What have I been up to this week? Uh, <laughs> you know, pop a game. Pop a game, uh, giveth. You know, I'm still rocking with the Steam Deck. So the, the thing is, I haven't been a tweaker for a long time. You know, mm -hmm. I, I fell into the console stuff and I kind of strayed away from my roots, tweaking PCs and messing mm -hmm. with stuff. But the Steam Deck has just brought me back, you know, like like Michael Corleone, it brought me back in. Mm -hmm. and so I'm messing with that. And, and what I forgot that the Steam Deck had at my disposal that I, that I just completely forgot about, mm -hmm. FSR 2.0. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my. Because <laughs> I, I, I got GTA on the five on there. I'm like, okay, mm. messing around with the settings, trying to get things so, so that it's it's looking good, mm. running well. But there were still little hiccups here and there. So I'm like, wait a minute, mm. FSR. 
So I didn't even, I even know how to access it on, on the, uh, on the steam deck. So I, you know, Googled, found some stuff out mm -hmm. Threw that on oh, difference, man. difference, because honestly, like you can run that at like 720p, even less than that. You can mm -hmm. run it at 720p mm -hmm. with basically most effects on looking beautiful, whatever. And then the upscaling episode FSR makes it look native, you know, whatever the screen is 720p native, 800p native. Mm -hmm. So it just brings it up and it looks super crisp and yet you don't lose any of the performance. Oh, that it is, is so beautiful that you got to work to play. It's, it, <laughs> hey, 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 man. Congratulations, Solv. I thought I didn't <laughs> like combat talk. Now, <laughs> now you don't, you don't like Steve Deck talk now. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen you peons. <laughs> listen, peons. Oh, he's back. Just, Excuse, he's back to race now. Continue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He, said, exactly. he said he called us peons. Peons now. You know you got Real bougie yeah, now. Yeah. Continue. You gotta make sure that the left eye uh, goes. All I know, eye. all I know, back in the day, King would buy this just to buy it, even yes. if he was gonna collect dust. Yeah, but King, all, I, I just don't understand. Using a guy that you would have to put like a chair together to play a game. Like but ridiculous. As, as, as Time. As, as, Excuse me. These are not expedited intros. Continue. Uh, but as Jason <laughs> has clearly uh, pointed out, I have grown up, sir, and I'm yes. so <laughs> and I don't have time to be tweaking my game. <laughs> you have grown up with all your tattoos in the back. That's yes, right. continue. He's grown up. <laughs> Up. Continue, continue. I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was it. That's okay. it. That's been fun because uh, a lot of stuff that doesn't seem to run super great. Mm -hmm. and, it, and and the main thing about it is that I'm fiddling with PCs again, which that's I cool. have not done in a long time. So that's fun. Salute, salute. And of course, we have the Incredible Hulk of this, aka the Excess Gamer. Ooh. The Prophet of Xbox. That's what I mean. King of the statues, who demands nothing less than that premium experience. It is the leader of the fraud alert movement. Ooh. Beloved Lord King. How you doing, sir? And jo Lord Jason's going to get some. This, oh! This is like, and you know something? Hold on. I got to say hold something. Hold on, Lord Jason. I am so Woo! happy that you ran and got Jack and Dexter. Look at that. I awesome. freaking love them. Love that. I'm so happy that you even just reached back. See, that, that's how God works, people. Mm -hmm. God works Beautiful. very well. Mm -hmm. Um, This whole week, I was going to do Combat Talk last night, and I didn't do it because it was a DAZN show. And I'm not into bum bashing. Oh, damn. right. Uh, what they do is they set up uh, the, the A side of the card mm. to be somebody that is supposed to be dominated. I don't think that's how sports mm. is supposed to go. Oh. I think it's supposed to be fair competition every time you step inside the ring. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to waste your time, my time, and anybody else's that. time on a card that wasn't so worth our time. So they, they're on that tomato can pay-per-view? Yes. Oh, yes. oh, no. no. Slender. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, I, yeah, yeah. I, don't mind, I don't mind tomato cans if they're on ESPN. If they're on, yes, when exactly. you make me pay for that. But nah, if I got to pay for it, no, no, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tomato can. I <laughs> finish. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, okay. okay. Shout out to Respawn. Shout out to Vincent um, Pella and the crew. Yeah, because I since I heard about the Black Panther, mm. I wanted to go back and I yeah. wanted to evaluate the team. Okay. okay. Um, How we feeling? And I think it won't be a fair assessment because of the fact that it's a last generation game. Yeah. So mm -hmm. my nitpicks with the game mm -hmm. is based on the fact that the limitations of the last generation hardware gotcha. doesn't translate to current generation hardware. Mm -hmm. And I see certain things that they can improve on. Mm -hmm. But as I was talking with Attic this week, because he was like, oh, you you almost finished with it because mm -hmm. I told him where I was at. Yeah, mm -hmm. you didn't call me when you finished it. Oh, man. no, I didn't because it was it was uh, 430 in the morning, sir. <laughs> I, I, saw you. I, knew you mm -hmm. I saw you. I saw you when you jumped on. Mm -hmm. Um. But it's such a great surprise for a certain character that does show up, and he's a very iconic character inside mm. uh, Star Wars uh, franchises. And the way that they displayed him, they and I love realistic. the way that they, ha they have the reverence of this character. Mm. So the story, some of the cinematics mm -hmm. in this game is top-notch, and you really feel like you're part of the lore of the Star Wars. So... If, if if they can capture the essence of the Black Panther mm -hmm. and bring the essence of the Black oh, Panther he's over, coming around. he's coming around on respawn. Um, okay. No, because I I I, I unjustly um, yes, you were very harsh, you were very harsh last week. Yeah, <laughs> very harsh. But but that was off of initial I so, and, and off off of past reputation. So yeah. I don't trust yeah, I EA think... in that space, especially with a character like the Black Panther that I know. Yeah. So think... remember, remember, it's not it's not respawn making it. Yeah, but you assume that the influences of right, what you correct. know they've yeah, done with. Exactly. Thank you for the correction, yeah. yeah, 
So yeah. um, that's all I've been doing. Um, mm -hmm. And I've been playing Fortnite. So mm -hmm. Fortnite uh, has a skin in there mm -hmm. that's part of the Jedi Fallen Order last uh, mm -hmm. villain that I'm trying to get. Okay. And shout out to young Chris. Uh, we were playing and we got our mm -hmm. chicken dinner uh, because he <laughs> wants to be LeBron James all the time. <laughs> no yeah. doubt. I and, think, I'm sorry, I got just real quick, I think what King, uh, you know, what I sense what King was saying is now since he's played Fallen Order and he saw that they did respect that lore and they brought it to yeah. that game in such a great way that he can maybe have a little bit more hope that they will do yeah. that. Um, yeah, like, it's a single player. I get you. I'm optimistic yeah. in, mm -hmm. in, in their, their try. No doubt. And of course, we have the gaming ninja himself, the Shinobi, Lord Cognito, spreading that realness in the realm of the IOP. Not telling you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Shout out to Defining Duke, my boy, Mr. Matty Plays. Had a good one talking about the Call of Duty stuff that we were going to talk about later. Also on the Patreon, LSM Patreon, we have the uh, Defining Duke Ultimate Exclusive, As Dust Falls. Shout out to Interior Night, the uh, little indie studio out there in London. We do a spoiler cast. We talk about the choices and all that stuff. Shout out to Ben Smith, who came through. Fun game i highly recommend you guys give it a shot uh we did last word with the i got travis have my man stadia time which is hilarious mm -hmm. so stadia <laughs> content creator that and dude was a banana he was yes and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, and when i saw that i said i don't know how you kept it together throughout. i don't know how, he literally did the whole show through obs as a banana he's super talented um as far as me on uh, naraka blade point i've been playing the uh the campaign came out very cool little Dark Souls S three player co op, and then um V I got a shout out Purple Yonder Games uh Lord Jason um they have a a title it's called Little Cities and I'm like such mm -hmm. a Sim Cities guy so I'm Very like oh, yeah it's like you giving me Sim City and then they got the touch controls now so I put the, the Oculus controls down and I'm sitting there manipulating the boy it's so relaxed it's like so it's, it's like your city too like you mm -hmm. feel like you're the god looking over it right as yes. opposed to the screen and the window that you used to have. Absolutely, yeah. man. I've been playing that. Obviously, still DBO, of course. I'm a huge DBO fan. Shout out to the uh, the Necromancer class. But yeah, I wanted to give Purple Yard their, their love. I it's a relaxing game, and it's just it's my power wash simulator for VR. Like I just relax. I'm sitting there making my cities, doing my seeing what the demands are, and all that other stuff. So, so off real quick, so we get into uh, before we get into Lord Jason. Let's um set the uh, rules of engagement with the Super yeah Super guys. Show. So uh, we only have Jason for a limited amount of time. Well, maybe a little longer than than, than yes. other guys. But but again, we still got. Gotta respect this time mm -hmm. so uh any <laughs> nice. question <laughs> nice and, you know so what we're gonna do is kind of wait there'll be specific times maybe later on and we'll have some the super chats be able to to read off some of them but any Questions super chats that, that come in sense. yes <laughs> any super chats that come in early on we're just gonna hold off till later mm -hmm. so but again ask everything that you want but uh you just understand that it, yes you, you got to get through the interview <laughs> exactly and, thank um, you guys also so we, we we caught up with super chats right we good no we got to read two super chats right, we go. got god's hit man doing, doing it for the lord chat, doing it for the lord <laughs> putting it down, Put for it the down lord. <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> like and share this podcast appreciate <laughs> you, you brother appreciate, appreciate you, you brother <laughs> there we got gerald mack five dollar super chat looking forward to hooking up with k asante on contractors today ilp should Ooh. join us wink, wink. yo shout out to k asante he does a good podcast that definitely we're going to link up what to do the podcast of you i believe shout out to k asante shout out very to, nice uh, yeah, everborn soccer in my VR right now. Yes, sir. What else we got? Then we got uh, Lord Metroid, member for 11 months. Mm -hmm. Proud to be a member of this community and the best podcast in the universe. Uh, I even get out here on Planet Zeeves. Hey, Jason. Muchisimas gracias. Woo! <laughs> okay. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Uh, mm -hmm. We're good. All right, cool. Let's get these topics going. So, yeah, now that we've done our uh, super long intros. <laughs> Super. We did all right. We did all right. We did all right. It's usually about 30 minutes in the show. Intro. Five people. <laughs> all right. True, 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 true. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, now we got to focus on Lord Jason Rubin, his video game system history, his journey into game development, co founded the iconic Naughty Dog Studio, and of course, what led him to Oculus and becoming the VP of Metaverse Content. So, Lord Jason, let's start from the very beginning. What were some of the yeah. first video game systems you had, and what got you into gaming? Yeah, very beginning. Channel F was the first video game system I owned. It wasn't the first mm -hmm. video game I played, but that was the first video game system I owned. And for those that don't know, that was before Atari. That was Ooh. the first cartridge-based system. Mm -hmm. It was brilliant, but then nothing came out for, for a while. Mm -hmm. And so I had all, you know, this is Pong, we're talking Breakout. I mean, the graphics were horrible. The controllers were miserable. 
Yes. It was beautiful. I was on it all day. And it was the closest thing you could have to arcade at home. Yeah. Uh, I missed Atari. I had a Sega system. I had Nintendo systems. And then, you know, PlayStation and everything came out. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you want me to talk about how I got into games? Yeah, I'll be before. Well, I want you to back up a second, just okay. a second, because we, me and King, we got, we got to get up on some questions here. Um, right. I'm so, looking at Channel F right now. Yeah, yeah I've yeah, never heard of Channel F. F. Hold on. Wait, wait, yeah, you never, up. you guys have never played a Fairchild? No. Okay, let, let me explain something to you. Thank God, someone came on the show and said, I'm probably the older, I'm like, two of you don't add up to my age here, you understand? I'm 52, <laughs> so I actually do. There's going to be a lot of Googling some of the early shit. No, no, no. Don't get it twisted. This is just for men. For real. We're closer than you think, Jason. My earliest console was the actual Pong console, right? The two paddles, blah, blah, blah. I didn't hear of a Fairchild at all, but I did have Breakout and all those other games. I think the Pong one was earlier, but it didn't have cartridges. So you bought it with the games, you played what was on it, you know, game one, game two, game three, you're done. That's it, nothing new comes because they didn't have any kind of removable system. Right. Channel F, the revolution was the cartridge. And that was what became Nintendo and everything else, Atari, everything came from that. I'm looking at pictures of it right now. It looks like a like one of those old cassette players yeah, that's that cops like record. Pretty much stuff. what it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jerry yeah, Lawson. That's yeah. a name you haven't heard. Look up yes. Jerry Lawson. Jerry he Lawson. Was one of the creators of the video game industry and didn't get a lot of notoriety. Yes, that yes. Guy, not at all. Yep. That guy deserved it. Absolutely. And my grandfather won the Channel F. My parents would never have gotten me a video game system. Wow. My fa- grandfather won it by getting closest to the hole in some golf tournament. He was a golfer. Okay. And he was like, what the hell is that? And he gave it to me. And the next thing on the next hole was a Cadillac. So he was like, wow. Wow. Wrong hole. And I, that career. <laughs> right here I am 52. That, that one thing, that one <laughs> shot on the golf, uh, you know, off the tee, that mm-hmm. was what created my career. Changed so my changed my life. Yeah. So that was the channel app. Did, so did you get a chance? Well, had, did Grandpa get a chance to see your career? Uh, he saw some of the early stuff. My nice. grandfather passed away when I was seventeen, mm-hmm. but by seventeen, I was working with EA as a contractor. So oh, okay. it's not like he didn't see me make video games, but right. he saw the early stuff. He never saw Crash Bandicoot. Gotcha. You know, Naughty Dog existed, but he, you know, it was yeah. too. You know, Andy, yeah. kids but he saw like a hobby shit. to him, probably. He saw your path. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the good thing oh, he did. is he saw his influence and what he did in the younger days get you yeah. you all. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I still yeah. think he wanted the Cadillac. He's sitting there probably like, you know, he's seeing you doing stuff and he's like, you know, he's like, this is nice, but that was a Cadillac. It was mm-hmm. a Cadillac. Mm-hmm. So for an old man in, in that time, a Cadillac was like the thing. Yes. Yo, that's, what it's, that's what I was about to say. I said back then, a Cadillac. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, listen. Man, my, my Fairchild stores, I didn't own the Fairchild, but my grandfather grandparents did and they lived in Brooklyn and we always tried to visit them at least like twice we visit them from the Bronx like twice a month right mm-hmm. and I'd walk in and be like hey you know give my grandparents a kiss and then run right for the Fairchild right <laughs> when they passed away and they moved and we uh, well they passed away and my my grandfather passed away and my step-grandmother moved back to Puerto Rico we went to help clean out the house right and they had a whole bunch of stuff and by that time I was older I wasn't interested in that so my dumbass didn't take the Fairchild with me, like this piece of history. I'm like, ah, whatever. You know, back then you just like very flippant about yeah. what yeah. these things mean Good after point. you moved on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. And I just like, now that you mentioned, mentioned that, Jason, it's like, oh God, I, I, I literally threw the Fairchild in the trash. Wow. Mine is long gone too, but that's what yep. makes things worth a lot more in the future, right? Mm-hmm. It's everybody that doesn't pay attention to it. Exactly. You, know I mean? you got a lot of people that, you know, you know it's funny that, you know, I've went through and I've played all these old Pokemon games, and then you go and you look on Amazon, I'm like that, that that that's worth nine hundred dollars. Like mm-hmm. I, I yeah. had that when I was twelve. What yeah, happened real. to it? It's, it's <laughs> absolutely real. It's, it's it's interesting to hear these stories of, of inspiration and and the first console. So you you went from that. Now you go through. You know, obviously, did you do, did you do the twenty six hundred? Did you do the Colecos and no, then no the any? No, so no Atari. Like I just want to get that transition to the next kind of consoles. Right. So the, the, the way it worked was I was into video games, mm-hmm. but I, I was really into Star Wars. Like, that's the mm-hmm. first thing that hit me. In 1977, I saw it in the theater and I came out and all my friends were whacking each other at school thinking they were like Luke. And I was like, I want to be, you know, I, I want to be Lucas. I want to make stuff. 
Ooh. And so I asked my father for a movie camera because okay. did you know you didn't have VHS and stuff like that. You couldn't get those cameras back then. Mm -hmm. And he said, no way. Like, we lived in Florida. <laughs> like, over the shoulder of the cannon? No, it wasn't going to yeah, happen. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it was <laughs> these things, you, know, you didn't have like your iPhone to throw in somebody's face. Yeah. Everything was like expensive and, you mm -hmm. know, ungainly. And he was like, there's no way. You're seven years old. And I kept begging for it until someone put a computer in front of me. And that was in uh, elementary school. Wow. And so they put that in front of me and I was playing already Channel F and I was like, this is it. This is my chance to make worlds. Mm -hmm. So I started asking for a computer and I finally got one when I was 13. My father thought it would be the dumbest thing he ever did to buy it because <laughs> they're expensive. Like, you yes. know, yeah. $4,000 really? in, you know, this was 83. Yep. So this was a good percentage of his salary. Wow. He bought this computer. He's like, I'm going to balance my checkbooks. You're going to do your homework. Most of that yeah. didn't happen, but I started mm -hmm. making games immediately. <laughs> Uh, making worlds and so we were mostly like apple 2 apple 2 yes. gs yes amiga atari st not the console stuff we mm -hmm. went the pc, the PC. Route. route okay so when you got to the amiga because um i know apple uh did do a lot of good stuff in the beginning because i think my first uh pc slash gaming console was the amiga but mine right. was the amiga 64 64. Right. right, so I was a little bit further on in that because I was in the console realm. Mm -hmm. But um, in the Amiga, uh, because the games were a little bit different, right? Uh, how did you experience those games? But you were making games at this period of time, right? So Yeah, I was making crappy games. I mean, let's be clear, the first stuff <laughs> I made was, you know, I was 15 when I published my first game. It was called Ski Craze. You can look it up. Ski Craze. Yep. One, one thing that I, I do want to point Wait, out. you said 15? Yeah, yeah, he, he was a savant, for real. You published yeah. your game? No, I'm not a savant, but I was 15, <laughs> yeah. No, well, no, one well, thing that... My, my son is 11 and, and you know, they have him in programming. He's got class, four right? years, tell him. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I'm gonna tell him, you gotta publish, you gotta publish. Uh, my daughter is 17, she published her first book at 16, but yeah. You missed it by a year, don't count. Yeah, no, it, it, it don't. But <laughs> it, it counts, it, that's, that's awesome. Book. But you publishing a game at 15 years old, Insane. that's a big thing at the table. That's mm. Oh, it is, especially because the, yeah. the industry was tiny, right? So. All right. Competitive packaging at that point. The first thing we did is we shoved discs and Ziplocs and took them to local stores. I'm I'm not counting that, right? And people would be like, mm, "Am I going to buy this crappy game in a Ziploc bag?" But that was competitive. <laughs> like a lot of people yeah. had that. This is like nobody used computers back then. It was total nerd territory. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we used a toolkit from a company called Baudville, mm -hmm. a Sprite engine. Okay. And so we had to send the next game we made to them for approval to publish it. And they saw it and they said, let us publish it. And that's how I became wow. a true nationally published, you know, in a box, real game developer at 15. Wow. We did out there with your mixtape at 15 years old. <laughs> please listen to my demo. Face. Hey. And the somebody one, heard. Oh, I was demo. totally listen to my demo face. Oh, totally. Oh, that's exactly what it was. No doubt. Go ahead, Addy. Beautiful. One thing that, you know, can already attest to like your artistic mind is like you watching Star Wars at a young age and instead of wanting to be like Luke like all your friends like you want to make the Star Wars you don't want to be in the Star Wars yeah that's, yeah I think that's true of a lot of gamers and a lot of like I have I live in LA I'm in LA right now and I have friends that are directors and the same thing is true of them like they watch movies it's it's entertaining, but it, for the most part, they're like, hmm, I didn't like the angle of that shot. And I, <laughs> mm -hmm. I would do something different. And like, just from the beginning, it's about the, the tech and the story and the, mm -hmm. the process for them. Um, amazing. So yeah, that, that, was just, yeah, that was just who I am. I wanted to make my own stuff. Yeah, it's an amazing, that different mindset at, at, at that age. And, and at this time, I'm going to assume, Lord Andy, this is when you guys link, or this was even, even before that? So I'm just curious about when when Andy comes into and, and we start to think about, OK, you're doing the publisher game at like forming a studio. Yeah, uh, it was it was actually pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I went to Hebrew school. OK, I didn't give a damn about Hebrew school. <laughs> there was this other kid that also had a computer, same type. Mm -hmm. He didn't. Uh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> he didn't give a damn either. Yes, yes. The two of us sat in the back of Hebrew school and did what we wanted to do, which is talk about video games. Nice. And I, I made this game called Ski Crazed. Mm -hmm. And as you went down the hill, it got slower because right. I was really bad at programming. But it looked, for the time, okay. Mm -hmm. And he cleaned that up. Nice. And that was the game that Baudville published. Uh, and, and then Baudville and then, said, oh. can you do another one? And mm -hmm. I said, I probably can't program what you want. And he couldn't do the art. 
the partnership started. Mm. You just like so the it, it was it was that he was the person that helped me yeah. and I was the person that helped him because I was That's the artistic awesome. type and he was the the coder type. And it, it uh, just it just happened. And you know, like we were young, right? So we didn't really even think about it, but then you have to incorporate, so you need a name. And there was this guy named Mike. Mm. Mike bought our first piece of software. Mm -hmm. So Mike was part of the company. That's all he had to do. So, what, so was, he, what was the name of the company at that time? Jam Software, Jason Jam. and Mike. Remember, we were 14, 13 years old. We weren't that creative. So, so Mike <laughs> bought the piece of software, <laughs> but Mike couldn't do anything after that. Yeah. We had to buy Mike out of the company, <laughs> right into the company dynamics at the beginning. And then it became Jason and Andy's magic, which is oh. even worse. <laughs> Luckily, funny. when EA finally said, we'd like to work with you, and that was the third game we published, was with Electronic Art Artists, it was called at that time. Right. Um, uh, when we started working with them, they looked up Jam Software, and they found there was actually a Jam Software in Australia. And they said, you can't use this name because, you know, and so you need a new name and you have 24 hours because we got to sign the deal we're signing. And Andy and I were like, we, we like dog, naughty dog. Mm. And that became the name. Oh my God. That's crazy. That's that crazy. Is, like, so, so, so. Trip Hawkins, who founded Electronic Arts. Oh, we have he, stories about Trip. Oh, did you? I, I, I the love table. Trip. He was like, that is a horrible name. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 no. Look how it works. You see, Electronic Artists, mm -hmm. Microprose, Interplay. Right, that was you style. see how it works. You take two tech names, throw it together. That's your name. <laughs> that name. Division. And I was like, Naughty nope. Dog. And he's like, oh, man. <laughs> Trip wasn't feeling it. Trip wasn't Thank feeling it. God you didn't listen. I mean, you know, we listened to Trip. We listened to Trip a yeah. lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he's a very smart man, but yes. he was wrong about the name. Yeah, you, yeah, he, he what, definitely was. Thank God he yeah, didn't uh, change What's him crazy mind. is EA pretty much influenced the name being changed. To Naughty Dog. They didn't change like you guys doing it. They're like, look, this is a trademark. You got to change it because if they if there wasn't someone yeah, we'd have been jammed. in Australia. It would it, yeah. it, it never would have been Naughty Dog. So it would, it would have happened anyway, because we couldn't get bigger without, you know, really trademarking. Right. So we would have found out. The thing is, they gave us 24 hours and had we had more time and done it later, the name probably wouldn't have been as good. Right. It was the, it was the flash too. that, you know, yeah. it was it naughty. Was, it was the perfect storm. It yeah. was the time clock over your head. Mm -hmm. And he was like, hey, we bad and we like dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember. I remember the logo. Like, it was very aggressive. It was cool. Yep. It was, it was, it had the little shades king and stuff. Like, it was cool. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, the cool. early logos were pretty cheesy. But it's, <laughs> remember, were. it's 80s. So yeah. they, were, they were totally straight up right in the center of everything it else. Was it wasn't until later we got the current logo. Mm -hmm. it, it was where it was supposed to be, actually. To it be was. Honest, in, in that period of time. Mm -hmm. But we were always circling the same universe. You on the side of creation, us on the side of the consumer. And we were with you in this journey, not knowing that this journey will lead to this moment. This mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. Really the earlier you were a video game player, the more you were part of the success of this business. There Just, is. There is no question because no one respected the industry at all. So it was the people that believed that these were real pieces of entertainment. They were art. They were worthwhile as opposed to the conventional wisdom back then, which was games is toys. Right. Mm -hmm. Games is for kids. That's why it's sold in Toys R Us. Yeah. Right. All of these things, if you look back, Absolutely it right. took people who really believed and as they got older, not giving up on yeah. games and taking them with them so that now people my age and below we're still playing games and it's no there's no question it is an art form it is I, entertainment writ large it's as big as anything yeah else. absolutely it, 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 that's a fantastic point look jason because people have to remember like, like these infancy stages it was kind of i can only imagine what you may have went through maybe from your, your parents or your family because it wasn't considered a career it, it was considered Not at all yeah like something okay you, this is some hobby you're doing Bad. but why don't you go to school and get a real yeah, profession they're, well, you they're, know what I mean? like, they're gonna look at you 100 like, percent. i hit it i hit yeah. it for my high school friends yeah. Yeah. i wouldn't have talked about making video games i was making money <laughs> and I was hiding the fact that I was making money doing this because I didn't want to be a nerd. I just didn't want to, you know, I was a nerd, but I didn't want people to like, oh, not on top of the fact that you look like a nerd. I didn't look like a nerd. You look like a nerd. On top of that, you make, you make video games. Let you were a straight up nerd. Yeah. Did, um, did you go to the arcades? Because arcades was big in our yeah. age. Yeah. All right. 100%. So you, you yeah. frequent the arcade. Um, yeah. 
they didn't question how much money you had. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> at this point, when you pocket watching, you, kick, are you pocket watching a young Jason? But if no, you're in no, the arcade no, spending, listen. then you have some money on you. Yeah, I mean, that's the like, yeah, pocket, pocket watching. He's the dude no walking doubt. with a pocket full of quarters. He's going up to the machine and he's put. You remember how he used to put our money mm-hmm. in the quarters oh, come I out? Know. Yeah, so you that guy, and you know, and you, uh, Andy, mm-hmm. and, and, and well, he's he's gone. It's just magic now. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know where Mike is now. Shout out to Mike. No, totally. Mike, and we, Mike's looking know. at everything and regretting selling his piece off. <laughs> Mike, Mike had to nerds in the arcade too, though. Like before yeah. I made, well, actually, yeah, right before I made Ski Crazed, mm-hmm. right. we decided that we were going to make Super Punch Out which oh. at the time was one of the biggest huge, arcades. like it was insane. Yeah. And so we went to the arcade and put, you know, tons of quarters on the thing. Yes. I sat with a camera and we took pictures Yo, of Super Punch-Out so I could come home, count pixels. Wow. And put that into the spread. And we had it running. It wow. was totally running. My father is a lawyer and he looked at it and he's like, you're going to jail. You can't do this. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> I mean, it's fine for you to do this at home, but like, you can't sell this. And I was like, no, I'm gonna get Nintendo to let me put it out on Apple computers. <laughs> this is classic. Yo, I love it. No, no, you can't do this. Mind. Shout out to his mind for him and his little cohort to yeah. go in there and to take pictures and reverse engineer punch out. <laughs> reverse engineered punch out. And if, you know, 64K, mm. that's what we had right. to make this yeah. game. Mm. Your Facebook profile picture on mobile many, many <laughs> times that. Okay? So, like, just your profile. Yes. 64K. Andy mm. could fit in 2K, the code, because I took the rest for the art. And yeah. somewhere along the line, keep in mind this kid's 14. Wow. Somewhere along the line. Oh, also? Yes. You save everything on a disc. No hard drives. No hard drive. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Good point. No backups. Mm-hmm. If you don't keep putting discs in so he keeps writing over the same code and he got himself into a place where we called it the it bug he doesn't know what happened but the thing crashed and he couldn't fix it and that was the end of super and that was the end of super well well, thank god because yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) these are stories i could just good i was gonna say i could just like see the back of your dad's mind because you said he didn't approve of the gaming thing at first and he's like you know maybe he should do this you know maybe after he has a little bit of legal issues he'll stop this gaming (laughs) he He supported it yeah but at the same time like i was going to be a lawyer so oh. it was fine. Having a hobby is a good thing. My father was incredibly supportive. My parents were incredibly supportive. But at the same time, I was going to be a lawyer. Because uh, so it was a fad. It, it was two, fad, yeah. Right, mm-hmm. those two so things he, were weighing against each other. He, look, as a lawyer, we, we brought out Way of the Warrior for 3 d Hold on, don't nah, you go there yet. Go, don't go, you go, go there. I got a whole segment for Way. Okay. I got a whole yeah, segment. Please hold that one, because I got to ask okay. you one question. He was we, on that journey with you. We almost there, we almost there, because we were, that's when we really fell in love with yeah. Naughty Dog yeah. and Jason. Everybody else yeah. fell in love with Naughty yeah. Dog yeah. with Exactly. Else. We knew you. about this game, but we're going to get yeah. to that. So really no, quickly. Don't listen to J- Jason. I, I fell in love with Keith the Thief. That's what I fell in love <laughs> yeah, with. Say, so I just, I, I just want to. Every I, pixel on that I drew. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. I, before we get into the to way of the warrior talk, I do want to talk about, like I said, so you go to Trip, you got you rig, figure out Jam already has the, you know, the, 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 the trademark thing. You switch. It's Naughty Dog. Now, Electronic Arts is there. Trip's over there. Now, is this, you guys doing PC games, but this, when did the Genesis thing come into yeah. the play? So, we, we, we did Keep the Thief, mm-hmm. which was, you know, PC, right? Personal yeah. computer. Not yeah. It was on PC, but it was also on Amiga, Atari. Apple. You know, yeah. that, that whole, Apple, that whole sequence, because mm-hmm. uh, things were kind of spreading out there. There were a lot of, there were a lot of different types of, of desktop computers. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and, you know, they wanted us to do another game, and it was, it was pretty clear we weren't going to do adventure games like Keep the Thief. So, we right. started working on a, an RPG. Um, you know, that was Rings of Power. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it, was a, it was also going to be on desktop computers. Like, that we, we started on exactly the same computers we were working on. And we had some meeting, I don't remember what it was, but it was only Andy, and he flew to, uh, and he flew to EA. Okay. And he was at EA, and I came up the next day, I think it was the next day, uh, to meet him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he was like, we're making a console game. And I'm like, why? He's like, see that? That's a reverse engineered Genesis. Whoa. EA is going to put out Genesis games. They're not going to pay Sega. Whoa! I remember that. 
And he saw that, and apparently he well, said, you're reverse, you're, yeah, you're reverse engineering a Genesis? Because he could see what it was, and, mm. and they're like, sign this, sign yeah, this. Sign it, <laughs> sign it, sign it. <laughs> so you got, well, you were, Andy bumped into that. He wasn't did. supposed to see that. Now, he wasn't right. supposed to see it. And they so forgot they were to like, put the little cover over it. Oh, someone <laughs> forgot. But, but, but the question. And so Andy's like, I think we should probably make a Genesis game. And they're like, whatever you want, man. Just sign this. Just whatever you <laughs> oh, want. Just sign this. The struggle with that. I love this. Continue. <laughs> this is great. That's, that's, that's the Wild this, West, man. That's listen, when you could just. This, remember, when they came out with their cartridges, people have to buy their cartridges from uh, Sega, mm -hmm, right? Yeah. Uh, if that's, that's how right. it went, mm -hmm. um, from my belief. Uh, and EA came out with their cartridges and it had the yellow the tab, yellow tab on the side. Yes. And remember, remember uh, because Nintendo had a stronghold on uh, the cartridge situation with them, with the licenses mm -hmm. and stuff like that. This is how they made their money. Mm -hmm. So EA said, <laughs> I know that's so crazy. He's a smart man, like I said. Like Chip I said, is a trip. Chip is a trip. Chip is a trip. When it comes. Okay. When it comes to the uh, like cartridges, like I kind, I you know I, I'm definitely the youngest one here. Like mm -hmm. I missed out on a lot of that. I caught a little bit, but like obviously I play like NES and stuff growing up, but I didn't own one. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like the majority of like my experience with cartridges is like pretty much like the end of the Super Nintendo and like mm -hmm. the N64. Like mm -hmm. and then pretty much after that, you know, obviously they stopped doing them. But yeah. You know, yeah well it, cartridges cartridges were good for a couple of reasons. Like yeah. obviously they had a game on them and I said, you know, early Titan they were you couldn't expensive, do that in early. They? Mm -hmm. they were really, really expensive. Yeah. Like Rings of Power sold out when it came out mm. in like two weeks. Good wow. But getting more of them like they could only get so many cartridges from Sega and they were like, we're going to go with this other game that did just as well as you. We think it has more long-term potential as a series. And we're like, what? We, like, what? Sold like, out? We just what, sold what out. <laughs> like, you're not going to make more. And he's like, no, 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 no. We're going to make this Madden game that came out at the oh, same time. Oh. It, mm. it seems to be doing well. We think it's going to be a series yeah. for us in the long run. <laughs> we think, oh, we're wow. like, no, no, it's football. <laughs> Come on, this is an RPG. Yeah. And they're like, so the cartridge itself, like just the physical goods, yeah. was fourteen, fifteen dollars on our on our thing. Not Sega wasn't making a profit on that. That's just what it cost to, put, to put the it materials together. together. Wow. And that that wasn't good for the industry because yeah. you know consumer doesn't get any value out of that other than it works. Mm -hmm. We had to pay, you know, came out of our money, came out of EA's money, came out. So when CD came out, mm -hmm. that's why Andy and I there jumped we up go and three D O three D O was before it. Like, let's go. It's that so, CD cheap. Yes. Question, is that just real quick king sorry, is that yeah. like when you hear a lot of like stories on you know companies really pushing to get out of the cartridges like uh for instance like when square enix like really pushed for nintendo to get out of it and they didn't what that was one of the key reasons because they knew it wasn't good for the industry and they were trying to get as many people to do it as possible everybody just want you get more memory on the, yeah, on the you know cartridges are expensive you want a lot of memory on a cartridge because yeah, really, all really developers expensive. need more space mm -hmm. We had a battery backup because you have a, you know, it was a 400 hour game, roughly speaking for, you know, the few people that finished Rings of Power, like you had to have a save game. And the yes. only way to do a save game back then was to put a battery put in a, a chip. Yes. A battery, yes. And yes. so, you, you know, that's a buck, a buck 50 for every game that yes. Madden didn't have a save. Yep. Good yeah. point. Madden was a cheaper cartridge. We had more memory because they were a smaller game. Like, so they just were a cheaper cartridge. So when they were looking at it, even if we sold the same number of units, Madden was the better thing to print. Yeah, from a business Sega standpoint. Make so many games, so we yeah. got we Yeah, so, no, it's a, it's go ahead, kid. I, I gotta. Oh, I, no, I mean, um, because I'm you're getting we 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 now we have to move a little bit faster, right? Because mm -hmm. we get into the part where uh, the industry is being held back by a couple of companies that are actually making money off of this uh, cartridge-based system and the fact that it's fast. But then CDs came out. My early my earliest CD-based. Uh, system for the house it was a one speed drive uh turbo graphics mm -hmm. the second one was the neo geo one speed drive very slow and that was the deterrent but then speed started catching up and um the 3do let's we can let's let's, we, that's what I'm saying. we I, was, I was about to do it yeah, for you. Let, let's concentrate on Woo! ea itself and uh how did that 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 unveiling to you guys go because y'all you guys are actually going to be the backbone for this concept 
that they have to, and they will bring it to fruition because they reverse engineer Genesis. So <laughs> this is going to happen, <laughs> right? Yeah, Trip wanted to build a console and he wanted to change the business, right? Yeah. So he started working on 3DO. We didn't know about 3DO. Mm -hmm. This whole, we're not going to print any more rings of powers. Like That's crazy. You, you know, sold out and then they telling you, you can't, yeah, I'm sorry, continue. That's right. And we're talking about like, you know, for kids that at the time I was 21, 22 years old, this was right. a lot of money for me. Like it was yeah. the difference between, you know, mm -hmm. we did fine, but like we would have been wealthy, yeah. very wealthy. Woo. And so we were pissed. And so I decided I was going to get in the special effects industry. Mm -hmm. And Andy decided he was going to get a, ma a PhD in computer science from MIT. And so we actually stopped making games for a little while. And I started doing special effects and I had just gotten myself uh, the ability to do Wolf, mm -hmm. the movie Wolf. I don't know if you remember that. What? It was, uh, you, you did that? Wait, 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 no, 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 I didn't. Oh. But I, like, there was this thing called a morph, if you okay. remember back then, right? right. Where the, a person's face would turn into another person's yes. face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the morphs were really cheesy. They were like, and you turn mm -hmm. into another person. I did a moving morph, which means the person was turning and turning into something else. And in the case of Wolf, they wanted the person to turn from a human being into, it was Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, yeah. Elf that was Pfeiffer. one of my favorite movies. I'm a werewolf dude. Yeah. Right, so I did a moving morph. And the way I did a moving morph is I took a pen and I wrote on my monitor all the points for every frame. And it took me absolutely forever. Like it was not a computer doing it. It was me doing it the hard way. <laughs> okay. But it was such a good demo that I got the ability to do one scene for the for Wolf. Oh. And I was about to sign the contract when Trip Hawkins reached out and said, we need you guys back. And we're like, we're out of the industry, man. You like the whole cartridge yeah. thing he's like i'm not at ea anymore i'm a 3do mm. it's a cd mm. it's got all this memory and it's cheap and we're like all right we're back in <laughs> so so <laughs> so, so now you, you make the commute you took the beat like you just trip you, can sell water to a whip yeah trip can sell we we, we met trip a bunch of times. he's amazing so now you go okay you get the, 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 the band back together you now go, fly out drive out and, and, and take this meeting like how does this meeting happen where now we're talking about we're going to make this game. He and then, sent us the yeah. hardware. We signed the NDA. Okay. Mm -hmm. an NDA. He sent us the hardware. Andy and I started messing with it. And we're like, look, it's infinite memory. It's yeah. like 600 megs or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and it's infinite memory. Panasonic <laughs> interactive <laughs> real. Continue. It's got 3D. Yes. Yeah. Right? It's got all these things. Mm. We're going to make a game. And what we're going to do is we're going to make Mortal Kombat. Like we, we literally just said, we're going to make Mortal Kombat. Now, just like Super Punch Out, we had gotten you smarter. <laughs> Kick sees a trend. Kick sees a trend. Continue. I see, I see, we got smarter, though. So we're like, it can't actually be Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to bring the camera and, and you see this? count you the see this? Your father. Your father was in your ear and he said, hey, now. <laughs> If you're gonna do it, let's, let's go. Let's do this. Go ahead. So we we uh we we shot. Our, I went to Boston because Andy mm -hmm. was still at MIT artificial, you know, mm -hmm. intelligence. He was gonna he computer science. He was he was gonna get his PhD at this time, but wow. he's gonna Terminator. Up, yeah, yeah. yeah, that didn't end up working out. We can get into that. Mm -hmm. And so we start making this game, and we made it basically in his dorm room. And in, in wow, the room we spent together, and we put all of our money. That we, and not the money we didn't have from the damn Rings of Power thing, but <laughs> oh, all yeah. the money that we did have from Rings of Power yeah. we put into making this game. I'm two of the characters, Konatori and the Ninja. Konatori mm -hmm. Ninja! Now I am the, the pecking you order. The you the ninja. Round one fight. Oh, you oh, was the, wait, God. you was the skull? Oh, I was, yes, I was the skull. I was the voice. I'm not doing a good job. I don't Shaky have a good mic like you guys. Round one. Fight. Fight. Shaky like, Jake. Shaky Jake. This, this was this was like <laughs> it was basement computing. It was just the two of us, all our money, making this thing. Is it true? Is it is it true that when you guys were filming, you guys had to sort of like open up your door and like there were neighbors that thought you were you were filming other types of things there? Yeah. Right? <laughs> we, we were Andy was in MIT, so we were in like a dorm. Yeah. And uh you know, to get, I, I didn't know anything about cameras. Mm -hmm. We were shooting real people like Mortal Kombat right. and then, you know, rotoscoping around. So we got rid of the, the background. We were too, we didn't have a green screen like my friend here. Right. We didn't have the money. So we just put a sheet on the wall. So we had a sheet <laughs> screen. And I would do every pixel around the edge and eventually we hired people to do it. But the way my camera lens worked, we needed to be pretty far from, because I only had one lens, we yeah. had to be pretty far from the, from the person. Uh -huh. And that meant out the front door in the hallway. Wow. And so the door wow. was always open when we were shooting whoever it was that was doing the stuff all dressed up in you know wacky costumes, wacky costumes. 
at Chinatown in Boston, maximum one hundred fifty dollars. That was our limit. That's the limit. That's the budget. Gulab Jamun, the the bonus character. That's my pillowcase with the corners cut off. (laughs) Wow, like a diaper on it. A cable from our, you know, the window shades around his waist. (laughs) They thought they filmed this porn in here. The lowest budget you could do, and of course, people were like, you know, screaming at each other in the room and do this, do that, and our neighbors, yeah, they thought we were filming something. (laughs) What else would you film? Resolution, <laughs> your resolution on that game, to me, looked high. Yeah, ridiculous. Graphi- graphically, right? okay, 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 yeah, the fidelity, the, the three D. Okay, so the three D. We get it in the house, and I'm gonna tell you from the consumer standpoint. All right, because all three of us has, have this uh, mm-hmm. behemoth of a. Uh, so what is it about uh, seven hundred? Right? Seven hundred dollars. Like seven hundred. We we Thank committed. <laughs> we committed. Yeah, we definitely were in. One hundred percent in seven hundred dollars. Yeah. And. You guys were the the killer app. It was you and 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 what was that battle battle uh, the had, racing game? They had crash um, crash and burn oh, was yeah. the launch title. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Road, Road Rage also came out, but it was like the first the mm. first. Was it in Road game. Rash? That was Road Mark Cerny. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sure. and Mark yeah. Cerny ended up working with us on Crash, but we didn't know him at the time. So. Right. What happened with 3 do mm-hmm. is right. it was a CD. So right. all these people thought we would get what they call multimedia or mixed media. So right. people started doing all of this stuff that kind of was a game, but it kind of wasn't a game. Full and motion video craze. Video stuff, yes. Yeah. Right. And it, it all sucked. And no one yeah. really wanted it. And we were like, you know, Mortal Kombat. We were going to do something that, that worked. Mm-hmm. Um, Sounds and so, right. And so when we showed up at the trade show on our own dime, spent like $10,000 to get like a three foot by three foot booth, nice. we had no publisher and everyone was like, that's going to work. It's a, yeah, game. it's a game. Everything else that we're building is like this experience. You know, stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, it came and it went. And there were just a few games that were game games on, yep. on 3 do And so there was a bidding war for us, basically Ooh. publishers to bring it out and, you know, 3DO was one of the bidders, and saying no to Trip was one of the hardest things we ever did. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. The man, when you speak to him, I don't know if you've ever done it. Yeah, I, did. Person, I, I did. He has a magical way to make you believe. Yes, yes he mm-hmm. did. He, he, had, he had me believe about the M2. Yeah, we, 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 yeah about the M2. I was an we evangelist were, for him. Yes, we were <laughs> Trip guys. <laughs> yes. So we wanted to go with Universal, but we had oh. to, he wanted to talk to us one last time and we owed it to him to talk to him one last time and everything back then was done in person so we right. flew out and i remember i had a pencil mm-hmm. in the meeting i was in and i put it under the desk into my leg and i pushed up against the desk so there was a little pain mm-hmm. because i'm telling you mm-hmm. that man had a an effect on you <laughs> you believe you like don't believe him pencil to remind me of reality and the fact that Universal was probably the better deal, and Andy and I walked out of there, the only time we probably ever said no to Trip. Wow. And signed with Universal, <laughs> they brought it out, and then they said, what are you doing next? Woo! All right, so wow. before we go there, this is amazing. And again, the, the thing, the reason about we love it, it, it's such a cult classic. I know people like the cloud. It, we loved it. First of all, graphically yeah. for its time, it was amazing. The, first of all, let's give me a flight. How did y'all get that music? Did you have like white the, the zombie? Soundtrack was like the, mm-hmm. the soundtrack Incredible. was amazing. How did you so get that? That was that yeah. was Universal. Oh, we went no. to Universal and they're like, you need some music for this. And you know, up until that point, I had done the music for most of the games. It was like it was horrible. And they're like, Well, it's a CD. You can put on real music now. What would you want? And we were like, White zombie. Yes. Like, it just so happens we have Universal Music, and sure enough, we met Rob Zombie and put him around the back of Universal's back lot, and he's a great man. And oh that, man, that, that that move, yeah. that pencil yeah. in that meeting, yeah, very saved important us mm-hmm. because when we got that game, <clears throat> I mean, for our seven hundred dollars, right? Uh, it was some stuff that was hit or miss. Like you were saying, people were doing different things that weren't actually really games, but you know, you watch it. Controllers were terrible. Oh Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out, shout out to unscrew it. Just so you can do the diagonal. So so you do the diagonal. Alone in the dark. Unscrew the back of the controller a little to loosen it up. And then it worked. And if you did that, the game was okay. If you didn't do that, the game was unplayable. (laughs) Yep. You're right. We have, uh, we we had our engineer that reverse (laughs) engineer. Yeah. So he showed us because we was absolutely, we really wanted to love this game. Yes. We we were telling people it's better than Mortal Kombat. It's better than, because when we had our fatalities, now you know the pecking order. I swear to God, I love this game. Yes. So, uh, Mr. Ha 
Shout out to Hal. He knew how bad we wanted to really play with this game. And he knew the limitations with the controller. You know how some people can Intuitive, see, like, yeah. You, you saw Star Wars, mm -hmm. and he saw the controller as the limitation. He went and fixed it. Mm -hmm. Called us on the phone and said, give me your controller. Yep. Went inside his house, fixed the controller. Didn't tell us what the hell he was doing. Mm -hmm. And said, now play it. We yeah, his fix game. was a couple of turns of a screwdriver. Yes. That was, mm -hmm. that, that's where they got everything wrong. They, it was just too tight. And too you tight. Know, I, by the way, I have I have apologized for Boone for ripping off Mortal Kombat. And he's, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't apologize. Don't, no, don't, but what, don't, what did Boone say? Response, what did Boone say? His response was, was who he is and has taught me a lesson since then. And his response was, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. Like, Ooh, and it is totally true. It's wow. real. I grab from him, he That's grabs from others. Guys. We all grab from each other. The That's games today, some of the stuff came from my stuff, some mm -hmm. came from other stuff. We all continue yeah. to build, and you have to love that. Salute. But you can't go rip off Super Punch Out. <laughs> no, but so no, long no. as it's not a rip off, you're fine. Question mm -hmm. Why we didn't get part two? You didn't get part two because part one and the 3DO was like yeah. sales, right? Sales. The 3DO yeah. didn't quite make it. And then everybody was like, oh, this CD thing's going to work. Mm -hmm. Right. Sega was like, this is it. This is going to work. This is yeah. going to be our edge against Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Sony, who had been building a CD-ROM drive for Let's Nintendo, go. go look it up. Let's go. Yep, that's the history. Nintendo and Sony didn't work out. This yep. is all online. You can go look it up. That's and there a are fact. very few people that have the original Sony-built Nintendo, Nintendo system. Oh, right. Like, it existed. Yeah. And Sony's like, oh, so that's how it's going to be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're coming in again. Let's go. So let's transition now. So, that so, so. right there was an opportunity because the thing about the 3DO that we loved was that it wasn't a Sega. It wasn't a Nintendo. So all the big publishers, mm -hmm. they weren't looking at it, right? That's they right. were looking at the things. And so we had a chance to make a Mortal Kombat without there being a Mortal Kombat competing with us. Right. Right. So when we saw Sony come in, we, two arrogant kids, still two of us, <laughs> it should have been 1994-ish. Let's go. We were like, we're just going to make the Mario for them. I mean, you have a Sonic for let's Sega. Go. You got a Mario let's for Nintendo. Go. Let's go. Sega's, let's get. Know, let's Sony's go. not going to have one, so we're going to do it. Let's and get. That, that literally Reverse like the arrogance there. Is <laughs> this, yo, this is great. I love your brain. Let's yeah. go. And I, I, I love how they target the deficiencies in, in in what they don't have, what the companies they're about to Find work the with. Whole. Yes. yes. Always do mm -hmm. the thing that everyone else isn't doing. If Preach. someone like. I always look at these teams that are like, we're going to beat Call of Duty. And I'm like, no, no, no. They know what they're doing. Like, yeah. they, no, like do something different. Like if you, you know, it's a hundred people playing at once. Yes, that's new. I yeah. like that. Like do something different. It's not that you can't stand on the shoulder of giants. It's that don't take them on directly. <laughs> that's, it's a good point. It's a good don't point. Don't do that. Which, All right. so which it's so hard to win. To this, yeah. We get into this crash. Now I'm, I'm right there. King. Let me get it. Let me, let me get it. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm excited. Too. He got me hyped. See, see, so it's like, it you get a chance to talk to him all the time. This is my first time. All right. True, true, true. You're right. So You're right. You, you are. <laughs> let me just set it up you, for you, though. Let me you set it up. have fundamentally formulated our whole aggressiveness because we're going to get to the aggressive part of crack. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at. Go, go for that because I yeah. cannot wait for this part. It's funny because I see it. Kiki making a fantastic point because I see why we really gravitated towards Naughty Dog. It's just like oh, a young, what? aggressive, brash, mm -hmm. even down to the to the labeling, the branding. So now we get here and it's like, okay, Universal, you get the deal. And we, to me, this is the magic moment, right? Because yeah. now, you know, Lord Jay said, you guys create this rambunctious <laughs> mascot, who let's be honest, Kate, he really set the tone for a new generation. This is a this is a Sony, right? And, and they, they, like this is Sony doing it in, in this same console market. They've been kind of shunned by Nintendo, and it's like, okay, we're gonna do this. They don't have a mascot. Here comes Jason and Andy. Here comes this this beloved character. And now he. What's funny is to me, I always gonna remember the marketing. You know, brash outside the Nintendo. Y'all are missing something. Yeah. Y'all are missing something. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He's told me that he reverse engineers, and y'all guys are great. Mm -hmm. Who in your, you or Andy, mm -hmm. who likes the Tasmanian devil? It was both of us. Thank so you. The, the reason Crash became, so, so first of all, we're like driving cross country from Boston now to Thanks. Universal, and they say, what are you doing next? So we haven't, quite settled on what we're doing. And okay. we're talking, you know, we, there was RPGs because we always loved RPGs, especially Andy. Like Andy mm -hmm. wanted to make World of Warcraft. That's oh, really wow. the game that he wanted to oh, make. 
It hadn't existed yet. Wow. Like, I don't know where we would have been or whether we could have made it, but I wanted to make something that could come out more quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something that filled the gap, right? Mm -hmm. that, that, like we knew how to, we knew what to do. We knew the parameters. We just had to solve some hard problems and, and done. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking, we're like, we come up with this whole Sega's got Sonic, Nintendo's right. got Mario, we're going to do this thing. And then we're like, it's a problem here. Mm. It's a 3D system. Mm. What does Sonic and Mario look like on a 3D system? And now, like, you don't think of this, but mm -hmm. at the time, everything was left and right scrolling. Yep. Right? yep. Like, that wasn't really what people wanted, we thought. Now, Sega mm -hmm. didn't use Sonic. Mm -hmm. did go with side scrolling yes and came up with knights and we believe yes. the reason they yeah. came up with knights is that they didn't want to risk sonic on it mm -hmm. because they didn't know if it was going to work they like didn't know side scrolling. Mm -hmm. and that that didn't satisfy people they didn't want side scrolling in 3d mm. mario which we didn't know at the time had been started but you know it's obvious yeah. they're going to bring out mario miyamoto said it's a 3d system we're going to totally rewrite things and it's going to be open world Right. which I think in the long run was actually the right way to go. The challenge that they had was the systems were really weak. So you couldn't do that much visually with yeah. that, right? Because you just didn't have the polygons. Not that it wasn't a fantastic game when it came out, mm -hmm. but it didn't look the same as the games you were used to, which had a lot of detail and things. It was pretty, pretty blank. Yeah. So what we decided to do is take the side scrolling and just turn it 90 degrees. Mm. And basically you're going in and out instead of going left and right, and right. you have a little bit of movement to the left and the right, and you can go around things, but really it's all on a path. Yes. yes. Right? So we, we, and would this work? Mm -hmm. We didn't know. And it took a year to get it to work and feel right. And people were saying at the time, you know, character action platformers, they're not gonna work in 3D. It's not gonna be good. Like, how do you time your jump? You can see mm -hmm. exactly how big the jump is. Like, there were all these, to it took point. a long time, so, but that's what we did. And we kept the side scrolling on some of the levels. Yes. And then we were like, if you can go into the screen, we, some of them go up and down, some of them go left and right. We're mm -hmm. doing everything. We're trying mm -hmm. to, can you go into the screen? That Do, was the boulder level. Quick question before I give it to Attic. Do you think, because now that I look back at Crash historically, Yes, it was 3D, but you're right. There, there was a hybrid in a sense because you still We're had the two, the, the, you know, the 2D levels and things like that. So do you think it was more, okay, let's play it safe in case it's not fully adopted, the 3D all in was not fully adopted. Was that the it mindset? It was a balance. Okay. What we said is if you go 2D side scrolling, you can get high resolution graphics, but it doesn't feel like you should be doing that on a 3D system. Okay. Right. If you go completely open world, you have to reduce your polygon counts to the point where it just doesn't look that interesting. Right. And again, I'm not disparaging you know, Mario 64. Yeah, 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 no. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But we just didn't want that look. We, we wanted, wanted a look that was out. rich. Yes. And so by doing what we did, we created a paradigm in which it both felt like a, a new type of gaming going in and out of the screen, mm -hmm. but it also had the incredible detail that Crash had. Yes. And then there was, I mean, you can go online, you can look, there is like one convention, mm -hmm. one CES, where all of a sudden all three of these things, no one knew about anyone else, mm -hmm. they show up. Sony, uh, it's, it's so complicated. Like we started working on this for Universal, but right. we signed the contract with Sony and they signed very few developer contracts. They always wow. signed publisher contracts. And the publisher contract said, we get to approve anything before you start it. Okay. Right. Developer contract, they just sent you the hardware and they didn't care because you can't publish it without a publisher. Right. So we took advantage of that to build Crash without even Sony knowing. Oh, they didn't right. even know. Okay. And then they we show it to Sony. Mm -hmm. And then we finally show it to Sony. And they see this and they're like, we need a mascot. Yes. Like, yes. Not a mascot that we're going to call the mascot. But we need one of these games. And guess what? We mm -hmm. don't have one. Mm -hmm. Like, exactly what we said would happen. This mm -hmm. is the luck. Like anyone who is successful that tells you that they're a genius and it's all about the way they do business is, is lying. Good point. You need luck. Yeah. This is the luck. The luck was nobody else had this thought. Mm. All of a sudden, you got Crash. They know Mario's coming. Mm -hmm. Yep. Boom. Here we are. Now here's the thing right? though. And so Sony's yeah. like, we need this. And Universal and Sony went back and forth and there's all this stuff. But so, long story short, we show up at the convention and there's a, there's photos online of Miyamoto playing Crash. I was just about to ask you. And he's like, <laughs> you can see in his eyes. You can't yep. see it in the photos because you're looking at the back what, of his what head. What was the energy? You can see in his eyes. He's like, 
this is actually going to be trouble. Yeah, <laughs> yep. mm. so let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so pretty much. And he is the man. Like, I oh, he's the legend. He's the legend. He is legend. the legend. But, but, and Mario was the game, but he also understands the business and yes. he saw what this looked like. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, that, that's all would... I'm saying. I, I got you. I just want to say this because that, that's a, that has to be a powerful feeling. Right. At, at one point, you're sitting there, you know, you, you take this bet. There's no mascot. You bet on yourself. It looks phenomenal for its time. And then the legendary Mario Malabonso side is there. He's playing it. And you could see the energy like, OK. Then he asked them about the water. Did, any questions? Did he have any, did he have any questions he for you? Or did he just kind of did he kind of look and say, OK, so and we then walk off? With... So <laughs> Naughty Dog is responsible for the core of Crash, but there are a lot of people that were working on it with us that deserve credit. For okay. example, uh, you know, Charles Zembalis and Joe mm -hmm. Pearson did a lot of the early design in 2D that became Crash and the background and look. They were cartoon uh, designers. They're brilliant. You have musicians that were doing uh, music, uh, Mark Mutato, Musica Mutato, Josh Mansell. You've got like, you know, mm -hmm. sound effects people at Universal mm -hmm. doing their work. And Mark Cerny was mm. the real addition to the actual wow. building of the game and the code wow. because he had worked on Sonic, so he had a lot Sega of knowledge. Sega ties, like, yes. So yeah. the other thing about Mark Cerny is Mark Cerny speaks Japanese. Yes. And so had there been a question, it would have been in Japanese and it would have been directly to Mark probably. And I don't remember if there were any questions. What I do remember mm -hmm. is that that very same convention, there were still doubts that Crash should be the mascot. Really? And uh, Ken Kutaragi, who was kind of the oh, father the of legend, Ken Kutaragi, continue. Father of PlayStation. Him. He calls a meeting, and I wasn't in the meeting because, again, it was in Japanese, so Mark right. was in there. But my understanding, and if you ever interview Mark, you can find out this is true, is mm -hmm. that he basically was, like, completely livid. That, like, well, we knew that they there was doubts that Americans, non-Japanese people, could make a game that would succeed okay. in Japan. And until right. then, no one really had. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, the attitude, all the yes. things to get into why there was the attitude, it just didn't work for a lot of, you know, from mm -hmm. their perspective. And right. Kudarai was like, what you should do is there should be a music and the music <laughs> should link to the game. And everything <laughs> and like, da, 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 da. According to Mark, he like did the da, 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 da. And we were like, no, Crash has an attitude, yes. Johnny Dog. This is like, the thing about, the Talk thing about Mario is he, He's a very one-dimensional character. Like right. he's Mario, he's woohoo, and like there's yeah. not a lot of personality there. Like mm -hmm. try to think of Mario doing Shakespeare. <laughs> right, exactly. Let's go. It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Sonic is a two-dimensional character. He's fast, and he kind of like, but he's not gonna do Shakespeare either. Right. Crash, you can see him doing like he has attitudes. He has yes. emotions. He's yeah. happy. He's sad. He's and then by the time we got to Jack, that was a three-dimensional character. Jack and Daxter, they no, talk don't, to don't, each don't, other. Don't go to that. Don't don't. We gotta yeah, go. We gotta so get crash flowers. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to have emotion, and he has to have an attitude. And it was it was it was that des desire that made Crash who Crash was. It was yeah. it was American, and we had to clean that up for Japan. So if you go look at the Japanese yes. marketing, yes, very completely different. different. Completely. Okay, so, so the reason oh, go ahead, Addy. Go, go ahead, Addy. Be patient. Addy, be patient. Sorry. So, we, we, we thirsty. How, what, what's <laughs> so crazy is like you're going against the grain of people who don't think that Crash should be a mascot for a company like PlayStation. And not to mention you're going against a grain of, you know, people say, yo, you're trying to go against Mario. Mm -hmm. it, it's like and you're not like deliberately doing this. Like you, you you're sure. Oh, no, we were. We were. No, but, but, <laughs> no. But, no, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is like. Like that's what's going on in the inside, on the outside. Like I I'm sure that that's not the way you were marketing stuff. Because mm -hmm. like to me, it's like you know you're gonna have outsides of people. It's like, dude, it's Mario. Like how how you gonna compete with Mario? So but see, but look what Sony did. Like I'm, Amy I'm, I'm, Blair, who is our marketing person. Like mm -hmm. look what happened. The literally the ad they went out with. Yes. Was a guy in a Crash Bandicoot <laughs> suit Nintendo, walking right? up to mm. Nintendo, screaming, "We are here!" And yes, what? we are taking you on directly. Yeah, call, hey, what, call the plumber exactly. to come outside. What, what, Listen, they failed. What I'm referring to, they is, failed before that to try to make a mascot. What? And your guy wasn't the guy. It was Jack Flash, and it was Ape Escape. Mm. And they tried what, what? these two games, and those games didn't hit. I mean, Ape Escape is like one of my favorite games. But those games didn't actually gravitate to the face of the franchise. Mm -hmm. You what? guys became the face of the franchise. And I know when they played it. I don't care what anybody says. 
when they actually played it, they said they hit it. They, what, what, these guys hit it. The game was good. Like Crash One, if you go back too hard, had yeah. some. It, it, it was rough. It was rough. Yeah, it was a tough it was game. Rough. I had a much Japanese better game. Like we version. hit our stride. But yeah, I had the Japanese version of every game because I'm I'm okay in this group. I'm the test dummy, right? So I'll run out and I'll buy the Japanese console and I'll I'll get these games and I because I want to play them first. I'm gonna play them early. And I knew it was a distinct difference in a lot of stuff because there's a little changes, localization changes and stuff like that. When I saw the commercial, mm. this is a different Sony. At this yeah. point in time, remember, this is a scorned Sony. Yes. This is an yep. upset Sony. Very aggressive. This is a Sony that is highly aggressive. That's why PlayStation 1 was my favorite console. They, they, this was unheard. This, they, it was like, think about it at the time, King. I'll interrupt you, and I know we wait. No, Alex yeah. wait, too. Yeah, we it, it, it's for. the arrogance in a way but it was this brash, brash is that yeah guy? like we are here <laughs> and, and, and at the time it was unheard of to really challenge, the challenge? Nintendo, Nintendo like that and directly. nobody thought Sony was going to succeed right nobody, nobody thought, thought Sony was that, that, succeed. that's what I was bringing up it's like look like that is a massive uh, even before that you know you brought crash to Sony and like that they actually you know fully said oh you know maybe this this could be a mascot like the ideal that he's like I'm going to take the fight straight, straight to, to, them. to Mario. Like, right. like the mindset back then is like, that's like equivalent to now. It's saying, yo, you know what? I got the card killer. It's in <laughs> yeah. the back. Like, but on thing. a platform that doesn't have Call of Duty. And that's yeah, you go. key, right? Fill that hole. Fill the you hole. Always, like, it's okay to take well, on I the, guess... the champ if you're in a place they're not. It's taking them on in the place <laughs> they are. I guess, is like, yes. Does Good not point. work. Good I point. guess Suicide. a more better accurate one would be like, you know, uh, Sony making like kill zone and stuff and saying, you know, quote unquote Halo killer. So I guess that that mm -hmm. would be more of an accurate. Thing. You know, what's crazy, too, is like, you don't I, I don't know if you know this, but for all, you know, you know, Miyamoto sitting there, he's playing Crash and he's like, you know, Mario's good and Mario's always going to be around. But mm -hmm. we might need more mascots because people are starting to come up with more, you know, unique aspects to these platforming area. And you could have a domino effect that could have led to another franchise that's being out right now yeah. because of yeah. them playing that oh, game. Oh, he did, though. Mm -hmm. That did. No, yeah. so, um, I, I just want, I, I want to get one, one point off of Crash that before we move on, because the thing, too, is that you made a point about two points you made, Lord, Lord Jason, that I, I thought are very insightful. One, in the sense that we have to be honest, even though from an American standpoint, we love the aggressive nature. We yeah. love that. We, I love when Crash, the character, looked back at the screen to look at you, right? Yes. From a 3D perspective. And I think it was the Hog he Wild stage or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was really important. We wanted to start with this is a different character yes. than you're used to. Yes. We went through a bunch of emotions before you even get to move the controller and use it. Yes. Right? He, he shows you that he has an attitude. Yes. And the standstill animation. Wasn't you one of the first guys to actually have uh, uh, the standstill animation? Well, besides well, Sonic. Sonic, Sonic yeah. yeah. They, 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 like they existed. Yeah. But we spent a lot of time on idols. And like, yo-yos were really big in Japan at one point. So mm -hmm. one of the games, he, he does a yo-yo yo -yo because yo -yo, he knew yeah. that would work. And like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't think we invented so, it. So, no, so, no, but it, it was really good with you guys. <laughs> no, this is great because, and then, like I said, you have that aggressive, you have that thing. But like you said, you're, talk, you're hearing... Potentially, what you know, the father of PlayStation is saying. You're hearing maybe there is some trepidation that this character won't catch over to Japanese audiences. So my question is like, what do you think? Because obviously, some concessions have to be made to to make that acceptable. I heard about the the hands, the you know, the fingers. You know, yep. Crash had to have mitts. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. I, you hear about the dance stuff like that. But like, what do you think changed the time? Because even though we love Crash, and Crash ended up becoming what it became initially. The reviews weren't strong. And, and 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 what was crazy about it is even though the reviews were like, oh, it's trying to be, what is this, Mario, whatever, the sales said otherwise. The, the people loved it. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and, it outsold Mario. That's what people don't realize. Like, even though the reviews did what it did, it's, it's what actually, so my thing is, what do you think was the turning point for one, that audience, and then two, the sales to, to dominate? Yeah, so uh, there's two things. The first one was there was a magic moment where Sony was going to Sony Japan finally came in and was going to yes. decide whether or not they were going to make this an international release or whether or not it was just going to be in North America. Wow. So they came in and, you know, we had been the, the work hours. I, I admit I was a crunch person. I regret it. But we had been up for like two days Woo. Okay. working on getting the demo ready because the game's not finished. Mm -hmm. And they came in and, the, you know, the looks. <laughs> Just not, <laughs> Crash is not, like the aggressive Crash art is just not 
landing. Yeah. And I remember like we were going to run out to lunch and I went over to Charlotte Francis, who was our texture artist. I believe she's still at Naughty Dog. She's oh, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. And Charlotte was our like our fastest. She was she did textures and she was really fast. I was like, Charlotte, mm-hmm. they keep talking about the mouth. Mm. Keep <laughs> talking about the eyes. Make little Pac-Man eyes, kind of mm-hmm. anime style. Get rid of the color and everything else in, in, in the eyes. And you got to get rid of the mouth, close the mouth. Mm. And she did the art. We came back from lunch. She put it on the table and everyone wow. went, Let's go. <laughs> that might work. And that, like Charlotte Francis saved Crash Bandicoot. And wow. Like, she, wow. She did it, right? And what ended up getting marketed was people who took that and ran with it. And the entire Crash marketing campaign in Japan was absolutely brilliant. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the crash dance was like kind of their yeah. thing. And then I, like, the whole thing, it was like, it was genius. But that moment like led to it, to it working out. Wow. And the second question you had now, I'm, I'm like, I'm sales, I'm, uh, the, sales. Yeah. yeah. Beating so, Mario. So yeah. this, this is like something to watch out for. Like everyone loves Mario mm-hmm. and everyone loved Mario back then. And we were, uh, you know, audacious enough to say we're taking Mario on. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. A lot of people had a lot of like, they didn't like that. They weren't feeling that. And so, and so I would go into interviews and the interviews would be like, how do you think you could take on Mario? And I was answering, I would answer the question. They looked down on their page for the next question. They go, so since you are not going to be as good as Mario. Oh, are you wow. Going to Mario? Oh, are you applying like, the media a, bias? They hadn't even played it. Right? Yeah. They hadn't even played it. And so there was this whole like, and you know, we were aggressive and audacious and we were naughty dog, right? So there was this. Who the hell are you? You made a couple of games on like, <laughs> Genesis and, like, you. and it was Way of the Warrior, which had terrible <laughs> reviews also. And like, there's no way this is going to work out. <gasps> the, the reviews were, I would say, and they never are that fair on the, but then like people were like, I don't have a choice. I, I have a Sony system. I bought it for that and I bought it for whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to try this. Oh God, this is, Ooh. this is good. Yes. And then like the, the people, again, the gamers, they were the ones that were like, no, there's some magic here. Yes. And then, you know, we made the second game. And by the time the second game comes out, you're Naughty Dog, it's Crash. And like Ooh. all of the reviews go easier because- The respect is you know, there now. Right, yeah. exactly. the respect wasn't there. And, you know, frankly, we probably didn't deserve it at that point. So, so it's all good. But you have earned too. it though. You I earned know. everything. Yeah. Like, that, 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 that conversation that he had in the next question that it was so dismissive from the first question, you earned it because all they the treated time. you different the next time they saw you. So, so th- like, this is like, you have to understand this is the way the world works, right? When VR started coming out, the first question was, so what, tell us about VR. The second question is, since nobody's going to want VR, this <laughs> is just the way it is, right? And then like, the over, it gets overhyped because yep. people have to hype it to, and then it comes down mm-hmm. and then it slowly builds its way back up. Like, mm-hmm. Here's a good one for you. Let's go. Why do you think CDs are going to be a good way to develop games? Yeah. Well, because you got all this memory, you got this, it's cheaper, so this is going to be better for the developers, better for the Load times. Load times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They don't fit my current system, like my current rack. Like they look yeah. too much like my music. Like the, mm-hmm. it, the number of things that people come at you with that they've already decided it's not going to work. And you go, you look at it in the rear view mirror and you're like, yeah, of course it worked. Mm. Look at the iPhone, right? Good point. Yeah. Good point. Newton comes out, people. I, I laughed at Andy. Andy had a Newton. I was like, who the hell needs a screen and a computer? And I got a desktop. Look at the size of this. <laughs> what do I need to carry it with me? I don't want it. And, you know, when iPhone came out, people, no keyboard. That's never going to work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, no, it, nobody it, knows where the world is going. You, you like, it takes a while to get used to things. And they got used to crash. No doubt. So, solve, yeah. solve real quick, because he's been patient. And then I got one more with the crash the week before. I just think we, we're talking about all of these different sort of ways in which people looked at crash and said, oh, this is not going to work compared to Mario, whatever. When when you say Miyamoto was playing the game and he, and he looked at his eyes and it wasn't the look of the game, I think. It's just the fact that it, gameplay is king and gameplay will always be king, whether it be 2.5D, whether it be 3D, 2D. To me, he looked at that. And he looked at how well that game controlled and that's where it was. Okay. Now, when you look at how this this game controls in this sort of ninety degree shift from from left to right, it controls just as tight as a as a Mario platformer. That to me was the thing that obviously, when, as a kid, I, I'm seeing this game and I'm like, the graphics are amazing. But if it didn't control as well as it did, it wouldn't have mattered. 
and for me that was it so when i look at like everything when you look at why these things are successful besides the, the look and the change and sort of art and, and polygons and 3d and everything it, to me it's the gameplay that still kept it to me because mm -hmm. you guys are still beginning you know developers there so to get that right to get that feel right how is it that you like what what is kind of what was your your design mantra back then Right. Yeah, well, so, so keep in mind a few things that changed. Mm -hmm. Before Crash Bandicoot, every game we made was either out of our own pocket mm -hmm. or we had a very small budget that was too small for the game we were trying to make because no one trusted a bunch of high school kids or whatever. To make. <laughs> right. So even the stuff we were doing for EA, our games were half price, quarter price of any competing piece of software. Right. Universal mm -hmm. changed that with Crash. They said, what do you need? Oh. And the first thing was employees and people to help us. Yes. The other thing that we had as an advantage is we had Mark Cerny, who mm -hmm. had made Sonic yes. too, worked on it. So he mm -hmm. had right. some knowledge. And I just decided this game was gonna be the magnum opus. Like I was not gonna let it release until it was perfect. And mm -hmm. even in the Jack days, I would go into Andy's office and I would say something changed. He mm -hmm. would say nothing changed. I'm like the control's not good, we're starting over. Wow. wow the control is everything in games yeah. control is you have to get out of your way and empower Steel. you at the same time yeah. right? exactly and if you're thinking about it or if it doesn't act like it needs to act it kills you and we just learn things yep. for example you know i said people were saying how when you're running in are you going to know where the edge is to jump like right. it's just not it's not going to be easy the answer to that was even as you start falling into the pit you have a couple of frames to jump to jump, to jump. Because you can see you're falling and you jump and you're like, shit, I'm too late. Mm -hmm. Yep, now you're good. Not supposed to you're good, you're good. Slip is and good. Rewind. <laughs> Cliff, Re and let's re-engineer that. Have some, you know, trepidation, but you do jump and you get the jump mm -hmm. because we gave you those extra couple of frames. And yeah. there's all these little things that we learned as we were going. Mm -hmm. We also, it's dynamically difficult to adjust. There's dynamic difficulty adjustment in it. Okay. The boulder comes at you, you die. It comes at you slower, you die. It comes at you slower, you die. Eventually, you're going to make it. Oh, right. so you was helping me and I didn't even know it. it yeah. helping you all over the place. And those were things we had never thought of doing before. But, you know, with Mark and everybody else, we did it. And so, like, it, it just worked out. That's awesome. I'm kind of curious, like, right now, obviously, you know, um, Crash Bandicoot uh, is being made by another person. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, is it weird, you know, even though that you've moved on from that uh, position even you know out of the industry to a point you know you obviously you're at meta but that now that you're not the helm of uh you know a studio like that is a weird seeing someone yeah. else can you watch him now can you can you look at crash to say no it's very weird mm. yeah. Yeah. I don't I, i'm actually for everybody but i haven't played any of the crashes since i made crash mm. oh, wow. okay. like, I, and there was like the the recent ones have been well received so at mm. least i'm proud yeah, the last one actually like, a lot of people like exactly there was this trough where like the kid yeah. left home and then i don't want to talk about their career like you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. like went downhill and I you were you. like oh my god <laughs> and it, it was like a period boy. of time where it was like you knew everything that came out was going to be embarrassing and i i, I just couldn't play this stuff so the new <laughs> stuff that has come out i haven't played much of it so, okay. so do you, you do you want to skip over that part where you know that 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 you know, and then we get to Jack. No, we go, we go, yeah, we, let's do the final, I, I swear, because yeah. I, I got to shout out uh, Lord's Game. Well, those two things are related, right? Yes. Like we okay. had signed with Universal. Mm -hmm. So Universal owned Crash because we made a deal with Universal that they own Crash Bandicoot. Mm -hmm. And if you follow it, Universal was, you know, was bought and then that was yeah. bought and that was bought. And now it's Activision that owns Right. Like, just, yeah, Microsoft's Microsoft owns it. And yeah. Microsoft <laughs> owns it if it closes with the FTC. If it closes with the FTC. So, yeah. So like, you know, it's, part, right? it, which is ironic. Think about it. It's gone from Sony to, to right? It's like, yeah, surprise. yeah. But in any event, like it, that, that made us decide that we didn't want to continue working on Crash because Universal was like, at that point, Mark had left Universal. There wasn't Ooh. much they were bringing to the table and yet they still wanted a lot of, you know, the, the royalties from the game. Right. I, okay. I, can, understand. Decided, I can understand that. Again, arrogantly and audacious, we'll just do it again with a new character. Mm, let's go. New let's hardware. Go. Make just nice. that, that one go. that you are our friend Sonny. <laughs> you heard what he said? Yeah. He said, oh, so you think you made me? All right. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> but prior to this, did you had you, you guys had full creative control with Crash? Outside of I know some things like was the influence, I want to get this question from um Lord, Lord Will from uh, Lords of Gaming. He he wanted to know like, was it 
was Sony really influenced, like influencing everything about Crash, or was it just on the Japanese side before you move into the Jackson that next side? I just wanted to ask that question as far as influence control. They didn't know they was making it. Right. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know that because like Crash was already designed mm -hmm. by the time Sony saw it. Gotcha. I think the the only person that had influ well, I said you know you had Charles Embelis and Joe Pearson mm -hmm. who were doing two D the two D sketches. I, unfortunately, I don't have one behind me. I could go run mm -hmm. in the closet and grab my original. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. But like they. they <laughs> <laughs> they had a huge influence on the game because they set the tone and they they did the 2D art that became Crash Bandicoot, right? Gotcha. So they certainly were there. But in terms of the 3D game, it was really Mark Cerny and the eight people that were in Naughty Dog. Got that was awesome. the beginning of Crash. Okay. What Sony did is they took the Crash Bandicoot that we built effectively for non-Japanese world and they made it work for Japan from a marketing standpoint. And we did a few things that you mentioned the MIT. I forgot yeah, about the MIT. Four fingered things look like the Yakuza. You can't have the Yakuza. Yeah. You can't mm -hmm. have four fingered. So there were there were things that we changed for Japan, uh, but most of it was actually not in the game. Most of the changes, there were changes like we had instructions and Aku Aku did some different stuff. But mm -hmm. like most of the changes were their marketing. Gotcha. And that's where they really did a lot of the work. Gotcha. On on mm -hmm. Jack. Let's go. There was a lot more collaboration with Sony in terms of the design. And to a certain extent, I would say in the end that ended up being a weakness, mm -hmm. not because Sony didn't have good ideas. Mm -hmm. There's nothing against the people that were doing it or the ideas they came up with. Mm -hmm. It was the fact that I thought, OK, now we're making an international uh, you know, superstar. This has to work all over the world. And mm -hmm. all over the world is a lot of cultures with a lot of beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's not just the Japan and rest of the world thing. I want to make this work everywhere. And Sony by that time. It was a big organization. They had a Middle Eastern unit. They had their Latin American unit. They had all these. And so I was like, here's a genius idea. Everybody will come together and review everything as we're building it because we're already working with Sony and we'll figure out the best possible answer that fits everybody. And I regret that decision because I think it waters down the character. Crash had the, 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 the vibrancy of a very small number of people working really hard with an opinion. And Jack has some of that. And I love Jack and Daxter, and I'm, I, but you know, dollar to dollar, mm. not as strong a character in my opinion, because yeah. we took too many people's advice. Again, not the people, not Sony. Right. It's just that if you get too many people in a room, you're gonna water it down. And mm. it, it is, I took that away. And like, up until today, I believe that like true art is a very small number of very, mm -hmm. very intense people working with a vision. And it's going to offend someone. I don't mean offend like yeah. it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. racist yeah. or whatever. Too many like chefs. Go, I don't like your character design. That won't work in this country. And things like that. And you're going to go, I don't care. Right. Yes. I'm going to make it. And you're going to make it work. And that mm. works for Crash in Japan. And if it can work, for it, you know, J Japanese market is very insular. If it works for Japan, anyone can, you know, mm. give or take. Yeah. You know, no, that's a good point. So, so like okay, Spyro was never going to sell in the Middle East because at the time dragons were fantasy characters and that wasn't allowed that was in allowed. Saudi Arabia, for example. But Crash was a bandicoot and that was real, so that was okay. Mm -hmm. So there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know, right? Yeah. But like beyond that kind of rules, mm -hmm. like design with a spirit, design because with your emotions. Y'all like, made Crash in a vacuum, um, and this is in your rebellious stage because you actually y'all y'all i'm still rebellious, yeah, rebellious right? <laughs> um did you did you want jack and dexter to be in that same rebellious stage without all the eyes because i know you you alluded to that part right there and you you, you regret the decision of having more people input um if if you could go back that you would eliminate that and what do you think jack and dexter would have turned out to what what what's missing that you would have just let it be. Yeah. If you so let me, let me answer that in a roundabout way. That right. I, that I, so Crash Bandicoot was a Sonic Mario game. Like we, yeah. we wanted to make a character action game, but we also had this fundamental belief that CDs were going to change the way gaming worked and gaming was going to go from purely uh, interface and gameplay to storytelling and start competing with medium like movies in like, you know, telling stories, creating worlds and like being much deeper. Mm -hmm. And so when we started working on Crash, we had a vision for something that looked more like Uncharted, not mm -hmm. in the sense that it was a human character, not in the sense that like, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was more adult. It was still a character action game, but we had these cut scenes planned and we had a backstory mm -hmm. and we were gonna go back and forth and like, the first uh, the first boss you were gonna, you were gonna jump up 
cut to a cut scene, go through his roof, he was going to threaten you, and then it was going to start. And we utterly failed to do any of this because, you know, it, the, the tech just wasn't there. So ambitious. And so when Jack and Daxter came and PlayStation 2 came, we were on this journey to make this mix of game and story. Oh. We wanted to interplay, right? Hashtag just so, good energy. Let's go. So one of the things we had decided with Crash is Crash wouldn't talk. And the right. reason that Crash doesn't talk was because Gex and a bunch of other games had come out Gex. and took advantage of all the memory <laughs> to have speaking characters, but didn't get right. it right. And you were like, that wasn't funny. I don't want to hear that. I don't yeah. think I'm this character. <laughs> like, and you distance yourself from the character. Dana Gould. Dana Gould. <laughs> so we were like, well, let's not Gex this character. <laughs> let's make him silent. <laughs> and I think it was the right thing to do because it's you. Everyone else yeah. talks to Crash. Crash doesn't talk. Right. Here I had a lack of vision. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 2 comes out, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get over that. And I was like, it worked for Crash. Mm -hmm. Let's keep Jack quiet. Mm -hmm. And if you look at Jack 1, he doesn't, he doesn't talk a lot. Too much, right? well, but we also uh, wanted the uh, attitude. Yeah. That's what created Dexter. Uh, mm -hmm. Because Dexter can say whatever the hell he wants to say. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not you. Yeah. Like he's the annoying sidekick. Yes. Right? And so that was the solution to that problem. And because of that, I think Jack didn't have the attitude he could have had because we transferred it to Daxter, Got and that's it. why he's a little bit more mellow of a character. Because we didn't okay. we didn't need two attitudes. Right. We had an attitude. And Daxter was all of the, you know, wise talking and yep. sassiness and back talking and like he told the story and like he was there. So Jack yeah. got a little too quiet. Mm. And we didn't really ever fix that with Jack. He started talking a little more, but he doesn't say a lot. And like, you know. Yeah. Uncharted, they fixed that. Yeah. Right. And if you look at Uncharted, mm -hmm. it is literally that line to story and game together mm -hmm. with the additional decision that they were going to do non-character action game, more adult human being characters, wow. which we wanted to do instead of Jack 2, mm -hmm. but Sony wanted more Jack. Oh, so, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. So, get, get out of here. I, got, I got to transition both of two. Just out of curiosity, did you ever consider like Ratchet and Clank like a rival in any way? So Insomniac uh, uh -oh. and Ted Price yes. were close friends. Salute. Okay. Um, they had also signed with Universal. Oh. And for a long time, our offices were right next to their offices. Oh. So we would have lunch with them, mm -hmm. and we would talk to them, and everything else, right? And so um, it, was, it was really Crash and Spyro, remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. At yes. the beginning, right? And so right. one thing we realized early on, or at least I realized early on, is they shouldn't both come out in the holiday because we were just, you know, they were both great games. Why yeah. attack each other? Yeah. But the holiday was where the, you know, action was. Yeah. And so we ended up with posters that had both jet you know both crash yeah. and, mm -hmm. and and so ratchet and clank was a competition yes but at the same time they were our best friends and we were mm -hmm. very close with that team and we shared technology back and forth between oh, the two teams okay, and to this okay. day ted is a close friend and like it, it's kind of like you know in the nba you get on the court your rivals but yeah. after the court that's still your man no, yeah. no i get that drink together right like, so it's like, mm -hmm. it's like and, and, yeah yeah I, I get it it's one of those things where it's like there's a rivalry there, but it's nothing but respect. Like, yeah, it, it, absolutely. And then you, you, not to mention that that helps build each, build both of you up, both yeah, companies absolutely. up. It's like, oh, I see you. It's like, it's like I'm gonna do something like that. Now. Yeah, and it, it was an interesting time because Lo Jason made a good point. We forgot at that time, Solve like. Everything was kind of like pushed towards the holiday season. You had to kind of yeah. drop it mm -hmm. on the holiday season. 100% holiday you, season. Yeah, you're crunching and stuff like that. But that's, I, that's when the spending yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Early part the of the year was barren. Was barren. Then. Yeah. So, so, the, so the thing now, here's the, 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 the question that I have for you. The, the one I really couldn't wait to ask you was that, logic, like Naughty Dog at this point, Crash, the sequels, Team Racing, then you have PlayStation 2, you have Jack, Jack, Jack and Dexter. The hits are coming. You got Naughty Dog is now becoming a thing synonymous with quality and these great games. And, and I got a pocket watch. I know the checks had to be very nice <laughs> at that point. So my we, we were doing very well. Yes. Yeah. yeah so, so my question now is like what you then do, in my opinion, is kind of unheard of. Like you kind of leave on top. So, so my question is like what made you get out the game at that point? And say, you know what? It's time for me and Andy, baby, to walk away from this thing. When literally you're like 
the, the top of the unit. You're the darlings, right? And then the, to say we're going to necessarily sell our, our company and then obviously Naughty Dog continues to be what Naughty Dog is, the iconic Naughty Dog. But it's, it, it's just interesting to me. What was the mindset at that point for you? Yeah, so, it, yeah, crazy times. Mm -hmm. Like Andy and I were, you know, the, the, the checks were massive. Like everybody was, it's a small company still. So everyone in the company was doing extremely well. Like we were just... We were doing really well. And, you know, at some point, I remember we were in Tokyo, mm -hmm. in Roppongi, mm -hmm. in, uh, in a bar called the Lexington Queen, mm -hmm. probably 4 a.m. I don't remember, but it was certainly <laughs> way, way past midnight. <laughs> Bottle of whiskey in front of us. I drank back then. I don't drink it. <laughs> Salute to that whiskey. Andy and me, mm -hmm. Kelly Flock, mm -hmm. who ran the internal Sony studios, mm -hmm. and Andy McNamara and Andy Reiner of Game Informer magazine. Mm -hmm. So that was the people around the table, 4 a.m. Lexington Queen. And I, I, I was lit. Like, we were all. <laughs> it was a nice time. It was a and, nice time. And Kelly, Kelly goes, so when are you selling? What? I go, what? He goes, the company. I go, why would we sell the company? Exactly. Yeah. And, and Andy McNamara and Andy Reiner, too, they get up and they're like, let me tell you about Naughty Dog. <laughs> you know, they care about the games they care they don't need to sell to anybody they this they that and kelly flat goes yeah but you're number one there ain't nowhere to go but down yeah Ooh. and mm. that point i remember th i was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like maybe we should sell when we, when we good good like, so, so 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 is that the, the, okay i'm sorry finish, finish, finish. Yeah, so the other thing that was going on is and and this is the part like there there are things i regret about the naughty dog era and one of the things i regret was like you got to remember i started when i was 15. Yeah, I, started young. I didn't take i didn't take training to be a manager mm -hmm. i didn't i was never in a company where i was managed mm -hmm. right so to me we talked about the holidays you had to hit the holiday because oh, if you yeah. didn't hit the holiday you could hit next holiday but that's way too long and you've cut in half the amount of money you can make and the yeah. number of games you can make yeah. Yeah. the naughty dog we finished crash on a christmas mm -hmm. We, we hit Crash 2 the next holiday, 13-month product. That's Ooh, crazy. That's crazy. We hit Crash 3 the next Three. one. Yeah. That one was even shorter. Annual and releases. then CTR, we did like eight months and four days. It was like insane. Wow. wow. Yeah. The cadence is nuts. <laughs> that's insane. And yes, the money was there, but it was there for me and Andy and the team. But the team was not getting what Andy and I did, and we worked all the time. And mm. I regret, like, we slept under desks. Mm. We were there six days, seven days a week. Damn. There was two years where I did not have a day out of the office. Andy, Andy had we, it, our computers tracked it. Mm -hmm. Sixteen-hour average days. Wow, wow. That includes weekends. Mm. And one day out of the office because I had the flu, and I, I took one day at home. Andy didn't take a day out in 1998. Wow. And, you know, I'm in my 20s, right? 98. Mm. I'm 28. Yeah. We started making crash and started working these hours when I was 24. Mm. You were burnt. Cut forward to Jack and Daxter. It didn't stop. Yeah. And we started giving the team time off in between the projects. We'd give them a month off. And I would go on press tour. Oh, yeah. You and then I'd to, have to get in early. Really get and I'd have to start working on the next game. That still work. Yeah. Mm. I had no life. Yeah. Preach it. And like, there was a time where I remember, like, I had a girlfriend. She was like, I, I'm going to, like, just yeah. out this on your, your. I had a girlfriend, and she was not a great person, it turns mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But she got something right. I saying. cared so much about the games I was making. I cared about my PC. Mm. I cared about the car. I would go out with swabs and like, Ooh. you know, clean out the car and, and detail it. Mm -hmm. But my body was just falling apart. Mm. And mentally, yeah. I was like, not the man I am today. And mm. I just, you know, sitting in the bar with Kelly Flock, I was like, he's right. Mm. Like, there's nowhere to go up. And mm. also, like, when am I going to get a life? Preach. And so I just kind of at some point decided and keep in mind also the companies had been growing all across the oh, industry yeah. but nobody had verdict had, had started doing you know it was still like the two leads or one lead or three leads would run everybody right. and there was no organization and i didn't know what to do i was not like see what we need is an art lead and the art lead will have departments and the departments will have like all this stuff that exists today mm -hmm. i didn't know how to do any of that and i was like this isn't going to work out like it, it started with an eight person team with crash and now we're a 80 person team and like just i manage it. all these people and i yeah. go to everyone and it's like i just mm -hmm. i got to this point where i was like oh. i think i need some take time his time off. take his time and, and there's no way to take time off when you're hitting holidays yeah. and you're doing this stuff and like 
I also, I like, I had Evan Wells that was working there, Stephen White at the time, yeah. working at Naughty Dog, Kristoff, like all these really, and like, they were saying, how does my career progress? Yeah. Right? I, you you haven't created a structure where I'm really in charge, like, like maybe I should go start my own team. Mm. And like, law firms break up, right? Yep. And my father, I saw that his whole life. And I'm like, I don't want like a third of the team or whatever to split yeah. off. And like. I just don't want that. This is a this is a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. If I step aside, it could go. Evan can step up. Okay. So we agreed to sell. Okay. We agreed to make the Jack games. Mm -hmm. And about two years into a four year contract, I told Sony, "Look, I think I need I need to walk the earth. I need mm -hmm. I need to have a life." I feel that. I don't know if Andy's going to do it too. He ended up deciding to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. and it took two years from the day I said that to the day I left to transition to Evan and at the time Stephen White running the company. Mm -hmm. Last year, Evan had the big office, and I had the second <laughs> biggest office. Like we 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 did the transition. Mm -hmm. And I went right there. Yeah, I just needed time. No, I hear you. It's it's, it's a powerful discussion because you know obviously you, you mentioned the the, the the let's be honest, we got to call it what it, the, the crunch of the industry, and then yeah. you know the other thing too that I find is interesting, especially in, in parallel to this climate now where you're seeing a lot of companies selling and, and a lot of people being acquired. Right. Would you say that? Because I know I'm, I'm kind of affectionately known as Lord Acquisition. They always tease me like, oh, it's always pro acquisition. But would you say that like? That's part of the end game, you know, when, when, from where you came from, for a lot, of, a lot of these studio heads to say, okay, we got to that point, we've done everything we can, and then it's like, hey, let's cash out, let's grab a margarito to be like, we, we've, we've accomplished our goal, or is that too much, is that far from, like, what do you think about that? It's not only cashing out, like, I, I'm not pro and I'm not anti. For okay. a while, I was pro, and I remember saying to Ted, when are you selling? I <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm never going to sell this company, I'm going to, I love managing, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and mm -hmm. for a while, like, there are hard years running mm -hmm. companies. Companies. And for a while, I was like, yeah, I made the right decision. <laughs> Naughty Dog, look what this guy's going through yeah, still, yeah. my friend. Ooh. And then he sold to Sony recently. And let's just say the valuations for companies oh, have gone through. The, 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 the right oh, the valuation is. Woo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. But he also had 15, 20 years in that period where he was working his ass off. Yeah, and I was yeah, yeah. traveling yeah. and doing whatever I was doing. And I did a lot of other things. I wrote yeah. the comic books that like, uh, these characters and like, so. Who did it right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, we'll sit someday you, in heaven and we'll talk about it. But you, like, you did yeah. what was right for yourself. For yourself. At that time. Yeah. A, a question. You see how uh, the industry is going now with the anti-crunch movement, uh, crunch movement, and that's right. Um, that's uh, the right thing for the for the industry to do. Right. And it, it, I take and that very seriously. Putting in impl 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 implementations uh, to uh, stave that to 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 actually don't allow too much crunch to happen, but the trends now in the digital era, as far as release dates, remember you were saying that the holiday season, uh, everything was geared towards the holiday season. We see games like Elden Ring can come out in uh, February, March, and they can actually have big numbers and big sales. So we see the trends uh, lead that there is actually no selling period. It's just good games that can actually sell when they actually do release. Uh, do you think that is a, a good trend going forward? Because the old trend was everything was geared towards the holiday. The beginning of the year was barren. And now that leads to a, a hell of a lot of crunch. So crunch at that period of time was actually necessary. But now crunch isn't necessary in this digital era. And do you think the digital era is the reason why crunch isn't necessary anymore? There's still a lot of teams crunching. And I, you know, it's, it, this is a really hard topic. Like yeah. at, at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you start every project spending too much time on the details and not getting to the, you know, not getting the things you need done. And then you, whatever you do, you have a release date and it comes and you end up delaying. And like, it, it, there is still crunch in the industry and still people managing wrong. Yeah. I think the holidays have become less important. It kind of depends on where you are in the business, though. I think the holidays are far less important if you're a mobile game. It's yeah, probably right. relevant. Holidays are still important on consoles. It's still important for us in VR. Um, whether or not that leads to crunch or not depends on how skilled your managers are and how reasonable you are about the fact that sometimes extra time is the right thing to do. I thought it was like we always hit our date. Like mm. I didn't think it was possible to slip the date. There were mm. teams at that time that were releasing a lot more slowly. I, you know, if you look at the uh, Gran Turismo team, yeah, had, like, yeah. titles across, I think two, maybe one, across all of PlayStation, and we were doing every year. And so th one of their titles may have outsold us because the next year it was the only title, and the year after that it was the only title. title right? Right. 
but we outsold them if you look at the yeah. sum of the titles we did and that was the right thing to do financially but again it was it was brutal well, I mean, yeah. To, yeah. to be honest back then there's like a gray area to the industry was the young you didn't know what could be done what couldn't be done and like mm. you know all that was done back then that led to the industry what it is now. Um, yeah yeah so, so so that's my question jason like um because you know obviously the your, the dice speech felt like it was you Ooh. venting what you were feeling right <laughs> drop um, some bars in my life and it but not it, necessarily but it, the brightest thing to do what I <laughs> no say. no i mean but but again you were speaking from the heart and anytime you do that that is the truth and you know don't ever regret doing that but it is did you feel you said you crunched a lot but if it almost felt like that was your motivation to do it did you feel that it was something that it it was kind of self-imposed but then publishers looked the other way or was there something in the in the sort of culture of the company that that kind of egg kind of egged you towards doing that was it understood that that was the expectation or was it just the fact that you guys were young hungry and willing to do this let me let me start by saying I take full responsibility for the crunching. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I, I think a lot of teams were crunching. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of teams didn't know how to do things differently. Differently, I think it was accepted if it was known by publishers. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it was my responsibility mm -hmm. to set rational timelines, mm -hmm. and I was always too aggressive, and then I hit them. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to excuse it by saying there were there were mitigating circumstances like others were doing it too. Mm -hmm. I still should have been better. I feel that. I feel that. No, yeah. you guys was hitting your targets, targets. without yeah. the, the, the. But it, the, it creates the expectation, creates the expectation. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm not even talking about that. They were mm -hmm. hitting their target with being efficient without the bugs and stuff like now. Like now True. we have game breaking bugs that are in in this digital oh, era. We had bugs. Like, it's like, <laughs> but but it's like ship it now, fix it later, right? You well, guys, we I, couldn't. You yeah, couldn't. you couldn't fix it later. No, there was no, no patch back then. There was, there was no patch on a CD or it was on a DVD. Like if you if you had, I think it was Crash Two. One of the titles we we put out and like the you know you're like oh my god the thing is on the shelf. Whew, we made it. You know, and then we get a call from Sony and they're like, we've had like three bugs. There's crashes, it's crashing, and like you're like, ah, and that was it. Just those wow. three. For 24 right. hours, like you've got to recall your CDs Bro. and then ship everyone CDs. And not everybody knows there's a bug. Like right. you can't do live patching like you right. can. Right. Good point. Mm -hmm. You had to get it right because if you didn't get it right, there was no, yeah. like, it was just impractical mm -hmm. to fix it. And so it, in a lot of cases, you just pulled the game from the shelf if it was that bad a bug because you couldn't sell it anymore. Mm. And so we had to get it right. Live, you know, li live operations, that's another thing that's making crunch a little less relevant. If you can launch your game into a beta, learn if it's working or not, slowly mm. build it, market into it, like, and fix the problems mm. after it's launched. Like, th these are all things that allow holidays and things like that yeah. to become yeah. less important. But back then, you had none of that. It was even yeah. worse on a cartridge. Yes. Because remember, it was an $18 piece of plastic and silicon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you screw up a cartridge, done. So I, <laughs> done. <laughs> I, I do have a, a quick question as like an outsider. I don't know if you want to comment on this. Like, you see like a lot of these companies buying like giant corporations. Uh, you know, you see people buying smaller studios, mid-sized studios to even publishers, a lot of this consolidation. Do you as someone that's been in the industry feel like that's good for the industry? Yes, it's, mm -hmm. it, there's an endless cycle. Mm -hmm. And um, this is actually something I probably can't answer today. That's fine, that's there's fine. There's a lot going on in there's the world. There's a lot going on in the world. That's why yeah. I put it in there. Yeah. I was like, you know, in case yeah. you didn't feel comfortable answer, I don't want to put you yeah, in the Yeah, that's good. I wanna, but I, wanna, I knew the chat would get on me if I didn't Yeah, they, you know, they, they didn't say, but I want to transition. So now, like I said, you, you step away, you sell, you know, you make the decision for your mental health, you make the decision to see the world. You know, but there were some stops along the way. You did, you know, the comic book thing, you had the THQ run, you know what I'm yes, saying? You, you had Fox, MySpace, like it was a lot going on. So, you know, my question is, through all those experiences when you were away, what did you learn? And then what in the hell made you say VR? And come back? <laughs> all right. So I am very bad at retirement. <laughs> I probably was retired for a good six months before I started noodling on things. Um, 
there's a bunch I did that it's not worth bringing up today, but like tried to acquire some game companies, was involved in a bunch of other stuff. But ultimately, MySpace kind of hit. And uh, yeah, MySpace was fire. Back. It, it, was it was dope back then. Yeah. Right. And so I, I was making my page look good. And I had friends, some friends that were celebrities. And they're like, can you make my page look good? Because, you know, I got a lot of followers. And I was like, sure, I can make your page look good. And I would do it. And I was like, this is this is laborious. Like this is the way it can be. <laughs> and so what if somebody made something that could plug into a MySpace page and it just made it look better and they could put photos up and effects and like it could edit videos because like and so I went I actually knew the head of marketing at MySpace. I'm like, I think I, you guys should build this. And she's like, Well, we're not gonna build that. We're we're build, busy. And I was like, Well then I'll build it and I'll sell it to you. Okay. And we did. I nice. Nice. That hole it was called fill that hole. Pause. But that's right. exactly fill the hole. It. Yeah. A yes. year and ten days after we started that company, we sold it to MySpace. And like their whole thing was, we're going to use this to you know, like as a centerpiece of how our video is going to work, and it's going to do a bunch of stuff. And it was like, great. What about this Facebook? And they're like, ah, yeah, this is good company. It's like you know, they're getting bigger, but there's no way Facebook. We're MySpace. I mean, we're, we're not, not, <laughs> so like, was by the friend, time man. we sold the company, it went from that kind of dismissiveness to, well, they're getting bigger, but we think in the long run we've got, and then by the time we actually started working on things for MySpace, it was like all hands on deck. And then a few months later, it was like clear well, that yeah. MySpace Whoa, was done. Mm, and so, yeah, it was a short tenure at MySpace, but mm. I did learn a lot about social networks. I learned a lot about, you know, that kind of software. I just, it was a good learning experience and you know we sold a company so it was it was fine yeah, um, the, the comic books that and was you like, went out on a high over yeah. there too mm -hmm. <laughs> the so i gotta ask books, i'll tell yeah, you what, this the, is comic, comics. The, the comics were i have this creative thing that i want to fulfill mm -hmm. i don't have a venue to do it i didn't want to start a game team mm -hmm. i want to do something with a small team of creative people because that to me was the the glory days of game making was a oh, small yeah. team of creative oh, yeah. people and it turns out that comics are still a small team of really creative, talented people. I love mm -hmm. like, I'm going to write a comic book and I'm going to figure out how to get it made. And I did that twice with two comic book series. Yes, they were okay. I'm, you know, as a writer, I'm not, I, you What's learn that you're not good at everything. I, I right? Saint. But the artists yeah. were awesome. Iron Saint and what else? Uh, the Iron Saint and Mysterious Ways. Mysterious Ways. Yeah. And mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. Uh, okay, well, you know, I'm always going to ask you. And by the way, both of those, the goal was I'm going to write a comic book series and then I'm going to make a movie about it. Oh. And so I wrote the comic book series and then I started going around in Hollywood and they're like, comic books? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Nah. <laughs> you comic book. And then that, then that, you know, nobody ever knows what's going to work. And then I'm like, yeah, it's going to be R rated because the stuff oh, that I wrote was a little, and they're like, no, 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 no. The comic book movie stuff all has to be PG. That's PG. the secret. See, it's got to be PG. And then you look at, you know, the yeah, stuff that's yeah. out there. Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have always been at the curve or ahead of the curve. And and you've always followed that aggressive thought. Like you said, you can't retire probably, right? So you're sitting there, you're like, you know what? To damn a drug. Come, it's I'm gonna it's aggressive. It's aggressive and it's optimistic. Yes. So, so so with that, I have to ask the question. Go mm -hmm. for it. When you joined THQ, here we go. You you joined what was essentially a sinking ship at the time. <laughs> totally. How optimistic were you that you could turn it around somewhat and the company still sort of survived that? And then what do you feel about the modern THQ, THQ Nordic kind of coming back and in, in funny ways, trying to sort of recapture what THQ was back then? Yeah, so I, I, had, I was involved in the acquisition of a much larger publisher than THQ. Mm -hmm. um, and I would have been the head of studios and that didn't go through. We okay. didn't, it didn't happen, but I spent about a year on that acquisition. And then the same bankers said, well, what else is out there? And I was like, it's, it's, that's kind of it, right? Everything else is appropriately valued or whatever. And they're like, what about THQ? And I was like, I mean, <laughs> they've got good teams. They have good teams, but man, that, you know, it was, yeah, it was, stock, it was a $2 billion company that was worth something like $25 million in the market at that time. Ooh, wow. Mm. Now, you could say you could buy them for $25 million, but it doesn't quite work like that because there's yeah. debt and all this other right. stuff going on. And, yeah. and if there's one thing I've learned in life, I don't ever want to go through a bankruptcy again. Mm. But I, I was close with bankers, and here was the thesis. Like, here's the idea. Mm -hmm. Video game developers are becoming more and more valuable. Mm -hmm. And the industry is getting larger and larger. Starting a big developer 
starting a talented large organization like a Naughty Dog is harder than it's ever been. Because it was fine when it was eight people, it was hard when it was 16, it got harder at 60, now they're hundreds. Point, like, yeah. These teams are hard to make. And so forget THQ, forget the current products, the teams have value. These are talented teams and they'll be able to make great stuff. So all we gotta do, this plane is headed to the ground. It's got a little bit of fuel, but not a lot. Land it. It's got it. Oh, no, don't land it. Scrape the wheels off and <laughs> take off. Like, you just got to not auger into the ground. Like that's all we got to do. We got to raise enough money that the plane will have enough that it can just and then get rid of everything that isn't core to the teams, mm -hmm. like core to those teams, and like take off from there. And at some point, mm -hmm. that's going to be worth billions of dollars again. Mm. Wow, that was wow, the thesis. Wow. That was ambitious. So. We started working on that. Mm -hmm. I, I went into THQ and I was like, tell me everything you got. I went and visited all the teams. And I was like, this is gonna be really like, we're yeah. gonna yeah, really yeah. bounce off, but yeah. we can do this. And within a week of joining the company, it was clear there wasn't as much money as we thought. There were other wow. mitigating factors. Mm -hmm. There were titles that they had shown me 10 minutes of gameplay and they had 12. Oh, and I oh. thought they had half the game done, right? It was, wow. and nobody at THQ Central knew how poorly the games had come along. But mm. if you know anything about games, you eventually get into it. Within weeks, it was like, okay, we're going to hit the ground hard. Yeah. yeah. There is no way this is going to be. But we did manage to raise money in what's called a stocking horse. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bottom line, very close. Mm -hmm. But we ended up having to go through the bankruptcy and we sold off all the companies. Now, those teams mm -hmm. is what you're referring to for the most part, yeah. along with some IP as THQ Nordic. Right. And those teams, you know, whether it's the 4As or the, you know, all those teams, mm -hmm. they have in fact gone on to be incredibly valuable. Yes. And the products that they brought out did much better than we thought they would do when they sold to the new companies. And some mm -hmm. of those teams, a lot of those teams, in mm -hmm. fact, ended up working with me on VR early on because mm -hmm. they said, you did the right thing by us as a team. You cared about oh, these absolutely. people. Absolutely. And like, so at the end of the day, THQ was a very bad eight, nine months, mm. very hard. Like mm -hmm. talk about not sleeping again. No. Um, yeah, no, that's powerful. But those teams exist and that might not have happened. It may have been a different it's chapter seven, chapter 11. It's very right. complicated, but it might've been, everybody's lost their job, go yeah. home. Right. Everybody's off to the wind. All those teams yeah. would have fluffed out to nothing. Yeah, no, this, this is powerful. And, and I, I love these learning experiences. And, and, and you, how candid you are with it. And, and the thing too is like now, like I said, you, you, we're talking about VR, we're talking about like Oculus, right? And Let's get to you, it. you know, for me, I'll be honest and King, you know, laugh and clown at me, rightfully so, you know, <laughs> I was the hater. I'm a Gen Xer. I was just like, I don't, cause I saw like early tech stuff. I'm like early, early then like Samsung gear or something. And I'm like, awesome these guys. yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> man, I don't know about this, right? So. It wasn't until the Quest 2 came, right? And then I was like, all right, let me try it at least, right? And I try, and I'm like, oh, first steps, you know, putting the gun together, manipulating objects in the room. And I think for me, it was seeing my hands. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is okay. You know what I mean? And you're messing around. So like, you know, then I'm like, again, core gamer sensibilities, this is cool. But what about the games, though, right? Like, wait, what about the games? So, and I think me and you talked about this, well, Jason, when um, I was like, I'm such a turn-based guy. And I remember, put some, I think, shout out to uh, Lord Bill Stillwell, for, uh, formerly at Meta, and then now, I believe it, um, Epic. But he was like, you got to try DBO. And I'm like, all right, let me see what's going on. The Dungeons and Dragons, four-player co-op. And I remember picking up the piece and just, like, manipulating it. And I'm just like, okay, this is different. So I'm like, let me get the let me get the guys together. Let's see if am I feeling what like this feels transformative. And then it's like you, you got that. Another one for me was um shout out to I believe uh Raymond uh Zenith. Z Zenith, the, the MMO, mm -hmm. anime style, melee combat. And I'm like, man, this is like almost fantasy star online with Final Fantasy, and I'm in this world that I the, the idea of putting my hands and I'm flying around this world. I'm like, okay, this is different. And then obviously the Resident Evils, the Lone Echoes. He, the, he transformed. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm. I'm. I'm He's like the VR thought, guy. Yeah. I'm. I'm the test bed. I'm mm -hmm. the test dummy for everything. Yep. Right? All the new tech. L literally yeah. virtual boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. I brought the virtual boy and um my cataracts mm -hmm. popping off all over the place, mm -hmm. i.e. the shades. Um. 
<laughs> but I always believed in that tech. I always believed in the entering the world. I started off with Vetrex. Okay, so Woo! you know we can go back all the Let's way. Let's talk about it. Now, the tech Sega had uh, some VR that they were coming out, and I was I was very hyped for that Sega VR, but it never it never you know got off the ground. So now when we get to this this the Oculus, and I was on Oculus before mm -hmm. Meta purchased them, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to tell these guys, yo, you gotta get in there. Yep, you gotta check it out. At this period of time, it's a lot of horror games, jump scares. Um, rudimentary stuff, but still stuff that you know there's a foundation here. There, there's something here, mm -hmm. and there's 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 cultivation here, like the early stages of Pong, the early stages of a pitfall. That's exactly right. This this stuff here, we're we're in the 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 wild wild west of it, but it's gonna form into something that's gonna be fantastic, and it's gonna take certain key games to gonna make this happen. And I'm trying to tell these guys, you check it out, check it, it out. This guy calls me. <laughs> And he's, he's raving. I'm like, what the hell are you raving about? What, what are you talking about? Yo, Demio, yo, <laughs> yo. And I'm like, man, I'll I talk to you in the morning. I'll talk to you in the morning because I'm dismissing you now because you dismissed me for a long time. True that. Every true. show we went to. Yep, he would be VR, VR. We, we at PAX and I'm fighting with these guys. Yep, we we got to do the VR stuff. And they're like, you go do the VR stuff. Yep. I would, I would make them do all the VR yeah. coverage. That and he's doing that. all these hot games, and I'm going to the VR stuff. But okay, all right, fine. I know it's going to happen. It's going to hit. He calls me. He tells me that. And I told him, well, I don't have the, um, the Oculus 2. Mm -hmm. And this is when I know he's serious. I got a package at my <laughs> I said, well, you bought him. You bought him. I was Listen. like, everybody got to experience this. I said, I didn't order it. You only have a few billion more people that need that. Are you willing? Like, but it's going to hit. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. And I'm like, I didn't order anything. What the hell is this? Open it up. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it together. Let's go. Every game, every console needs a killer app. Mm -hmm. And I've played, I, I have the Vive. I had the original Oculus. Mm -hmm. I played. I, I had put nodes on the floor. I had the PlayStation VR. I did all of that stuff. It was this clunky. stuff was untethered. Yes, that was a key for yep. me. Untethered. Very, very key. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Demio with these dudes, and we all in the same room. And I got a giddiness about me. A giddiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you know, <laughs> when you when you look over you, and you can see them over there. I see them. Yep. And we all in the same space. Because before VR was an isolated incident for mm -hmm. me. Now it's a group thing. We went to a concert, Wiz Khalifa concert. Mm -hmm. We watched MMA we watched together. MMA, we, we took up the venues. I took them all, like it was, yeah, it was. It was a thing. Yep, it was a thing. So I, I, I can't wait for him to make that transition to you. But mm -hmm. I want to know. I wanted to tell you that how it transformed a group because Attic was not into VR at all. At I all. literally had to lose a, a win a bet with him to put him in VR. Yes. <laughs> To do an interview, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, remember? It was on interview. I had to yeah, I, was, it was, I think it was an E3. It was, I think it was an E3. It was, it was, we were no, doing our media, oh, was media run at PAX? Okay. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. PAX. And he, he he did it, and he was like, meh, yeah, yeah. But well, the video... problem is, 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 is I get, like, motion sickness really easy in VR mm -hmm. for some reason. Mm -hmm. So, like, I have to play, like, Demio is, like, the only game. Like, I tried Resident yeah. Evil, and that, it, it's just, like, I could only play, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes of the game. But, mm -hmm. like, Demio... I was like, I turned around and my girlfriend's off work at midnight. And I'm like, oh, oh. And I'm like, this is like, this is probably an hour before we finish this. I'm like, we good? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was the game. I was like, for, for him, because Attic is a test bed for me, you know, this younger one. And, and I was like, okay, at least he gets it. And he, he was enjoying himself. And I was just like, okay. And I know how resistant he is. He's more resistant than I was. So I wanted to transition all, all of our experiences sure. just to say, like, to, yeah. for, for you, like, what was that moment to say, okay, this is where I want to go now, career. This this is where this could the industry might shape in this direction. Yep. So I, I can definitely answer that. So uh I'm doing this on the side. I haven't, you know, gotten mm -hmm. Oculus's comms you know, Meta's comms department to agree. So yes, I'm gonna yes. talk yeah, generally general about terms, VR, general, but we're not gonna yes. talk about yes. I'm sure they would be okay with it. Yes. We just have to get I can come back. I can no, do yeah. what a 266, you said, or something? Yeah, yeah do 266. <laughs> nah, yeah, we do. We'll come back shortly. Yes. Um, so there's there's a, you know, we've talked about how I have a vision, I go for things, I do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm gonna 
Before I answer the Oculus specific, the VR specific questions, yes. let me just say this. Like if there's takeaways for people today, it's this. Like, first of all, one of the biggest reasons people don't succeed at doing stuff is they never start. Mm. If you have an idea, if you believe in something, start. Preach. Once you've started, you'll find, you, if you don't know where to start, start on something, make a title screen, mm -hmm. do whatever. Because once you get started, you start rolling and you start going. The second thing is you gotta be okay with shipping it. You gotta be okay with putting it out. And the third thing is you gotta be okay with failure. Mm. We've been talking about the things I've done today that have succeeded. There have been a lot of things that I've done that have failed. Some of them in smoke and wrecks, <laughs> but that's okay. As long as you walk away from it, you're fine. THQ is a good example of that. Ugh. I walked away from it. It was a failure. I consider it a failure, but I learned a lot and there's good people mm -hmm. that I worked with that I still work with in virtual reality. So when, when I, after THQ, mm -hmm. Brendan, who was the CEO of Oculus called me and said, you got to see this, you yeah. got to come down here and see this. And I was like, okay. I, I mean, yeah. theoretically, I think VR is cool. I've tried all the, you know, last 20 years, they all sucked, but mm -hmm. I'll come down and look at it. Mm -hmm. I came down and looked at it and it blew me away. Mm. Not the very specific thing I was doing, but the potential. Yes. I believed in the potential. Everything I had ever made was either through a screen, mm. in a book, you never were there. Right. And remember why I got into this business. I got into this business to make worlds. Yeah. It's great to make worlds through a screen. It's great to make worlds on pages, but what if you could make a world you could step into? Mm. And so, I believe and fundamentally still believe that is the power of VR, MR, AR, all of these things is mm. that you will be able to step into worlds that otherwise you could not step into and do things you otherwise could not do. Whether it's climb mm. Everest, be an amoeba, travel mm. to Mars, like whatever it is, it what doesn't is matter. MR? The point is to put you in somewhere else. And so, what hey, is MR? MR is mixed reality. Mixed so reality. it's like okay, okay, you're okay, in a headset okay, and you okay, see okay, the outside okay, world, but you often have stuff on top. It's like, okay. what? Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I'm just making sure I, I follow the terminology. Yeah, you good, you good. No, because I know just, AR, I know VR, yeah. but he said MR, I'm like, what are y'all doing? And it's all complicated <laughs> and there's too many R's and yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> But here's the thing, get started. Okay. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Be okay with failure. Mm -hmm. And those three principles I went into this with, mm -hmm. I said no to Brendan. He said, you, you want a job? I was like, no, you don't have enough money to launch this. I've worked at Sony. You can't launch hardware, but I'm going to go start. What are you going to start? I don't know. Andy and I went up into an attic with Jason Kay, another partner of ours, and we started talking about what VR games would look like in the future. We were going to start a VR game company. Mm. And then Brendan called back and he said, and that was getting started. Did that happen? No. Brendan called back and said, you heard? I was like, yeah, F Facebook's going to buy you. You have the money now. <laughs> you want a job now? You want a job now? <laughs> I joined. That was a very expensive mistake. <laughs> should have joined earlier, but mm. believed, started, yep. went with it, don't care about failure. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. fundamentally believe. Like, I, I don't want to get into too much discussion yeah, yeah. about the ins and outs yeah, yeah. of the current products yep. because, again, I'm happy to come back and yeah, talk yeah. about we'll talk this about, my yeah. happy place right now. But, like, in general, mm -hmm. Was the first video game machine what you have today with PlayStation 5, Xbox, or PC? Good point. Hell no. Good point. Did I believe in games back then? Yes. I was the nerd that hid it from everybody else. But I believe that eventually, and I said this in early interviews mm -hmm. with Crash Bandicoot, this will be bigger than music. This mm. will be bigger than film. Mm. This will be bigger than television. And people laughed. And sure enough. Talk to them. Where is it today? They're Ooh. making films about games. It's, right? It's like this. This is the future, the metaverse, all these things, these are the futures. So I believed, mm -hmm. was willing to take the risks and I got started and I'm okay with failure. And I fundamentally believe what it looks like in 20 years, mm -hmm. you'll be looking back at these early things that we were doing and saying, that was just like the Apple II mm -hmm. or the Channel mm -hmm. F mm -hmm. or the Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Was it worthwhile to do Nintendo when it was out? Yeah. Was mm -hmm. it worthwhile doing Apple II? Yeah. Should you wait for the ultimate system? No. 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 You missed out on a lot of cool. And I totally accept and understand the motion sickness thing. Yeah. That will also get better and we'll do better at it. And there are a lot of things you can play. I Try the room. Yes, yes. Now, I respect you, Lord Jason. Again, we ain't going to put you on the spot with any more or questions on, on that front. But I'm glad you said that as far as taking the risks and, and, and seeing 
as a visionary where this thing can go. And like you say, you make a fantastic point. There were always stages. You know, we're talking about gaming and we're looking at now, you know, these, you know, amazing experience, the graphical fidelity. But look, it you had to start somewhere before you get that. And the advancements and, and those inflection points with certain games and moments. And that's what I think you're going at with VR. And I, I think you're onto something there. So question, five question I had for you was um, just in reference to the backup a bit. Solve kind of looted. But one of the things I'm kind of proud of you, and I know you may look at it maybe cringy, but I think I was proud of you. With the Summit Conference, we have to go back there because at the time, in my opinion, you know, King, we come from that era where when you get the cartridge or whatever, the publisher is on the box. The mm -hmm. publisher is the one that gets the credit. It's all about the, like now, like I'm extremely pro dev, right? So yeah. now we're at a part where we like, okay, we know that's, you know, Ready at Dawn. Or we know yeah. that's Resolution Games that did that. And I go out my way to seek out the dev because these are the creators. Those are the artists. Right. right. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. No disrespect to my publishers. Love you Not guys too. Very necessary. Love you guys too. Not and bad. you guys help keep the vision. Sometimes the lights on and we love you. But we got to give credit to the creators. Like this is artistry to me. So yeah. when I saw your comments and I was like, I remember it was very controversial at the time because one, Naughty Dog, you're on top of the world. You're technically, it's not to your advantage really to be saying any of these things because you're on top. So my question is one, what led to that moment? And two, are you satisfied? Because you made powerful points about, hey, we need to give these devs their flowers, their recognition and know who they are, especially to play Thing. That would play. I, I like that, but I'll just be being real. So, wh where are you at looking back at it now after those statements at the dice of it? Yeah, really quickly on VR because I, I yes. have been watching the chat out of the corner of my eyes. It's like, <laughs> talk about high resolution graphics, yes, yes, PSVR, 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 yes, two, yes, yes, that I assume, and then like you know, standalone, no cable. Yes, so the answer yes. to which one of those is more important is yes, they both are. They both are. <laughs> again, remember, VR is gonna move. And right now, cable free is awesome. Mm -hmm. High resolution graphics are awesome. Mm -hmm. Hard to get both of those things together at a reasonable price point. Reasonable price point also awesome because then everyone can experience it. Yes. It will all work itself out. Mm -hmm. Like it, nobody is disrespecting the other hardwares. We're all just taking different stabs at it. And mm -hmm. ultimately you will have all of those. Mm -hmm. That I promise, technology mm -hmm. will get there. Mm -hmm. like you will have all of those in one device and there will still be competition, but you will have all of it in, in a device and you won't have to make a choice. No doubt. No. Um, so with regards to that dice conversation, yes. so again, I've always been a believer in interactive entertainment mm -hmm. and the metaverse and all of these things. I didn't call it the metaverse back then, but I always believed that there would be these massive worlds everyone would be in. And I always believed it'd be bigger than film and I'd be, be, be believed it would be bigger than music and bigger than television and all these other things. Mm -hmm. I also believe fundamentally it's not that different from those things. Like ultimately it is an artistry mm -hmm. and the people who are building it are making statements that are important. Sometimes they're political, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're very obvious, sometimes they're hidden, but like the artist is important. And there was a period in the game industry mm -hmm. where it wasn't clear yep. that we weren't going to be considered like cereal in a cereal box. Like you don't know who designed yeah. the cereal or mm -hmm. like a piece of software where you don't know who actually made it and not like a piece of art. Mm -hmm. And during that time, for example, at, at uh, GDC, which is the game developer conference every year, mm -hmm. there were people that were getting introduced for panels as, you know, no name. Wow. In your programmer publisher. Wow. So that you didn't know who they were. They were speaking on behalf of the publisher, mostly as a recruiting tool, but they didn't have the right to their name mm, because wow. nobody wanted the people to, to like be, and it was really rough. Like there were mm. people that weren't allowing their developers to go to GDC. It was like, it was very odd. And then at the same time, we were becoming a big industry and Sony was throwing parties and Microsoft was throwing parties and others were throwing parties in Hollywood, my backyard. I live in LA, mm. it's right down the hill from where I am right now. And they weren't inviting the people wow. who made the games that the parties were being thrown wow. at. Wow, wow. And again, I took it probably a little too personally I because that. I'd have friends calling up and saying, hey, I'm going to this party. Are you going? I'll see you. Well, but not are you going? I assume you're going because someone's throwing it that you work for. Are mm. you going to be there? And I'd be like, no, I wasn't invited. Wow. Mm. Why? Hell yeah, you so they'd invite me as their plus one. And I was yeah. like, 
there's something wrong with this industry. Mm. That's important. Speak on and it. And I didn't want it to head that direction. I wanted it to head in the direction for a lot of reasons where it is art. Mm -hmm. Because when, when the question is, should this game come out or should, you know, video games cause violence, video games cause all of these horrible things, like art has protections. Yeah. Other things don't. Like we are art. And mm. I'm not condoning, you know, everything that's ever been made, but I'm saying like, there are reasons you want to be considered art and we are art and it was looking really bad. And so I had a voice. Mm. So again, I believed, I started, I got up on stage mm -hmm. and I wasn't afraid of failure. Mm. Maybe it wasn't my brightest moment in retrospect, but I followed my three principles and it worked out fine. It worked out, yeah. brother. Yeah, I, I don't think when you think about your stature at, at in the industry at that time, top of your game at Naughty Dog, I think the message isn't as strong if, if it isn't you or someone like yeah, you. It had to be you. It, it had, had to, to be you. you. It had to be you. It had to be Yeah, you. and other people were like, I'm glad you said that. God, I'm glad. <laughs> you <laughs> had to be glad it wasn't well, me. Yeah, because you're I'm also passionate, where... so the way I said it, going back and looking at it, like, probably could have put it back. <laughs> you know, man, listen, man, you spoke for the heart, man. You spoke yeah. for the heart. I mean, look. But you spoke for the little guy. You spoke for yeah. the yeah. little guy that couldn't do that, that would have got ostracized if he did. Right, and it could have been repercussions, and, and, and you utilize your position to yeah. do something good. And, and That's what was, a leader does. Yeah, and that, it's great to see how the industry has changed. Man, I, we could talk to you for I, we, we do have to wrap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, we, we because because this, is, <laughs> this is phenomenal. You know, at some point, Lil' Jason, we definitely want you to come back, and we'll definitely doing the proper procedures, do more VR yes. stuff. But um, I do want to ask the, the question that we do. It's a tradition here at ILO's podcast. We ask every guest in the round, putting you on the spot on this one, you can answer these, uh -oh. <laughs> which is, which is, I need Lord Jason's top five video games or franchises of all time. Oh my God. This is, this one, you know, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't count the number of times I've been asked this. So, <laughs> There, the way I look at it is like this. From the beginning, it's been very hard for me to play a game and truly enjoy the game as a, as a gamer. I tend to look at games and I see the flaws and I see the success and I see things that I've never seen before. Got it. There were things Ultima early on when I was Ooh. playing Ultima that made okay. me realize like where games could go. Like Lord British Ultima. Yes. Had big impacts on me. Mm. There were games like Doom. Woo! That... You know, I remember playing that 24 hours straight and a caco demon jumped out around the corner and I fell back in my chair. And that was the first time that I realized that I was emotionally inside the world as opposed to really playing it on a screen, right? So that was uh, a magical moment for me. Woo, magic. Um, Ultima. Doom. Said Ultima, we got Ultima Doom. Those are ghosts. Red Dead 1. Oh, there were, there were some like just Okay, we had always been doing trying so to make well. We we're doing so well. <laughs> Let the man preach the man. about his red dead. Continue, Jason. <laughs> it's a great that, game. That, yeah. that was that was groundbreaking. Yes. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and it's, again, it's, it's, it's like so hard. hard. There was there's a moment in Arizona Sunshine. Okay. Where. I was just playing and again i'm looking at how locomotion works and all of the underpinnings of like you know whatever mm -hmm. and this the zombies push this bus yes. off a cliff and it like falls down and in that moment i was watching zombies push a bus off a cliff <laughs> i was there not yes. i was watching it on tv but it hit me in a way mm -hmm. where my heart started going and like i really felt like I gotta run because mm -hmm. did you see how many and the butt and like <laughs> it was just this thing about that that again yes. like is that the best game ever? I, I, it's not what I'm talking about what, here. How my, it affected my you. top fives are how it affected me it's and Red Dead affected me. Whether or not it's better than two or like yeah, GTA yeah. is better or whatever, like mm -hmm. GTA for whatever reason never struck me in the same way as Red Dead did. Yep. Red Dead had the whole package was perfect, and there were moments in that where I was like. This this is so deeply art. Mm. It, like it just and I know they're you know I'm watching no, no, people that no, agree no, no. and they don't it's, agree it's, it's, and whatever. No, they like, agree. No, no, you're in the right. You're in the right. Continue. 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 For, for me as a developer, <laughs> those, yes. those were magic moments. And I'm gonna leave the fifth one open. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna cop out here. And the you reason I'm out? gonna do that is that like 
If I give you a fifth, I will have shorted something that 10 minutes from now, I will be angry at myself for having shorted. But here's the thing. You could always come back and revise. Because yeah. you guys come back. Yeah, so we're talking 35 off. years, 40 years of gaming now. I mean, like, I, I'm not <laughs> even going to do the math. It was 85, Just, you, right? You know so, do, like, Jason? 83, I got my first computer. I'm a, yeah. You know what you do, Jason? You put Jason? Crash in there. Yeah, you put Crash in there. <laughs> here's the thing about the games I've made. Ugh. I can't enjoy them. Yeah, mm. yeah, good point. Good right. point. Good Every point. one of them I look at and I was like, God, we let that release. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll leave, we'll leave it open for now. But um, right. look, man, we, 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 we have the last. The, the last question. I know, I know. He might not answer it, but I still got to ask it. I, 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 we need it. Yeah, favorite console of all time and why? <laughs> <laughs> he's just thinking about the consoles he's worked on at this point. <laughs> throw, that fair, throw that fair challenge in. He <laughs> said, well, the one that I made. I think for me, it was, it, was, oh. it was the PlayStation. Because <clears throat> it really, like. PS1? Everything... Which one? Which one? PS1, yeah. Let's PS1. go. Oh my God. Because before that, like, the promise was there for video games, but you had to look really hard to see it. And then something about the PS1 and the and like the, the amount of memory the CD had, the, the size of the games could be, the fact that it was a like truly 3D console with like, a, it had horrible, Whoa. it crashed with 3000 polygons to put mm -hmm. it in perspective. Like I'm working with devs now that are complaining like about working on mobile chipsets and stuff and headsets and their eyeballs have more than 3,000 polygons. So I'm like, we, we, made, we made magic with those 3,000 polygons. Crash was like 532 or something polygons. Like he, he, was, he was like a sixth of our total polygons. And most people got 2,000. We got 3,000 because we had good coders. Like, Salute. But, but still, like that, that was the moment where I was like, yeah, this actually is going to be the biggest medium ever because I could feel it. Like I could actually feel it in the games. And PS2 was better and PS3 is an Xbox, a great console. Mm -hmm. When it came out, Xbox, two, like the consoles now are, are wonderful. And I don't, I won't say which one of the two is my favorite because I, I really don't have a favorite. I like titles, mm -hmm. not hardware. Yeah. Um, the PlayStation 1. The first one, of yeah. course, because it is in my heart as well. Yeah, same thing, same thing. It Crash. was a magical moment in the, yeah. in the industry, in the industry where industry. so many rules were broken. Yeah. Not the least of which was Sony was a new entrant into yes. the hardware yes. market, yes. and yet they still killed it yes. on yeah. that hardware. Tremendous history, the journey, the passion. You still hear it, you still love it. We're looking forward for more in VR. The legendary Jason Rubin, Thank you, everybody. of the Metaverse. An absolute pleasure, brother. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Before you go, where can the fine people find you? What else you have going on that you want to talk to our audience before you leave? Uh, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> He's on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. The Jason Rubin on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, someone got Jason Rubin before I did. <laughs> there at midnight when they opened it up, someone was still there before me. <laughs> so, Facebook.com slash the Jason Rubin. That, that that's as good as anything else. No doubt. Thank that's you. Anywhere. Thank you so much for your time. Real quick, everybody uh, said Attic Kings of any final words, Lord Jason, before we let him have his day back. I really appreciate you coming on and uh speaking. You know, a lot of a lot of the uh past you have, you you, you definitely is one of the, the people that we've had on that You've been doing this since since you yeah. was in your teens. Like, Legend. Like I've always said, like I value passion for the gaming industry over everything else. And like the whole time you talk, and like that's not like you are the embodiment of passion for this industry. Preach. Thank you. So you, you you always have to like I said the three rules, right? Believe and all that stuff. You also have to be willing to laugh at yourself. Like some of the stuff that we went through, like don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah. yeah. No doubt. So I've even found a word for Jason. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I think for me, the 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 great thing about having you here is that a lot of people that came into games when you did, burnt out and left. And it's hard. It's very hard, and because you guys are sort of you're, you're creating, you're creating the, you're creating what gaming is as it's you know as you're going along. So, the fact that you were able to sort of survive that and and figure out what you needed for yourself, continue to be passionate and create, and then be in a position now where you can you know the, teach the people that are coming up the right way to do things, to 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 have a life and still be able to create these amazing things is special because a lot of people just walked away as I can't do this. Mm -hmm. So it's great to have you as, as that example. No so doubt. thanks for coming on. Lord Appreciate King, it. any final words from the legendary Jason Rubin? 
Well, one, the reverence that I have for you, uh, coming on the show and talking about a console that I didn't have when I pretty much had everything. Yeah. Blew me away. You made me Google. Right? <laughs> so, the, the fact that you made me Google, you, you put a smile on my face. My wife texted me and said, who the hell is that? The fact that you made the fact so that you made happy. him Google makes me smile. <laughs> you, you sound so happy right now, mm -hmm. and I and I just put, he's a legend. Mm -hmm. Um, I I can I can I can blow vape and I can I can go on and on. But what I what I would say is is today. You re-engineered yourself every step of the way. Mm -hmm. That niche. Every step of the way. So. When Sovereign said, you know, other people burnt out because they didn't know how to re-engineer themselves. Every time you retired, you still have a, a new re-engineering to do. Is this a comic book? Is it a this or is it a that? And you always go out on top. Mm. You know when to get. We're just out. not talking about the times I didn't. Oh, I'm saying you got to be okay to fail. About, listen, we don't look. We we, we understand that. But the perception is our reality. And the perception is you're a winner. Thank you. Salute. So thank you so much for gracing us today. And I do appreciate your time. No doubt, Lord Jason. He was well behaved. I was not behaved once. I only broke the rules once, right? You were good, trust me. We had we had shout out to Lord Jeff. We had Jeremy Jaffe on. You're good. I'm worse when I'm around my three and a half year old than I was with you guys. I mean this was hard. I appreciate you, brother. Again, enjoy your day. Thank you so much for taking the time. Lord Jason Rubin, VP of the Metaverse, co-founder of Naughty Dog, the legend. Enjoy Thank your you. day, brother. Thank you so much. All right. I'm How out. Going? No, no doubt. Peace. Hey, no doubt. So I'm going to get the Super Chats? Yeah. All right. Why you Please, that? everybody, share this out. This, this. Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. You this guys, is amazing. Uh, the creator of Crash. You oh, got Crash Bandicoot. You can even exactly. understand this. If you're a way to warrior, come on, man. Y'all better give this out to somebody. Who doing this for and, you? And I want to I wanna point out to the people in the chat, you know, while Saul gets the Super Trash together, like, mm -hmm. you know, if you listen to our podcast on, like, the uh, the audio, the audio yeah. versions of them, like uh, Apple, mm -hmm. Spotify, like, like rate us, man. Give us a get, 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 give us a comment. You know, even if it's mm -hmm. a bad comment, you don't like us. You think I laugh too much or anything like that? Give us some comments, man. You know, yeah, hit the audio up. Yeah, hit, hit the review on the audio. That'd be really appreciated. Hit that like button, share it out if you can. Um, so if you need more time, I can describe it enough. Or okay, I'm, I'm good. good. I'm okay, good. Cool. We got Brick House Arsh seven dollars super chat. I'm currently on vacation with my wife for our one year anniversary. Congratulations. Sure. But I still needed to listen to live to my favorite podcast. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Hold on. I'll break protocol. Shout out to the legendary hip hop gamer, IOP for life. Fire, fire, fire. We outside, son. This joke was good. Thank you, brother. You're an inspiration, you, brother. brother. Hip hop, you're an inspiration, brother. That's I see brother, you man. moving and you outside and you fire. Yeah, crazy you're fire, you're brother. Doing some stuff, man. Bro, you, I, I just, I'm blown away every time I see the, the things you're doing, but it's always an honor to see you in the chat, man. One of the OGs, the legendary hip hop gamer. Salute. Thank you for listening. Continue. So I just want to give hip hop as far as on that. There we got family, Bone Slave, $5 super chat. Oh, Shout out to IOP. Informative, fun, and most importantly, real. Can't wait to link back up for E3 2023. Yes, sir. Yes, brother. sir. It's be a movie. Cali in the stuff. building. You already movie. know, boom. We're going to be in Hollywood and maybe we, you know, hook up yeah, with Jason. Yeah, sure. Jason, pull mm -hmm. up. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Salute. Then we got Bix Hutch, $5 Super Chats. Yes, on the comic book exclusive talk, the world continues to sleep on the coolest badass in all of comics, Blade. Mm. Imagine that gameplay, Lords. Okay. Hey, we'll see. Okay. And these people are ridiculous. They're posting on Twitter. Yeah, already, I got one that says, La I, they, they're posting the link that says, Lord Attic laughs too much. Special. <laughs> wow. I'm the one that laughs too much. Good. <laughs> and we have KO3 Black Truth. Whoa. $20 super chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So dope that I lived through all of this and get to hear the stories from the creator of some of the, my favorite games. Mm -hmm. Way of the Warrior was my game. Yeah. I too told everyone it was better than Mortal Kombat. This is priceless gold. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was. It, to us, For it us, was. It was. A resolution. A resolution of graphics. The sprite, was, boy. That you know $700 kind of, console made you, <laughs> you licked it you know like, what, man. <laughs> you know what kind of blows my mind? Mm -hmm. The fact that, like, 
a lot of these studios small when they were still in their infancy stages mm -hmm. like every time you hear an interview of like someone that you know ran studios or so they always talk about you know our neighbor was this the person next door was that like a lot of these studios were yeah. literally side by side in their earlier stages mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no doubt yep then we have do, 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 Hollywood Rules, $5 Super Chat. Lord, what an amazing walk through video game history. This is the content you get on the best podcast on YouTube. Thanks to my four boys. Incredible. Thank, Thank you, brother. You so Appreciate much. that. It means a lot. Thank you. And we got Hollywood Rules once again, $10 Super Chat. King, great pull on the EA yellow tab. I bought the first Madden and Lakers versus Celtics for Genesis before, before they were in stores. I ordered it from EA directly from an ad in my grandfather's movie magazine. That's crazy. Yo, that's Yo, crazy. First, we, that... we, we saw it. Me, me, me and Cog saw it. And we like, yo, what they doing? What they doing? Why they cartridges just looking like, different? Yeah, now, you know, now, everybody else was uniform, but these dudes want to be the big boys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now every time I see someone talk about buying Madden back then, I'm like, you the reason my man Jason couldn't sell no more units. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically, it was crazy. He but sold out. Not. And yeah, like his, he sold it. all his copies, and they like, yeah, but we gonna go over. <laughs> yeah, but thank yeah. God it did happen yeah. because do you think this stuff this happens? happened? Like, yeah, things you know, happen for a reason. He facts. still says that EA no. We yeah. needed him at Universal. Yeah. And we got Paris Lockhart, ten dollars uh, super chat. Oh, Key man. question. <laughs> Does Crocs. Jason wear Crocs? <laughs> Crocs. Yo, Here we I go. Crocs. Him. Oh my god. I Good. Thank you, God Paris. we missed yeah. that. Yo, Paris, <laughs> next time DM Shout me, out. man. DM me. Paris. Shout out to Lord yeah. Paris. Yeah, I'm so glad we missed that super chat while he was here. <laughs> I saw a few no, people salute, in the chat ask, yes, this is a Yu Yu Hawker show shirt. Yu Yu Hawker show, no doubt. Does uh this crash right bando is, crocs uh, not blog crocs uh, Louis Vuitton? I know I'm just joking. Look, man. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm tell Phil on you. You keep this up. Good. Yeah. <laughs> we got all we got all manner of crocs. We have crocs. crash Come bando on, crocs. Time. <laughs> not dog crocs. Time. VR crocs. <laughs> <laughs> there we got Daryl Mac five dollars super chat. All oh, hell the ILP. I need Lord Cognito to change that PS Oculus Xbox arrangement in the background. What's wrong with it? Stat. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Oh, he talk about Xbox. If you, oh, y'all worried about position? Look, the Xbox controller's on top of the PlayStation logo. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> All right, if that's what it is. Like, geez. Geez. Yeah, no, no but the, it's right on top of it. Yeah, though. Yeah, he said you out of bounds, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, no, he don't like the positioning of my judge. Like, come on. I don't, I don't like what you're implying with that. that no. Listen, man. <laughs> there we got Gerald back again. Two dollars in the chat. I know, I know. Contractors, if you like shooters, so I guess this mm, contractor contract thing is fire. Like, yeah. yeah, contractors is fire. What is it yeah. about assassins? VR, baby. Instead but you of... stopped that. That's the second time you did that. And we what? told you what it was. Yeah, continue. No, I don't remember. Yes, Moving oh, wow, on. Really? <laughs> 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 Came up by choice, two dollars. Which had IOP is the best podcast. Much love, Lord. Salute. Salute. Thank, Thank you. you. Sir. Salute. And we got Lord Metroid, two dollars. So we chat phenomenal interviews. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate oh, it, brother. Much love. Much love. I'm starving. I know. I have to eat my peaches. Hold on. You can a take second. a little break because I got to do scrap the book. Uh, then we got JD Gamer, five dollars mm -hmm. super chat. The ILP out here having the best interviews in the industry. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Man. I appreciate that. That means a lot. That. That means a lot. And we have the critical smoker. Two dollars. <laughs> <super chat. laughs> He's smoking critical. Yeah. He's smoking that critical. <laughs> you said they're getting critical. <laughs> I've had a console every year since 1977. Facts. My <laughs> nice. dude. I'm yeah. with you, man. Let's go. I noticed JD Gamer, you switched that uh that that profile picture finally. Oh, he's, he's been that profile picture for like oh, four yeah. years of film. Like. <laughs> then we got Pixel Bit G, five dollars super chat. Great interview, Lords, and his journey should remind us all that big studios start from small beginnings. Mm -hmm. Consolidation won't change that. Yep. Well, he actually said he had a problem. I mean, he says, he, but he says it's a, he felt the way he said it is like he feels like it's a natural he progression. He says it's a natural it's progression. Happen. He actually agreed with Lord Acquisition himself. Mm -hmm. it's gonna keep, yeah, it's going to keep going. And it's going to keep changing and evolving. Mm -hmm. That's it's just what it cycle, is. Because there's always two guys in the basement right now mm -hmm. making some games. And some people want yeah. to get their journal, have margaritas on the beach after they work hard right. and get to the joint. Mm -hmm. So you let's know. not act like not people don't want to sell. Listen, mm -hmm. after you make that bright memory infinite, you sell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good to you. Good to you. And we got Ya yeah, Baby Father. Ten dollars <laughs> super chat. Ya yeah, baby, yeah, baby father. Let's go. 
<laughs> you brothers don't have the largest channel, but your ability to secure these conversations with legendary figures in the gaming space speaks to how respected you are. Thank mm. you, man. Thank Keep you. doing it your own way. Bless. Mm. Thank you, man. Oh, much love. Yeah, it takes let, it, let it translate to cash. Yeah. Let it translate <laughs> to it. Hit the like button. In mm -hmm. time, let's share that out. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let us grow let's together. Do, let's grow together. For sure. No doubt. We got every day? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. We're let me up. get the arm. I got to get scribe because I, I, did, I didn't want to do it while he was here to take away from yeah. the time. You know that time in the I month? I mean, are we doing the Patreon this month? We can't yeah, do it next we, week. We got to yeah, do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Like, we'll do it when are, when are, next week. When are, yeah. I got to do the scribe for a special Remember, we up against the clock because we have your premiere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we can't mess up on that. Well, no, I, I, I'm you can move it. Just that, you but I gotta it. leave here soon. Right? No, I know, I know, but I have to do the scribe. And yeah, I, we need you I here for to. these topics. Yeah. So look, we can cut. We can cut. It. It's cool. We can buy it. We can figure it out. Look, scribe up that time of the month. You already know what it is. Shout out to the Lords of Gaming .net editorial team who just kills it every month. Shout out to Mahmoud, Undead, Gondor, Infinite Ammo, Flame, the whole team, the whole squad. Um, look, always good competition. Have to give one particular lord who went above and beyond in the month of july his Ayudin uh chronicle um actually articles are like behind the scenes one of the most in-depth things you can learn about this game that's coming you know mm -hmm. he did a yakuza like a dragon and then obviously one of his recent um articles about unions in gaming the, pro the pros and cons so proudly present the latest winner of the lord dizzy recipes lord dizzy the homie Lord uh, lords of gaming.net scribe of the month chris jones aka lord c unit he wasn't able to be here to accept it but he left us a little something something for us yeah, to check no, out. He <laughs> Hold up. what's going Let's on everybody this. it's chris jones your scribe of the month for july ak seen it one two three one two three everywhere ak the michael jordan of lognet senior writer lords of gaming.net ak suikoden and Udo chronicles expert and uh man i'm kind of getting those uh nicknames like king's got huh um i just want to say thank you and how humbling it is to once again be your scribe of the month. Every writer for lordsofgaming.net puts in their heart and their soul every single piece that they write. Uh, you got Lord's Minute. So much work goes into everything we do at Lognet, and it's much appreciated. The writers would be nothing uh, without the great editors that we have, so big shout out to editors. Mahmood, Ammo, Flame, Nick, Gondor, Josh. Appreciate all your work. Even Cog. Cog edited a piece one time. Um, much appreciated, and uh, to be associated with the Lords, it's a great experience. Addict, King, Sav, Cog, uh, you guys are pillars of positivity for the gaming community. Spreading positivity in the realm, not focusing so much on the negativity, besides in the jokes. Um, continue to do what you guys do, and uh, I will continue to be motivated. And uh, sorry I can't be there. Um, being a part of the union keeps me away from home quite a bit, so I don't have as much free time as I'd like. But you best believe Chris Jones will be back again. And one day I will be on the Scribe of the Month segment on the Iron Lords podcast. So shout out to the Iron Lords, the editors, the writers, Lognet, ILP, the fans. We appreciate you guys so much. And we do what we do because we love to do it. Salute to the legendary lord chris jones java that gem on us thank you brother much appreciated go hit up solve up y'all know what it is for the reward of the yes, month sir. you know what i'm saying but yeah again support that lords of gaming.net y'all great talent you see what we got out here it's a lot uh, of things uh, you check. gotta give him by his proper name let's go let's go what we doing see you like jordan oh yeah he oh he, he called himself the number 23 out here Michael jordan so like yeah, number 23 out here. make sure you hit in practice sir very very very, very brash I love yeah he outside. He outside. Love, love the humility love it. <laughs> so nah, not there right he works now, hard man he works he hard. Really he hard. 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 my jersey up there <laughs> no doubt no, salute let's get into the we got one more chat real quick all right and i got the poll yeah. yep you got Dragonheart Yobi, member for 14 months. Oh guy. Hashtag peace, love, life to the legendary ILP. Extremely proud as always. Keep laying the blueprint, gents. Modern day legends. Thank you for inspiring and keeping up the fantastic work. Y'all making grown men cry. Oh, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank you for you. crying. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you for crying. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank, thank you for your thank tears. You. I, I do appreciate Listen. your tears. Uh, You're ridiculous. Tears all over the place. Thank you. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Last week for results in the 
<laughs> the people have spoken with the recent announcement of Black Panther game in early development. How confident are you that EA is backing the title? I didn't know he was doing this. <laughs> yes, the winner of the close three-way ILP poll at 40% of the vote was not confident. EA has a lot to prove when it comes to single-player focused games that are not microtransaction heavy. Coming in at second place at uh, 30, close to 30% was very confident. Jedi Fallen Order proved that commitment to single-player quality and licensed IP can exist. And in last place, very close at 29% of the vote was the Messy Lords. I don't care. It's all good when they're making a new Black Panther, but I'm keeping an eye out on what the hell is in that character creator option. <laughs> Salute to everybody <laughs> in the vote. Lord King, this is your topic. They, they, they feel how you felt last week as opposed to this yeah. week what i what, what i'm gonna say is uh you have the right to reserve judgment mm -hmm. um and just because uh, you know listen uh jason showed us today you know um past so-called failures doesn't indicate that the future doesn't hold something bright i went back and i played jedi fallen order because i had to make sure that what i my assessment of the team was exactly what i was uh talking mm -hmm. about and they they earned the right for me to reserve judgment until the game actually ships. Mm -hmm. So um, listen, man, I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful because there's sparks of uh, them keeping true to the law. So mm -hmm. I, I, I just want everybody to reserve judgment until after the game is out. Don't prejudge the game. Don't look for every little screen and talk about, oh, his ears is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let it come exactly, out. Exactly. So till then, uh, Dímelo, Wakando. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, somebody on LSM voted as a Patreon. No. It was like something, something, San Wakando. I'm like, oh, my God. This was somebody listened to IOP and made that their name. Yeah, they out of pocket. I see. Out of control. They no. out of control. <laughs> and you see what you saw before we get into the topic? <laughs> We're good. We're caught up. All right, cool. Can you want me to set you up? Or you good? Because this is you. All right. So our uh, main event, while well, a lot of people have never been waiting for. Um, <laughs> and I think event. everyone can realize and know exactly you know, whose topic we know whose topic this is. <laughs> right, so I just want to be clear. Um, yes, yeah, Sony uh, says it believes Xbox owning Call of Duty could influence users' console choice. So um, looks like a recent questionnaire in front of a Brazilian regulatory body um, says that Call of Duty is an essential game, a blockbuster, a AAA type game that has no rival. And they go on to describe how much of a powerhouse it is. It's so powerful that it could influence a user's console choice. And its community of loyal users is entrenched enough that even if a competitor has the budget to deliver a similar pro product it would not be able to rival it they go on to talk about the resources that call of duty has and about the development teams they talk about um you know again recruiting uh, and what they how they expect it to be even more successful in the future no other <laughs> game developer can de develop the same level of resources <laughs> and expertise in, in, in game development and they said it's been Call of Duty has been a top selling game. It's overwhelmingly the best game. It's synonymous with first person shooters. It defines the category. And they said it added to say the least, players were unlikely to switch to an alternative game as they would lose their familiarity, those skills, and even the friends they made playing Call of Duty games. So Sony had a lot of things to say about <laughs> this, uh, the, the, the impact of Call of Duty. So, King, this is your topic, man. Do do you what do you feel about these statements? Sony out here, they shooting. <laughs> oh, made you look. There you go. <laughs> Your page of my rhyme book. Oh, you do. Yo, why y'all doing this? Why y'all going out this sad? Why y'all gonna go in front of the Brazilians and be like, let me tell you, man, <laughs> we ain't got nothing that can compete with that. <laughs> and um, you talking from experience. You talking from what you did to us. You talking for what happened from the 360 era when we had the marketing rights, the Call of Duty, mm -hmm. and every casual was like, you know, the Xbox box is the box. And then y'all got the marketing rights for the PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. Y'all was $100 cheaper. Mm -hmm. And y'all realized that's how 360 won that battle. Mm. You know the power of Call of Duty. Mm. So when y'all was like, oh, they brought who? <laughs> oh, shorty, shorty, I'm talking to. Nah, not shorty. Oh, come on, not that that bad chick from 35th. Oh God, please, not her. I like her. She bring everybody around the club, stay packed because shorty be in there. Mm. Now, nah, shorty ain't gonna be in your club like that. You heard? 
<laughs> you good, yo? When you found yeah. out she got booked to another club and is exclusive over there, you dudes is like, oh, not shorty. <laughs> and he, you don't care about. They ain't say nothing about Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they didn't say nothing about any other title. They single handedly pointed out one title because they knew. They know exactly who is the bomb chick and who gonna bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> the Khalees called it the Khalees of gaming. Uh-huh. That milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. And you are stupid. To death. Yo, I know. They trying to do anything now. Right now, mm. they, why are you gonna go in front of the Brazilians and shit? <laughs> Like, like, who gonna go out for? Yo, let me tell you something. What they doing over there, man? <laughs> like, why are you yo, trying to imply like they yeah. tell it? Like no, they, they, they <laughs> not? Cause you know why? They, they, they everybody got the questionnaire, mm-hmm. and True. only these dudes <laughs> came back talk about. Nah, nah. Well, see what? Why? Um, we. You just got Bungie. You gonna <laughs> mm. tell me that you don't got a first person studio? I mean, mm. uh, a first uh, first party studio that can't make games of the caliber of Call of Duty. Mm. So what you just said was. You knew Bungie for the streets. You just looked at her and was like, you hot though, but you ain't Call of Duty hot. <laughs> like, you are aight, but you ain't aight. Mm-hmm. So you knew your your purpose in that purchase mm-hmm. was a reflex. Mm. You tried to stunt. Mm. I got shorty too. Like, I got a short. I Wait, got are a... you implying it? Is Bungie's a rebound relationship yeah, after that? It's not a rebound, cause you, but you're trying to stop the wedding. You do, <laughs> oh, you, you then it's the person that say, I am Jay. If anyone, <laughs> yo, he, he, and anyone objects to this wedding, you the dude raising your hand. <laughs> Put your hand down and go sit down. Stop trying to stop this from happening. And I understand it's going to hurt you. Uh-huh. But this is good for you, though. You've been playing these tactics. You've been doing these things. Mm. I still ain't got Final Fantasy yet. So don't think I hear your cries and I'm out here like, oh, bendito. So <laughs> bendito. No, man, let it burn. Let it burn. All you do is talk about, yeah, but we got God of War. Sony told you anything we making ain't messing with Sony. <laughs> they said nothing it's unrivaled. We in the chamber. They nothing we them. nothing we come up with. <laughs> Yo, how you gonna say <laughs> so? We can't conceive of anything that can that can mess with these dudes. You have folded your tent and went home. You took your ball and went home. Because once this deal go down, you already know competition gonna, is none. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna just sit here and eat and enjoy King's Reign. I, <laughs> I, I really, I really love these moments mm-hmm. because it seems like this Sony ain't the Jason Sony. Mm. This Sony ain't the aggressive Sony like, what the deal, oatmeal? Mm. We out here, let's go. Let's we fight. got stuff on deck. We ready to fight. When Halo came out, y'all made Kill Zone. Mm. They they always had an answer. Resistance. This, this Sony right here, they snitching, they point people <laughs> out, they trying to stop stuff, and you guys are rolling He's with He's not wrong. Rules. I will say this. They literally, first off, I don't even know why they went to the, the, like, I can understand publishers, but to go to Sony, the person that's literally dating the, the, the head marketing thing that they have, that's literally depending on that Call of Duty reference that they have the marketing, they have a partnership with them to go and be like, how do you feel about uh, about them buying that company? That don't make sense to me. What so that they are low key like, well, you know. <laughs> well, it's Brazilian regulators. Like, it, 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 like, in fairness, they have to by law. Ain't no respond. fairness. Well, they I have think. to respond by law. It's right. like getting it, subpoenaed. Like you got to come now, to court. No, no, it stands to reason that this messaging is uniform across Sony, I would think. Yes. I, unless, you know, they're just letting the, the letting you know, the run so, wild. They get Sony the Brazil run wild and say whatever they want to say. Right, right, because like King said, everyone was asked, right? And like Attic was saying, then now it's on them to say, it, it's not in their best interest to say what's good, That is because this is going to be good for the interest, not good necessarily for them particularly. Mm-hmm. So, I think- I, yeah, get at it. I was going to say, I'm sorry. I think, you know, I, I want to clear something up. People mm-hmm. are like, I do think people are, blo- obviously King will be King, but mm-hmm. I do think people are blowing this out of proportion. I don't think they mean Call of Duty. They can't replicate that. I think they mean we can never make a brand like Call of Duty. It's not that they can make, I I would argue Destiny is just as a caliber as a game as Call of Duty, but it's brand wise. 
Call of Duty just completely tanks over uh, Call of Duty. They said, I mean, yeah. Destiny. They said the well developer can devote the same level of resource. They said even if they could, Call of Duty is overly entrenched, overly entrenched so that no rival, no matter how relevant they are, can catch up. They they basically said it, it's it's impossible to beat. Like, yeah, I mean, that's literally what they, they're implying. So, no, it, it's interesting. I want, in, in fairness, I want to say, like, Microsoft had a statement kind of re replying that to... Um, that's the, cute. That's <laughs> what they said. They looked over and was like, oh, you snitching, huh? That's cute. <laughs> but Microsoft wasn't exactly 100%. <laughs> oh, oh, I, on the I upper, see how uh, how it is. They said, yes, yeah, sp specifically with respect to Activision Blizzard video games, there is nothing unique about the video games developed and published by Activision Blizzard. That is a must-have. <laughs> we Come on. That is is a must have yeah. <laughs> for rival P nothing unique about for rival PC console to game distributors. This is what they read in response to the New Zealand Commission. I do, I do, I do think that their translation this is how they downplayed like, it. Like, well, yeah. it's not even that. Like, if you look at it, like, I think they're taking the as far as gameplay and as far as like structure, Call of Duty's not special compared to like the nah, other me, kind of games. Give you the Google but translate. as far as as far as like brand wise, like I think that's the thing, like. Sony was talking about the icon Call of Duty, not individual games, the icon known as Call right. of Duty. Mm -hmm. nah. Let me give you the Google Translate. What's the Translate, Kevin? Microsoft was like, man, show the eye, man. Why are you tripping? <laughs> why, why is that Google Translate? It's <laughs> 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 so she eye, though. You wilding out why like the, you ain't they ask you to pick your language. They ask you to pick your language and it says hood. Hood trans drop down. This is Google Hood Translate. <laughs> It's like you can't pull. You been pulling bad shorties. Why are you tripping now? <laughs> no, Don't no. Kanye me right now. Tripping? Don't Kanye me right now. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean it, this is this oh, is definitely the okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'll let you finish. I just I just love I just love this. You you I can't write a better script. You guys have released me. Like you don't <laughs> understand. Like they okay. My other three co-hosts mm -hmm. literally laugh when I put stuff in chat and say, this is my topic. <laughs> and I tell them every week, I have faith in the gods that Sony gonna do something stupid. <laughs> and how stupid is this? You, what, that was a bait trap. That was a trap. That, mm -hmm. that, that, um, what you, this, this, hit that this, button. This is... Hit that button. Which one? No, you, my trap card. <laughs> you triggered my trap card. Okay. That's, exactly I'm done. What, that's exactly what the Brazilians said. They, said <laughs> they gave you, they, they served it to you on the platter. They knew they shouldn't have asked you that question. Mm -hmm. And they slid it to you. And they, you triggered their trap card. And look at you now. Look at you. Your fan base is like, not like this, Sony. <laughs> not like this. Don't tell them you scared. How the hell you going to say, yo, come outside, man. We fighting. Mm. Do I really got to go? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't like anything I you do is going to make a difference. <laughs> Are you scared to fight? Yo, what type of Sony? This is not this. See, this, this. See, guys. Mm. This is why I love Phil Dominus Maximus Aurelius Spencer. Mm. He ain't scared to fight. Mm. He ain't scared. So when he when he was fighting with bare knuckles, when he was fighting with bare knuckles with y'all in the street, mm -hmm. and y'all was hitting him in the head with bricks, and y'all was doing all this crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And then Satya looked over and was like, yo, that who that warrior down there? <laughs> who that young warrior down there? <laughs> and, okay, so that young warrior there, yo, everybody. Bayonet up, let's go, let's surround this dude. This, <laughs> we gonna rock with this dude right here. Mm -hmm. OG came down off the hill, now y'all running scared. The whole team come out and every week they're acquiring new dudes. Mm -hmm. So you see the army getting bigger. So when y'all squabbling with young Phil, mm -hmm. Now young Phil Squabble getting crazy. <laughs> now y'all don't want them knuckle games no more. Y'all don't want, <laughs> how the how a whole company gonna say, we can't make nothing to compete. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> I mean, but he, don't verbalize you scared. He, he, don't don't verbalize th you afraid. Here's the thing, though. Uh -huh. They're not wrong. Like they, they, <laughs> they can never replicate what Call of Duty has done. They can't ever. There's very few brands mm -hmm. that can even remotely touch Call of yeah, Duty. How do you think Microsoft owns a brand that comes close to them? Maybe Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Well, they own it now. Just, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when, your, when your knuckle game ain't right, you buy Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> they got young Mike in his prime, yo. On God, I, I I don't think I can write a better script. <laughs> and I love you guys because you know what oh, happened. Oh, King, King, can you hear? Can you hear it now? Yeah, do it. You triggered my trap card. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. That was much you, perfect. You, the the ham hockey eating dudes that was sitting there talking all that shrek. You don't remember? Ham you, you remember when I first when I Jesus popped on the Christ. scene for Twitter? You don't remember? Mm-hmm. Your Xbox ain't got no games, babe. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, I got a no, war no, you, you man. King, King, you gotta, you, you gotta be pilling it with, with a, yeah, with a but knife, see, man. This, this right here is a ham hock. Being that I don't eat ham hock. Yeah. Yo, mm-hmm. listen, <laughs> listen, young, and sit down, man. I show you how these game thing work. You know, Sony always gonna be the best. Triple A bangers, the Triple A bangers. He's gonna tell it you, remember, King? Yeah, the Triple A banger. Yo, when your own company say we ain't got triple A bangers that can mess with that dude, <laughs> I've never heard this from a competitive it's like, company. It's like equivalent to like you, 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 you're working your way up on something, and they're like, "Yo, we good, man. We good. They, we, if we good, as long as they don't." Oh, they did it. Never mind. We not good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. Uh, Attic, man. So, like, now that the news is settled and you've seen both Sony statements as far as the influence, nothing they feel can have a rival, and then Microsoft, so like, eh, it's no big deal. It's just, well, oh, no, it's definitely a big deal. <laughs> like, you know, they, they could say whatever. It's like I said, like, I don't think Sony was talking about like even like any individual game or you know the black ops franchise mm-hmm. or anything like that i think sony's like look this goes beyond gaming call of duty whoever owns that marketing rights i mean you can argue whoever's owned the call of duty marketing rights has won every generation mm, you can you so, can make that's a great just, argument so it's just like you know the 360 had it mm-hmm. people could sit there and say you know the playstation caught up after after the race was over which makes no sense mm-hmm. but once you pass the, the 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 finish line and you into a new generation people's like but sony caught up and passed them yeah because yeah, microsoft wasn't running anymore mm-hmm. like, so it's just like look like that is big you can argue that Call of Duty, the marketing, just marketing saying yeah. the PS5 or Xbox Series S and X at the end of that commercial is more important than the actual game. Mm. Because the games are subjected. They go up and down. Multiple studios making them. They're not yeah. always on par with what you would expect from a Call of Duty. But to be able to come out there on that Super Bowl Sunday and have a commercial that says Call of Duty on Xbox. And imagine... Now, think the people think it's bad now. Imagine when you see these Super Bowl commercials mm. and they say day one on Game Pass. Mm. Mm-hmm. People yeah. are like, oh, what's Game Pass? Oh, oh, oh. And then, yeah. and then not to mention, they'll probably market towards a casual audience like that with the Series S. Mm. So go in right now. Little man pick up, promo. Pick, pick up a Series S for $300 and leave with Call of Duty. Imagine mm-hmm. when they, they drop the price to 200 on some, some Christmas sale. 200 with, 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 with three months of Game Pass. With, and with the custom skin mm-hmm. you see and they got I the think, four guys one they got a custom yeah. cards console with little man on it and you run out man, man. and i think that uh play microsoft's statement was the exact opposite of, uh adjacent that they did they're like look we do we will probably end up getting call of duty if this deal goes through but it's just like besides brand recognition recognition yeah. what else does cod really provide it has up and down values in terms of what the games provide to what it has multiple studios making it like besides that brand recognition which is everything mm-hmm. it, is it really special to compare to a destiny compared to these other type of games because with those other games you get consistent content with those other games with call of duty it goes up and down now you know when you put that brand recognition in with it Sony's 100% right. They scared. They run and they like we 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 need new management. That's it's like it's just like they can't replicate that. And I think that they're trying with this free to play market and they're just like to have someone like Microsoft able to come out there and constantly be promoting Call of Duty. People don't realize how much brand imprinting uh what was no, brand impre- recognition. No, no brand recognition uh and uh what when when you when you put your brand on someone else's brand. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, how, it, how, it, how you put your brand on someone else's brand? So it's like, you brand know. Brand recognition? Call, yeah. No, it's it's pretty it much dim- like. It diminishes the brand, you mean? No, like, okay. you Brand see association. Of, brand association, yeah. Mm-hmm. You see Call of Duty on there. For all PS4 generation, you saw Call of Duty 
and PlayStation side by side for the majority of that generation. Yeah, yeah. So when you're seeing this over and over again, yep, it's tricking the mind to think, yep. yo, I got to get a PlayStation to play that game. Then you look at, I mean, you you take a psycho, uh, uh, you know, take it a little bit further with psychology. Like, mm -hmm. there's a reason people end up putting like cigarettes with 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 drinking coffee because they're they're linking those two together. And people are like, yo, I can't I can't drink coffee without cigarettes. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just like you have that same thing where it's like <laughs> when they come, no, but you but you get I what I'm saying. You, I, know, like, I know what you're trying. When to people do. connect <laughs> two things together, <laughs> it's hard to do one without the other. No, and I understand. The, that's the way the casual mind works. They don't know this industry like that. They just they buy the console yep. and play the game. And when they're going on there and they've seen on Super Bowl Sunday where it's like, yo, we got this thing called a PlayStation 4 free and this new game called Black Ops 3 is out with it. It's like, yo, let me go and get a PlayStation play this Call of Duty game. Like, mm -hmm. that's all they see. No, it's a good and point. Th that's the reason the majority, that's the reason you see people mm -hmm. fighting over the 2K license, people fighting over the FIFA license, people fighting over the Call of Duty license. They fight for these license because the, these marketing rights because they know whoever owns the majority of these, especially Call of Duty, you can win an entire generation just off Call of Duty. You mm. don't even need the rest. You just need Call of Duty. Mm. And when you win this generation, it might be curtains for that other dude. It's a good point because, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> I know, uh, you know, the hardcore, we as the hardcore don't want to hear this, but the reality is the casuals drive the game industry. And, and what Attic is saying in reference to brand association is true because the casuals not listening to a podcast most of the time. Casuals not, you know, paying attention to all the news bits and what's going on in the industry. The casual walk in the store, and if they see the game that is the hottest game associated with a console, whether it be marketing or what have you, then that makes them think that you can't get it anywhere else. You can only get it here, and that's that new generation of um of gamer. And I, I totally understand where you're coming from. If you was I was gonna get uh, solved in and see what he he thought about all of this. So what I find interesting is that. Despite Phil saying, "Hey, I, you know, Call of Duty isn't going anywhere," you go on you to know, the contract, though, right? Yeah, he's going on to the contract, right? Despite that being said, you know, mm. given the opportunity, they're going to derail this. They're going to derail this acquisition so, so, if, so, if, if 100 percent possible. They mm -hmm. don't care if that, like, if it's if it was exclusive, that would hurt. But that's taking it off of their perspective at that point. They mm -hmm. know that the majority of the people buying their PlayStations right now. When it was the PS4 generation, it was that casual consumer. And when they keep losing those Lego blocks to build that castle, mm -hmm. eventually that castle going to fall. So and, that, is, and, that is correct. So so this is the thing, right? So when you look at it that way. These bots are crazy today. Yeah, they were yeah. When you look at it that way, is there an indication, right, oh. that they, whatever, they still have a deal. Mm -hmm. They still have a deal. That deal is not infinite. There mm -hmm. is a there's finality to that deal. At which yeah. point Marketing. you have to renegotiate, right? right. 2024. So it, this comes oh, off as this comes off as that when the current deal that's in place goes away, our leverage for what we'll be able to get in terms of Call of Duty changes. Yes, and it could change. And the language out there is vague enough. Yes, that that change could amount to core Call of Duty games mm -hmm. not coming to PlayStation, right? Wait, wait, wait. So, it, it, could, well, it, it could, it could, because if you turn Call of first of all, Call of Duty stops being annualized, right? Mm -hmm. And you turn it into an every two or three year thing, you get a Call of Duty, right? Mm -hmm. Then then it's it's sort of positioned as this juggernaut that comes out every year and dominates, changes. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. Microsoft would not be reneging on what they said if they do that, and Warzone still continues to grow and be what it so is. They would be vilified if they, if, they, would, if they flip uh, the switch after 2024. Let me say something This is the fear. Let me say something real quick, okay. I, I, I think that you're on to something when it comes to certain scenarios, but I don't think they're going to do with the main core series. Mm. I think once these deals are up, if they rebring back like a like a Black Ops trilogy or something, mm -hmm. like they, they refresh them, remake them, bring them back as a collection, I think they might hold those on their console as an ex console exclusive. Mm -hmm. But as far as like the main driving force known as Call of Duty, like the the everyday, I don't know if they're going to do every year or mm -hmm. every other year. 
but I do feel like people have this conception that like if Microsoft gets approved for buying Activision, that they're automatically to go and they're gonna be like, look, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we uh, you guys, you guys aren't making Call of Duty. None of you are. Like, right. no, I, I think you got might get like Toys for Bots might come off of it and they might go back to like the Crash franchise or maybe right. even make like a, a Conquer or something like that. But as far as that. I think the majority of those studios most likely still continue to make Call of Duty. Yeah, for sure. I don't know that you stop the gravy train, right? You figure out better ways to do it. Like you said, move people around necessarily, not necessarily make it a yearly thing and, and not do everything you can to not have it stagnate, right? And and, and I'm playing devil's advocate because okay. I firmly, I do believe that Call of Duty, it's just a smart thing. Call of Duty is that, you know, and yeah. their argument holds water where it's like, it's so big pause that um <laughs> that it's something that whoever holds that chip whoever holds that ring of power controls the world and the the it's difference like the here five rings that what's his name has in that marvel oh, exactly. like the, mandarin, the mandarin the no, it's, it's like call of duty's one of them minecraft's one of them fortnite's one of them and, and like and like they're going there like we want all of them. exactly like we, and we the... already got minecraft years ago for the cheap cheap if you really think about it <laughs> now, now we're gonna walk up here and, and knock on activision to get that second ring and then he's yeah. like what? but we ain't never probably gonna get fortnite but that's okay because we got more rings then we good like, yeah, I, I think the funniest thing about all this right it's because it's microsoft right and it's their first party competitor yeah. because if another third-party publisher came and scooped up Activision Blizzard, no one would be arguing. Mm. There would be no, no, it's fine, you know, it's, yeah, but you know, everybody still gets it. But it's Microsoft. Let me, let, mm -hmm. let me tell you why they're crying. Why? Because it's the last damn place. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. No, listen, this no, this listen, was listen. cemented. Sony, Sony came out and said it they said, if Man, if we, we can't win. We can't <laughs> win. We can't. We, we can't win. Remember what that's what? It's, it's all they, for that, man. You know no. what's funny? They say it, and it's true. It makes them, right? It's like they, they, they're they playing the victim here. Like, oh, my yep. God. Oh, mm -hmm. it's me. Look what's going to happen to us if, if you allow this to happen. Please, please but in, in, in defense, that's what you're time, supposed man. to say, though. You're supposed to be like, yo, it's not good for yeah. us. The same it's, way Microsoft be like, nah. And Microsoft be like, yo, it's not good. They don't make nothing hot. There is nothing substantial. They see the beef happen, and they get and jump and they look into the teacher you ain't gonna stop this. <laughs> but the, but the, king, the funny part is the other you the bully you the bully you, you know what you they been, remind you me been of doing king. all this oh. and he came from around that desk and punched you in your mouth and you looked over <laughs> at the teacher and said you ain't gonna stop king, this. you know what they remind me of they were they remind me of like when, when, when you have like animals and, and they're sitting there fighting and you have that cat that just looks at the owner like can you stop him like <laughs> the funny nope. part i will say that is humorous you is want this. some of this old man is nope. the other colleagues the other you know say what is it the eas the everybody else that yeah. was in there everybody was like when brazil no, asked cool. them no it's fine yeah, yeah we don't have a cool. yeah, yeah, we had had and this dude said wait a second you ain't gonna stop me <laughs> Yo, excuse me, Brazil. Yo, and the funny thing is, like, even if, see, the funny thing is that you, even Nintendo, because Nintendo has no stake in Call of Duty, yeah. so it doesn't matter. It's, oh, it's cool, whatever. They can do whatever they want. We're doing our own thing. So it's only PlayStation that's, that's, that's crying about this. It's just funny to see kind of a little bit of console. Because they stuff know go what inside. they did. Yeah. It's like, you know what you did to win a, a generation. Mm. So you I, what, know what you did. You know what's funny, and, King? Yeah, Xbox said what you said. Xbox was like, "Yo, but did y'all? What did y'all keep mm -hmm. the Final Fantasy off all platforms? Don't y'all have Spider Man? Don't you have God of War that the yeah. draw drives all this, you know, yeah. exclusive well, content see, that, to your, that, to your platform? Way, yeah, but the argument the is the it, purity of it because those are, you know, this, they, they, those are ingrown. These those well, are homegrown. What, what they, what they right? said it was homegrown. Mm -hmm. we, we built those up. <laughs> the sad we, part we didn't buy Insomniac. Insomniac brought us. Yeah. Like, they bought, they the bought sad part is they bought that. Money that's how the industry works it's mm -hmm. like it does yeah. feel like especially when it comes to you know timed exclusivity because i've always said you get the right timed exclusivity that uh, yeah, this, that, this, that's more that's that. devastating Stop with that time exclusivity with this final fantasy man it's more than that yeah no, no, but, no you, but you playing you dirty I'm tactics you playing war not, games yeah you, you're taking what i'm saying you're blowing out of proportion no no I'm not, no no i'm i'm being a joke mm. right now this is the joke Mm -hmm. The joke is, you want those dirt at people. You can't say how he reacts to what you did. Mm -hmm. it, it, you can't. You can't say that. That's what so, I've been saying for the you, longest. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you have people like me 
that aren't getting the Final Fantasy VII's, the Rebirths. Uh, it doesn't look like Tactics Ogre's coming to the platform, and that's mm -hmm. another Square that's Enix type of game. Sure. So it's just like, you look at stuff like that, and it's just like, I get it. People are upset. You know, Call of Duty, most likely, a lot of the marketing, probably, uh, you know, a month of exclusivity mm -hmm. on some of the DLC. You'll probably have some, like, so, some form of exclusivity in terms of content on Warzone. Yeah. People are like, that's not right. You know what's not right? The fact that these games were multi plat for like 10 years, all on exclusive to a platform mm -hmm. that they weren't multi plat It's not like Sony owns these studios. They don't. Mm -hmm. So they it's just did like tactics in the background. Yeah. Yo, and, that's and, what I'm saying. And but really, Money had I want you I want, I want mm -hmm. to remember this. In the beginning, dudes was happy of how stuff was going. Yeah. I'm talking down on Microsoft, like you got all this money, you this big entity. Yeah. How come you ain't doing that's it? A, that's a mm -hmm. fact. How yeah. come you yeah, ain't they doing it? That. They used mm -hmm. to say that all the yeah, time. You don't remember? I, rem I had a whole conversation. You got all this money, yep. and they don't—they treating you like the second so side, second, second now? class citizens. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. We we get treated. What was it? The, the, the verbiage was: we over here at places get treated like first class citizens, and they're investing. So it's okay. To, mm -hmm. to money hat and buy exclusive content and keep it off your platform because they care about us. They care about right. where, why don't you, if Xbox was serious about gaming, why don't they spend the money? And to your point, I hate to interrupt, Kate, but to your point, I gotta, I gotta ride with you on this one because it's like, what's that expression? You can't control how somebody react. If you bully yep. someone and smack someone in the face mm -hmm. and he come back down the street with a gun and shoot you, that's on you because that's you've been you bullying and you've been shooting. Mm -hmm. So now they're utilizing the war chest that they have and then it's like, oh, not like this. No, I didn't no. think. <laughs> not <laughs> like this. No, it ain't no like this. It ain't no like this. It's like yeah. son to a slap Mike, fight. Exactly. Like Microsoft went home, came back, and they're like, all right, you bullied me for a couple years now. I'm buying your house. Yeah, but now, I'm buying, now your, I'm buying your friend's house. Right. I'm buying your dad's house. And I'm that's buying why I don't house. really listen. I know this is a legal thing, and I want to be clear. Mm -hmm. I want to give the context. So shout out to my boy Ben Smith. We had a good conversation from last time meeting behind the scenes. And I wanted the context is yes, they have to. Sony has to respond, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you almost think of a subpoena in court. Yo, what do you think about it? You got to talk about it. And I get it. You got to protect your business. All I'm saying is Stop I really snitching. I. <laughs> They're not, they not essentially snitching. They're not essentially snitching. They've been ordered in court to talk. So, yeah, so uh, what, you ain't got to take the stand? <laughs> wait, 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 they they, they could have played the fifth. Listen, they, they could have played the fifth. Listen, listen. Yo, they, they you coming got, in with the 6 9 face. Nah, they, they ain't 6 9. Ball. They I got it. They got subpoenaed. Nah, I'm sorry. Sony on it, though. Sony might not have the whole oh, six man. nine, but I, they have like half of it. Nah, nah. They got the whole like six, the top they got of the it, man. They, 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 they got, they got nah. like half that six Yo, and a quarter of the knot. <laughs> now they all being a little <laughs> sensitive, man. Yes, they come right up there, there. like, hey, King. He's literally <laughs> coming up to him and he's like, Yo, what? How do you feel about them? He's like. Sir, I don't like this at all. I no, think, what I he think said, they're taking all uh, of our toys away from us. What listen. he said was, do you see the perpetrator in court with you today? And he said, yeah, he right there. <laughs> he didn't say him. that. <laughs> the one wearing all green with the black on. I did that not go. Right there. So who took your lunch? Who took your cookies? That dude right <laughs> Listen. Microsoft. Oh. Do you need me to spell a name? Oh. <laughs> they have That's not green box snitching. right there. They are not snitching. <laughs> they, they've been ordered in court they to respond. They sitting there. They in the whole witness protection program. Why you got to go to Brazil? Why you got to go to Brazil to get a secret indictment out? Why, 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 you, why, you, why you couldn't do that in the U.S.? No, but you have to slide in the back door. You want like, to act like nobody going to know that. That was you They're like, you don't have to come with us. You can go to, you know, you can go to other friends. There's no friend like Listen, Call of Duty. All I was saying, it's not snitching. Everybody was game. sitting there. EA and everybody was sitting there. They was like, and you heard this. Did you bring the witness to the court? <laughs> what? And everybody looking at Sony walk up like, what? I know they didn't. Yo, so everybody played it cool. Mob boss is sitting there. They was like, yo, so Call of Duty going over there. How you feel? EA was like, it's no sweat off my back. <laughs> <laughs> so they asked Ubisoft. So, so. Ubisoft was like, "Man, we don't worry about those dudes. We got our own thing." Uh -huh. They asked Nintendo. Nintendo said, "Let me tell you something." Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Premium hey, balls. Let King get this. We are part get this. of a team right here, so we don't care about what Call of Duty does and Activision does. Uh -huh. And they asked Sony. Sony was like. But I'm gonna tell you, man. Mm. <laughs> Last time I was over there. <laughs> King, imagine Yo, them. You can't let this go down. You ain't gonna stop this. King, King, imagine them talking to like other publishers after the Activision thing was done. And imagine mm. like conversation in the background, like Sony's talking to Ubisoft. 
man, I think Microsoft's about to buy Activision. Mm-hmm. And that, you, you'd be like, oh, word? How much are they going to buy them for? I'm hearing rumors like 70 bills. 70 oh, bills? really? Mm-hmm. And he's like, you think they buy us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everybody, I will, I will say, even though this is hilarious, is that the thing that I think is being missed too is I know King's going on his scared snitching route. I know what you're doing. But I think what's they interesting, what is they're not snitching, but what the interesting is. Yo, besides the Call of Duty concern, right? They didn't talk about anything else. They, no, they actually showed how much they were concerned about Game Pass. That mm-hmm. part, bro, because they said Game Pass. They said they got guns. <laughs> <laughs> they said, yo, I know where they hide the guns. <laughs> it's, it's, they said, yo, they keep it in the blue van over there. <laughs> they did not say that. So they said, the thing they said, in that document where they expressed the concerns about Call of Duty, they said. So, oh, my God, hold on. What? You know, Super Chat from Mega, Megatron, Sony acting like a character. Oh, y'all messy. Y'all, y'all messy. Y'all know, I know what y'all do. Y'all got to behave. Oh, yeah, they, so, so, like, Shout out to Mega John Perry. Bring the doll. Where did Microsoft touch you? Listen, y'all messy. All I'm going to say is that in that document, though, it said, according to them, Game Pass manages to capture 60 to 70 percent of the global subscription services market yep. and about 70 to 80 percent in Brazil when it comes to um, subscri- PC subscriptions. Then they Let's said talk that about this part of the snip. Sony also explained that Game Pass mm-hmm. had 10 million at our subscribers after the time of Zenimax with the Bethesda deal. But they mm-hmm. said this number of subscribers increased to 25 million as soon you know, as far as the Activision let's, announcement. Let's so let's basically <laughs> what their concern is, they said because of Game Pass, the, that, that's the actually okay. thing now, they're now concerned about. Get to the other right, part of the I'm almost finished. So they yeah. like the secret devil. So they said because of Game Pass, they're looking at it like, well, it's going to hurt us because we got a $70 version that they could put in their service, you know what I'm saying? So that's the part I think a lot of people, besides the brand recognition, the marketing rights, and all of the other stuff that it's associated with, the fact that this could potentially be a Game Pass day and date to their $70 version of mm-hmm. uh, of, of Call of Duty. Because let's be clear, the thing, to Saul's point, I was a little weirded out, like, why are you so upset? Because it's not like, <laughs> it's not like, like you're, you're not going to lose it. You're going to have it on PlayStation platform. But the thing they're saying is, yo, it's not, it's not entirely that. not hey, true, though, King. Hey, you know what it, it, it's, you know what it, When you see Game Pass version day and day it, of Call of Duty and the casual, and then you have the marketing on top of that, and then we talked about a little man and $200 and all these things that could potentially happen, and we just had, you know, Lord Justin on from eSports. Call of Duty eSports League is cra- all this associates. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't put a lot of effort, uh, like a lot of energy behind Overwatch, but that's a big brand, too. That yeah, they're have in game but back. that's not what it's, the stitching is about. But you know what's funny, King? It's like, it's like, it's like they went and they asked... You know, Sony and Sony just started snitching on the whole family. No, they the, gave the daughter did this, the, the wife did this, the father known as Game Pass is running around. Like, I can't keep Stupid. none of my people alive. Lawyers, in line. lawyers say, have to present. Let me, they say, yo, let me tell you something about these dudes, man. <laughs> they got this Game Pass thing, and that, 70% of the crowd, they just. I was laughing at him. I thought it was unsustainable, but obviously they sustained something. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then they got this cloud thing. Did I? Did, did y'all ask me about cloud? Oh, not not, not yet. So, they, 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 so you, they, you implied they're telling all the business. They, they, they like, snitching they, on the whole organization. They said, "Well, listen, this is where he goes. This is how it goes." <laughs> so he makes the drop you know, off over <laughs> here. Hey, hey, you can't, and he you talks this, to this dude. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen too. After all that was made, and they went home, and everything was settling down, <laughs> and you just sitting there and the. And the people get a phone call, and they're like, "Oh, it's Sony." They pick up, like, "Oh, now they got a family pass." Please. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the family pass. Yo, let me tell you something. I'm gonna pull up in front of Sony, uh, mm-hmm. the, the big building. You know how you you go with those big giant inflatable rats? Mm-hmm. Oh no, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be out there with the, bullhorn with the scabs. And, yo, listen, <laughs> my trap I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be out there with the bullhorn and Crash Bandicoot. Yo, stop snitching! <laughs> 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 Yo, Messi, but look, I mean, Yo, we gotta stop. We gotta get uh, stop snitching shirts with Sony name and no, we don't. <laughs> no, we stop, don't. Stop, we do stop, not stop, need stop. to do that. We do not. <laughs> Somebody make me a stop snitching shirt. <laughs> <laughs>
I ain't out here. No, this is actively right. We don't don't be safe with that, man. How you gonna be part of that situation? Don't don't ever come at me talk about you rep the situation. And you sitting over there repping and snitching. You are not from the block. You are ostracized right now. I can't, I can't even look at my PlayStation the same no more. I go, I go inside the room. My PlayStation got on a mustache. Is in witness protection. Oh you know, man, what is going on over there? Who's in charge? Cause this ain't the Sony I know. See. He's in witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> Added to witness protection. My, my, my name my name is Sony. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm done with wow. you. This is completely messy. Like I was saying. Yo, can I regret God, everything I, I did? Mm -hmm. God, I shouldn't have. Yo, mm -hmm. you, you, you know when they have the video and they show the guy in the silhouette? Yeah. Oh, he, you stupid. <laughs> stupid. His voice. Yo, so, um, Microsoft. <laughs> Yo, I Mike, can't. Mike, Microsoft has a uh, game pass and, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they should buy Call of Duty because it hurts. Not everyone. the silhouette king. <laughs> Not the faceless, shadowy figure <laughs> they, with, they the, the, with the voice. Yo they, yo, they like this. They like, so tell us everything. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you sure they won't know it's me? Uh, <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> they got ordered in court. <laughs> they have to respond. King, King, Witness t protection. King, 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 t t t tell, tell the uh, insider everything, man. Tell the <laughs> well, basically, what they do around three o'clock, they launch new <laughs> stuff inside I can't. And the retention rate is crazy. <laughs> and do, do you do you feel threatened by that, King? We just launched a new service, and we still can't compete. <laughs> You know it's kind of crazy. They did what, say what, what, they King, did say nothing King, they what, could what, do King, would be able to compete with Gabe, King, but that was what, kind of funny. What, what, King, what 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 do you want? What do you want the insider to do? Uh, How do you I want, want, to, me to want somebody to stop him. Nobody gonna stop him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it nobody stopping this? Well, yeah. King, if, if you send the insider, <laughs> send the insider fifty thousand dollars in PayPal, maybe I'll move a little bit. Listen, Ooh. we done paid all the appropriate places, and nobody seems to be stopping this fight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> King, you paid every. Body but me. Listen, listen where, can, where can I cash up you? That you the, he said, I, wow. Do I need to go to Brazil and complain? <laughs> Yo, they said, Give me the proper route to complain. <laughs> Yo, this is the best. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all part of that organization now. Y'all got the face on it. <laughs> Look, well, there you have it. The King's assessment of of how this deal worked. Clearly, I think me and Sam are the only two that think that they were ordered to respond, no, legal no, response. I, 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 I do think it was, it was a legal thing. It was just jokes. Yeah, not a joke. Like, at the end of the day, like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> it's I don't like, look, care. I don't care, though. It, it, no, it's, it's like the whole thing with, with Microsoft. They lay, they, they made their bed. Yeah. And they had to catch it on fire to remake it. And, and now so it's just like you put all of this energy behind Call of Duty, right. and now that it's been bought up, you didn't buy yeah. it up. You mad yes. because you didn't buy it up, what not it because is, someone else is buying it. Yeah, what it is mm -hmm. to me is it, it, it's a lack of foresight on the sub side, on some instance, because mm -hmm. the way I look at it is they are the king of the just one narrative experience, right? That 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 movie level experience, right? But we've already said like we just need just one game to play on a multiplayer. <laughs> <You're ridiculous. laughs> but we've we've always said that it's the casual that moves the uh, the, the the audience, the the, the zeitgeist, the, mm -hmm. the Call of Duties, the GTA's, the the Madden's, the the two Ks, all these games that hardcore gamers don't really care for. If you look at the engagement. These are the games that move the industry. Call, Call of Duty is clearly that. What I think the foresight lack, and it's just my opinion, is that even though as great as the games that they make, right, what they did was they used the third-party marketing deals and said, mm -hmm. you know what, let's clear up our deficiencies with that. So we don't have to necessarily, we won't make them ourselves. And they did that mm -hmm. too long. Right, and they did, right. So now they looked at what 360 did maybe on some level and said, look, they had that marketing right. When that deal goes up, we have to get it, which was smart. I felt with them taking the uh, PlayStation, the Call of Duty marketing rights. So now when this, they have the marketing rights, they think they good, they hear this announcement, because let's be clear, so in mm -hmm. King's defense, now this is the part I will say is scared talk to me, because when the announcement first happened, before all of this Brazilian regulated stuff, out of nowhere, Sony's like, yo, I hope you guys are going to honor the, the, the contracts of, 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 of Call of Duty where it's going to be. And, the, and, the, and they then, were stuttering just like that. And then Phil had to make the statement and preemptively say, mm -hmm. because it's Microsoft's best interest for the deal to go through and not get attention to them with the FTC. So in my opinion, they probably made the concession, look, let's make this thing multi-plat. We don't want the heat. We want this yeah. deal to go through, right? And now with Sony, this is my only thing is that 
when now the, 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 it's setting in, right? At 2024, <laughs> whatever the marketing right is over, Acceptance. a Game Pass is allowed to say day and date, mm-hmm. this is uh, over here, right? Now you look at your multiplayer live service offerings, right? And you see the deficiency. But what I say to it is you look at the Bungie deal, right? Mm-hmm. You just countered that. You just said, okay, we, we have to have something my own. Now it makes sense why the Bungie deal happened after the announcement. So that's you shoring up, trying to shore up your weaknesses. Now you're saying 10 live service games and things of that nature. That's what I think is going on here. Me personally, I don't have a problem with the competing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've always said, as much as I give Xbox, yo, where's your hashtag just one, bro? Where's it at? I always say to PlayStation, yo, where's your multiplayer? You guys didn't yeah. resist this. You guys did so called Like, what's going on there? I want them both to get better. So my thing is, this is going to have to light a fire to get your they multiplayer, your live fight, service in order. And handle. I don't have no problem with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's just funny to me to see how this thing play out. But that, that's how I look at it. All right, yeah. I done beat this dead horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm good. I let everybody else we can move on. But I thought it was interesting. Anyway, so super chat. Super chat, sir. We can, we can just skip my topic, man. It ain't really that big. I can combine both. It's dumb easy. Dumb both. Combine is, both. We yeah. have two more topics. It was easy. It was a little as soon as that's made an update. That's it. Okay, give me one it's second. Let me roll thing. back a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so while he's doing that, I can get back into the mix. <laughs> 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 get oh, back on good. your bumper. <laughs> yeah. Sony you want like, no more squad? Sonny was like, King, Sonny was like, Call of Duty's being bought. Go go spend Ben Studios budget. Go buy Bungie. Like, like yeah. yeah. yeah okay. I saw this say, yo, we're gonna squabble. He said, No, I don't want no more squabbles. <laughs> they in there, they're in there for a long term. <laughs> Sony and Microsoft in there for a long term boxing match. And, and Microsoft got them against the ropes. Like, stop it, stop it, stop squabbling me. <laughs> look over at Please separate us, ref. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Don't spit out their mouth. All right, please. ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we got Mandingo McThickens. $20 super chat. The ponies have been buried. How can any pony utter a word after those statements by Jim Dance Move Ryan? It wasn't Jim Dance Move Ryan who said that. It wasn't. I lied and swindled you. I'm not committed to you. Game Pass can't be matched. We need Call of Duty. Ryan, PlayStation is what? It's something cat is cat poop, it looks like. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Disclaimer, Disclaimer. These are not the thoughts. These are not the thoughts. These are super chats. <laughs> then we got Donald Taco we'll Remember for 15 months. I love how King talking about the same topic on Boom Show is so different than him on IOP. <laughs> you, behave, you behaved on Boom Show. Mm-hmm. I don't call them rats. <laughs> <laughs> So we got Mandingo. <laughs> All right, you guys fix this. I gotta fix my mic. Time. It's about to come off. The- All right, gotta go. Go get it. Go get it. We got Mandingo McThickens once again. Two dollars yeah. in the chat. Hey Sony, ever heard of the pot and the tea kettle? Oh my god. Then we got yeah, baby father. Five dollars <laughs> in the chat. Yeah, I love that dude. Then we got snitching to the Brazilians. They can still get some card. Warzone maybe. We overcharged Sony for what they did to the cold crust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing we forgot about is that revenue, too, that Microsoft mm-hmm. Style is going to get, you know, that Sony not going to get any revenue. But it's, mm-hmm. like, revenue God, son, they said they're taking our bread. Stop them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there we got zero back two dollars with chat. They said nothing about King the money maker for real, for real. Oh, <laughs> done. Damn, they worried about that COD. <laughs> it's then we got in the mobile market right now. They don't care about King. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Well, King is that's that's all the that's all the money. About me. <laughs> you better watch out for me. <laughs> what you gonna do when you see me? I can't. I can't with him. Then we got JD Gamer twenty dollars in the chat. Sony out here scared as hell. <laughs> Confident men like companies no, slash companies don't talk about how no matter how many little blue pills they take, games they make. Yo, 
They'll never measure up. <laughs> Yo, Confident King, King. men, companies pull up, pull out, and perform. King, I, can, Whoa. King, I, I, I can give you the best TV show ever. It's called Scared and Snitching. <laughs> wow. Y'all oh, messy with this. Wow. Snitching. Starring Sony. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got Remedy Live, four pound and 49 pence super chat. Sony to their hardcore gamers, you ain't enough. Sony to their studios, you ain't got the skills that matter. <laughs> Yo, they going in. Uh, and I, and... Theme. <laughs> I can't. Oh my God. Then we got Mandingo Big Fiction, $10 super chat. Can someone tell Chris? Blue Oyster Heart that Sony can't pull MLB or Destiny. Why? Because they are some success and they do not have the authority to pull them. Sony and MLB got Sony, but Bungie and MLB got Sony by the cojones. Yo, the cojones. You know, Chris might be right though, man. Chris might be right. Why do you call him Blue Oyster Heart? Chris, Chris, Chris is right. Chris is right. Listen, the, the, it's the, 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 my in my opinion. I just think it's not in the bench best interest for Sony. I mean. For Xbox to pull Call of Duty from PlayStation, no, and it's not, not in its interest for Sony to pull um, Bungie's Destiny stuff from Xbox because the regulators are on these guys. And at the mm -hmm. end of the day, if you start doing these bad faith things, you try to make other future deals, ain't that, happening. It ain't thug, gonna happen because look thug. at that. Mm -hmm. Bungie first of all told you in the beginning, <laughs> you ain't telling me what I'm doing. You understand? <laughs> Like in, the, in in at the prenup, uh -huh. there's no prenup. You, are, I'm not signing that paper. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm going to see who I want to see because I really like feeling them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see you on Monday. I'm going out. It's Friday. <laughs> wow. I can't. I can't. There we Continue. go. Flame two dollars super chat. I completely agree with Xbox Call of with Xbox Call of Duty is trash. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Flame, Messi. Then we got Abacab72, member for 19 months. To be fair, uh, Activision Blizzard King went to Microsoft to be bought, and Microsoft wasn't even their first choice. Microsoft was the first to say yes. Mm -hmm. End of the day, that doesn't matter. <laughs> they bought them, and that's it. Like, mm -hmm. Then we got Hollywood you Rules. Tell your man stop snitching. <laughs> tell your man to watch. Keep my company name out your mouth. mouth. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> there we go, Hollywood rules, five dollars in the chat. Laura Cog throws the best alley oop in games. <laughs> Are you implying, sir? Listen, and the I Magic like, Johnson of podcast. I just let yeah, King yeah. work, man. I, I got the best podcast panel, period. Like I let y'all work, <laughs> y'all do y'all thing. Then Attic does tag teams and <laughs> solve me. We here, we the straight man. Like we try to, you know what I'm saying? We just let like, them rock. It's fine. Stockton to below. Stockton to below. We're coming. We're coming close to get solve on our side. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> now, as long as I got some, I'm good. I'm good. Y'all too. When y'all get going, oh it's my nothing. God. It's the funniest joint going. It's nothing stopping it. <laughs> then we got Lord Metroid five dollars super chat. Sony crying. Meanwhile, at Nintendo headquarters, private VIP room. Ted DiBiase <laughs> crashes the party. Yo, Nintendo, money, money, <laughs> money, money, <laughs> money. money. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You know why Nintendo <laughs> don't care? You know why Nintendo don't care? Mm -hmm. Crash Bandicoot was outside their front door talking that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, remember that stuff you said? Handle your business. Hold that, hold you that. You got no problem with Activision doing anything with Microsoft. <laughs> Yo, there we got JD Gamer five dollars super chat. Let me say this clearly. Mm -hmm. Sony is scared and there's nothing that their fans can do to say <laughs> otherwise because Sony said it themselves. That's now, true. who does that? <laughs> say, man, the true. papers were supposed to go out. Those are sealed documents. I'm just <laughs> Then we got Ham Solo oh 05 Gaming, $2 in the chat. That was so damn lit. Thank you, brother. Oh, and I got, I got to answer your DM. I, I got you. No doubt. No doubt. Then we got Kay Johnson, member for seven months. Oh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bungie looking at Sony after their COD statement. Am I a joke to you? COD <laughs> Yo, is Mr. Right now. <laughs> Bungie is just Mr. Right now. Wow. Wow. Bungie. Bungie is for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> and Sony knows it. <laughs> then we got the Taku, $10 super chat. Sony literally doesn't have an argument to say that COD will be detrimental to their business because the Switch is outselling both consoles without COD. How are they going to explain that? 
Yeah, yeah you, he's right. I mean, listen. Nintendo say, yo, stop talking about me. Don't bring me inside none of this. Yeah, don't bring me into your conversation. This is for the regulators. <laughs> and people, the regulators, as much as Sony, whoever compared, like, they're looking at what's best for the gamer and the consumer. Yep. Having right. it on uh, a Game Pass service is be- best for the consumer. So it, it's mm-hmm. going to be hard for them to win that argument. Yeah, you know they're saying? not going to win by snitching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sit down, shut up, and take your lumps. <laughs> You we got Jay gave up five dollars. Super chat. Sony running scared reminds me of that moment in Friday when Smokey was standing over Debo saying, "You got knocked the f out." Yo. Not like this, Sony. No. Smack somebody for a generation. Don't get mad. Somebody come back. Yeah. My ice pack. Tell them sit down and shut up. Take your lumps. Mm-hmm. Then we got JD Gamer again, $5 Super Chat. Microsoft is Craig, and he was taking Debo ish early on, and then Sadia hyped him up, and not and not Debo on the ground, <laughs> getting robbed after getting knocked out. Knocked the F out. Wow. He slid him the brick. <laughs> That's it. The brick him with the brick. Like... He slid him the Call of Duty brick. <laughs> And put him to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my right, Craig. Oh, that's hold on. Right, <laughs> You're a savage. Yo, shout out to my man Harry Cuts. He bought that classic IOPT of black. Salute nice. you, Harry Cuts. You already know, got that drip. You know what's funny? Salute. The fact that it's Craig and Craig face was using Halo. That's right, Craig. <laughs> Stupid. Good. There we have Dan Lazaro, five dollars super chat. When Godzilla put his foot on Kong's chest, that's Xbox and PlayStation right now. Cod is a checkmate. He's just sitting on his stuff fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, fire burn you. You uh, see? <laughs> Don't make JD me burn you. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and Kong was on the boat snitching to the humans. He's in the water. <laughs> He's in the Sir. water. <laughs> Get him. He's trying to drown me. Somebody shoot. And ain't nobody gonna stop this. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Sony is King Kong. Oh my God. I can't. We got JD Game with $10 Super Chat. Microsoft doesn't need to make COD exclusive to put Sony in the ground. All they need to do is what Sony did. Sony provided the blueprint. Just follow it. Exclusive COD content, betas, and time content. Rest in peace, PlayStation. Jesus. It ain't no PlayStation 6 around here. <laughs> Messy. With snitching like that going on, once the hood finds out that you were snitching, it's <laughs> over for you. You're finishing. It's curtain time. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Pixel Bin G, $2. We chat the other studios not messing with the gooch. <laughs> the gooch. Remember that? Wow, the gooch. I haven't heard that in a minute. <laughs> the gooch is here. Then we got Flame, $2. We chat Xbox to PlayStation, snitches get stitches. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Sit down and take them lumps. <laughs> <laughs> this man had a good old time the, kick with this the, dude's. The Megatron one that Attic read before Sony out here acting like a Karen and <laughs> snitching. Shout out to Megatron. Oh my god, this snitching stuff. There we go. Oh, want with a this. Shirt. <laughs> people want a shirt with, with snitching. Oh man. god. Uh, we we got, stay we, away we from we that. We a limited time shirt that says We ain't gotta stay away from that. <laughs> and then we got nothing wrong with this. Let's yeah, just not. Uh, <laughs> you know, just getting called an Xbox podcast. That's yeah, all. let's not make one brand associated with negative connotation. Then we <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Platano J. Platano J. Five dollars who chat. Best podcast in the world. Coño. Platano J. No doubt. Splendiferous. Mm. Pepper for 10 months. Sony, we can't let y'all buy Activision, son. Xbox. Y'all bought Bungie. Sony. Oh, that was different. I can't let you body my console in one purchase. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Crazy. It's a lot of scripts coming, you know, falling out of here. What's going on? <laughs> And we got JD Game with five dollars. I want that. I want that. Stop snitching shirt right now. I need like ten of them. Nah. <laughs> I try, guys. I try. You're not doing it. <laughs> gotta, put the, gotta put the foot down. You not do that, man. <laughs> Then we got, yeah, baby, five by five dollars super chat. <laughs> Sony exec's gonna wake up with a horse head next to him in the bed for being stool pigeons. <laughs> yeah, they're taking this ratting thing. Oh, Godfather, big time. Yes, sir. He called him a stool pigeon. <laughs> Hold on a second. Mm. Then we got JD Game with five dollars super chat. Somebody stop it. Somebody stop this beat down. <laughs> Devo was begging for your help. Please help him. Or you could just rob him while he's laying there. Wow. <laughs> 
Yo! And then snitch about it later. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> and we got Necromat Giselle, ten dollars super chat. Cog and solve. Who are you putting your chips on for winning this this generation based off of what we know right now? Microsoft or Sony? No fence city. Oh, because we sit on the we don't we don't speak facts. We oh, that's why that's fence. why he directed that towards you guys. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He did. He's every like, I want the, I'm on. He's Knock like, him out. <laughs> And all I Knock said, every every generation is a clean slate. Oh, there you go. That's not there what you the super chat asked for. No I, I said, for this one. They said they told they told me there was nothing well, that Xbox could do. This generation could be. And I said, they want to know who you thinks what. Every generation is a clean slate. So you know you know what's funny, Cog. Hold on, hold on. I got I gotta call Cog out a little bit. Okay, call me out. Call me out. I gotta call Cog out a little bit, King. Do we not have ch- uh, guests all the time or calls like you gotta choose between the children? They mm-hmm. call all <laughs> choose between no, all right, these but but the question all right, the question is mad general. When how? When what? Software sales, mm-hmm. the hardware sales. I but what 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 does that yeah. quantify? If you're talking I hardware yourself. sales, I don't know. But if you're talking yeah. about, you know, who wins the zeitgeist and, and cloud and, and, and game pass as a service, then I think Microsoft is better positioned. If that, there you uh, go, folks. Yeah. Cog says he this, thinks they're going to beat PlayStation. I, again, listen, but listen. what's the specific question? Who is going to win is so general. Like, Generation if you wa- isn't over yet. The deal isn't sealed. Yeah. The when the deal, deal is sealed, so is their fate. I'm done. Yeah, I just, trap card. I just, <laughs> I just keep playing in this baby pool, man. Yeah. Gabe is winning. That's it. Gabe. Gabe winning. No Gabe, Gabe winning the day. He winning the generation. You, they, no, I know. Matter of fact, you know what? My ass is my bad. I take that back. I take that back. Switch gang. Switch gang winning. There you yeah, go. There you go. Switch gang winning generation. I, I, I rep the Switch. Here. You just get it. You just play. I, I got you. I don't want to take the risk. That's it. That's what's winning between them all. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is that you could play the games from all of those platforms on one other platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, <laughs> stop, with, stop with your legal mess. That's <laughs> you do that over here at Microsoft too. Be quiet. Continue. Continue. There we go. Uh, go ahead, Addy. I was like, I just noticed you you misspell our next topic, and people in the chat are bringing it. Like, They're bringing it. Do, do, Zach. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Do, he ain't ever played do's, those games. Do, do, do's, do, do's. <laughs> Do's X. Do's X. Two uh, <laughs> X. And we got uh, JD Game of Five Dollars. We chat Christopher Hart. Sony's next move is to be a third party publisher. Now are. I'm done with you, Chris. Just like PlayStation is done. <laughs> yeah, Chris, you Bye. can't be out here repping these rats. You're better than that. Repping these rats. Listen, stop associating yourself with those dudes Ooh. with the tail. What's spelling? It, it's spelled correct. I don't know what y'all talking about. It mean. smells like U-S. rats. It looks yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's D E D E D E U S. Yeah, it's been right all the time. Look, no, it's D U E S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's been like that. Yeah, I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I ain't changing it now. I don't know what's going on. I, maybe, I, maybe, that's how I spell okay, it. Okay, I, I guess we just go say like we 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 looked at it wrong, man. Uh, yeah, Everyone you know looked at it wrong. Well, that, it was the angle. Mess. It was the angle you was looking at. <laughs> wow. Don't well, ever mess with a tech dude. <laughs> <laughs> there we got JD Gamer five dollars super chat when it's Sony still got caught. The title. <laughs> <laughs> when Sony got caught in the Brazilian alley, Sony pull your pants up and get that cream off your face. Whoa! You're embarrassing oh yourself. Whoa! What is going on, what is going on in this alley? There's a lot of you know scenarios. I, I, get, I get that scenario, but chill. <laughs> yeah, this is a, wow. Whoa! <laughs> Very vivid, vivid imagination. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got JD Gamer again, ten dollars in the chat. We know how this ends. Sony standing next to Blockbuster in the afterlife, saying, "Who did it to you, Blockbuster?" Says Netflix and Sony. Says, "Damn, think Microsoft is buying that too." They wow. said they snitching in heaven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they took they snitching yeah, to yeah, the next place. Yeah. It's gonna be King. Is Sony go, uh, PlayStation is Sony gonna walk past Blockbuster and like, who did it to you? He's like, who I'm did? not talking. I'm not talking. <laughs> Get away from me, you rat. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there talking. He's talking to God. Yo, that's yo, even man. worse. He that's even talking worse. Talking he, he walks by. They they walk by Blockbuster and but and they they try to be friendly with Blockbuster. I remember you. He's like, we don't associate with rats. We don't associate wow. with rats. Everybody else say, come over here, Blockbuster. Get away from that red. <laughs> Yo, the PlayStation 6 walking around heaven. God, why did you let this happen? I can't with y'all. Yeah. I'm neutrals, my son. Yeah, <laughs> out of pocket. Good you dude. don't like the squabble? <laughs> there we Sav. go. 
Amazing Neil, two dollars super chat. Stop snitching shirt in large, please. <laughs> no, we are not making Sony stop snitching I got, shirts. I got you guys in the background on the low. Just hit me. The t- <laughs> that is not Dude, merch. Let nobody know who you got it from. Like, King, like I'm in charge of the merch. You good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, it appears on the store tomorrow. <laughs> I know, right? All of a sudden, <laughs> gonna do like, what he did last know, time. What yeah. Yeah. Oops. Remember when that ten k didn't go away? <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't even know how that got there. Uh-huh. De Niro. <laughs> then we got the Taku five dollars for chat. When the deal goes through, Xbox gonna be playing Twenty One Savage, Snitches and Rats Yo. outside Sony headquarters. <laughs> Chill. This is crazy right there. Then we got Jean Marc Louis two dollars super chat. Sega screaming now that that's some karma, mother effer. <laughs> <laughs> Say go over there. Yeah. Oh, now you snitching. <laughs> <laughs> sure, everybody want to see Sony get their come up in Zazi. Yo, really? everybody in that room was Yo. somebody Sony did something bad to. They was like, nah, man, let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let that fight happen, man. Yo. You gonna squabble, B. <laughs> you gonna knuckle up, B. <laughs> What's the, the voice king do, though? Ain't nobody. Nice. <laughs> That we ain't never getting through these super we chats. We never. I know they're giving way too much time. Super chats. Then we got splendiferous five dollars super chat. Mark Shorty knocking Jim Ryan window like you thought you could do my job, right? How that stupid taste. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> all you got to do is say I was right and keep your pension. That's it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. All right. Hold on a second. Let me see. Yeah, we got jumped a little bit. We got Donna talk with the two dollars super chat. Yeah, I already screenshot a cog hashtag uh, uh, snitch game. Oh, you snitch him. Yeah, then we got one away dragons five dollars super chat. The only place I get my name changed and love it. Limonious now king now king with Lord Limpy. I love my brother's pack, no doubt. Well, I'm so happy that your your surgery was a success, brother. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Brother. recovery, please. Please, man. So good to see you. Take it easy, chat. man. He made yeah. me call him immediately. Yeah, I called him. Exactly. exactly. Chill up. Exactly. Feet up like yeah. a quadriplegic. Chill up. So really? Then we got THX 1138, $5 super chat. Satya to Phil about the Activision Blizzard acquisition. Don't forget the cannolis. <laughs> Leave the gun. Don't forget the cannolis. Uh, <laughs> this time, we didn't forget, forget the, the gravy. gravy. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, not the gravy. No, 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 please, no, please. This is what This is what happens when we take too damn long oh, with, with the super chat. Here chats. we go. Let me yeah, play with your joystick. <laughs> Five dollars in chat song. If I can't play with your joystick, can I at least try your plata? Whoa! <laughs> wow! Yo! Hey. Yo. <laughs> wow! You know what wow! I have no idea what that means. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's a, it's a, you don't need to know. Yeah. <laughs> Google. <laughs> there we got Google. What is this? Uh-huh. Hey, Google. Yeah, wow. Dimelo. Dimelo. Oh Poppy, please. Poppy, please. Sacrament to Zell. $5 in the check. And we get Cog to wear a Sony stop snitching on Ellison. <laughs> <laughs> you out of pocket, man. Oh, we got to get you. Know, you know what? No, no, no. We got to take it a little further than that. We get a Sony stop snitching shirt. We send it to Cog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all are wild. Yeah. That's Shout awesome. out to know, What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. He's oh, we got himself with that. <laughs> we, got, we got amazing Neil, two dollars super chat. Sony, aka Ratatouille. <laughs> wow. right, right, no, no, no. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Don't give him that time. Keep going. We got. Yeah, baby, five, uh, five dollars yeah, super five. chat. <laughs> I think Sony was the hall monitor in PS two ninety eight in Brownsville, Brooklyn, wow. back in the day. Still. <laughs> Telling. Wow, y'all really <laughs> taking this this day hard body karate. Ooh, all right, my lord. Yes, right, cool. oh, I, feel like, I feel like whack one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you got paperwork on these combo snitches. topic. This is so this is easy. This would be bang bang topic gang early. So um yeah, just two quick ones. Shout out to Jeff Grubby Grub. Idos wants to come back to uh, Deus, Deus Ex, which I spelled correctly. Um, and they said they want to do what Cyberpunk 2077 couldn't, couldn't. And they said, uh, uh, reportedly, they said that they're looking to deliver a more polished experience. They hear about um, that they want to bring back the franchise. So that was the first bit of news. And then the mm-hmm. second bit of news is I want to shout out 
Little Man, Little Man Series S. Microsoft gives Xbox Series S more memory to improve graphical performance. And there's a new uh, Series S SDK out. And Microsoft gave uh, dev team talking about it gives developers more control over memory, which can improve graphics performance and memory constraint condition. So just two little things that came out, no news bits. We'll just fly through real quick. Attic on your topic on Eidos and Deus Ex and Series S. Little Man get a little, little bump. I don't really care about the Series S thing, oh, oh. but um, <laughs> shout yeah. to Jason, Jason Rado. No, it's not that. It's just after the Series S, I refuse to have the lesser platform anymore. No, like that. after that Gears Five fiasco, I will. Oh, you mean on with the no, One S, with the One S yeah. versus that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the One S. Thank I, God I will good. always have the higher iteration of whatever system is being sold. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, it comes down to it, like especially with the Dual XX thing. Um, mm -hmm. I think that this we're gonna see. Scenarios like this is why I'm glad that Square Enix sold all those companies because I don't feel like they were going to ever let them make another one. Mm -hmm. So maybe, hopefully, um, who who owns it, it's not it's THQ Nordic. I don't think they're under that brand. They're under um, Embracer. Embracer, Embracer which yeah, is under the same company. Yeah, so we're gonna mm -hmm. go to that. but Embracer. Hopefully, you know they'll actually fund them to make it. Uh, I'm hoping that like they actually give them the proper fund. You see, what I'm worried about like these. These publishers that have been known to make double A games, I'm worried that they're going to try to make that game a double A game. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. that's the only part I'm worried about. It's just like, because it does cost money to make a game like that to evolve it. And if they're coming out there saying stuff, maybe they're doing that to try to, uh, you know, get engagement to show Embrace here, look, this would sell if you just let us make it. I hope they let them make it because I love that franchise. Uh, you know, we'll have to see. We'll have to mm -hmm. see. I, you know, I actually have both of those games. I have the achievement for not killing anyone in the entire Ooh, play. That's nice. my favorite stealth. I like that. I like that. No doubt. Solve. Day of Sex might be back in the streets. Said Little Man with an SDK bump. What you think? I mean, Deus Ex coming back after they said they were going to shelve it, right, uh, is, is exciting if that is the case. Um, specifically, not to not to challenge whatever, you know, what Cyberpunk did or didn't do. Because uh, I think those are two very different games. Like, my my hopes for Cyberpunk before it came out were that. Were, we're making that sort of immersive sim as an RPG and taking, you know, the, the groundwork of Deus Ex and even expanding upon it more. And that, mm -hmm. that, that wasn't necessarily what that game is. So to see Deus Ex maybe come back and try to you know take that crown again with the immersive sim stuff is mm -hmm. cool but i'll be honest man like the yeah. the other games that are in their stable that they could bring back that i'd be more excited about right now mm -hmm. like a thief thief uh, thief 2 is is one of the greatest keep immersive that game sims the talk. we don't need that no you know, they, that was not 2015 not 2015 <laughs> thing and I think, yo, I think we are. I, I want. We rub it over Attic. Attic said, prefer, "Keep it in the tuck." I would prefer. I would prefer to see a Tetris one through eight oh remade, restructured. Before I see how many? Back. How many games of Thief have you ever played? Oh, oh Attic! Wait, only hold on. So I pulled that. The whack twenty fifteen one. The whack twenty fifteen one. Yes, the whack one. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. How you gonna expect me to expect something different when I played one game of whack? But I'm gonna tell you that game. Is the, the old ones are better than Deus Ex? Okay, Not well, you, need blame, you need to blame the last developer for me spitting on that idea. <laughs> so, exactly. So, so K for the receipts. Do 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 your due diligence, young man. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd do rather, that. I'd rather now, take. I will say that I'm fork. speaking. <laughs> so, I'd rather take this fork uh -huh. and pluck my eyeballs out before I play another thief. So, okay? so he, he we'll, added we'll, told you we'll, keep it in the top. We yeah, we'll we'll put a Patreon uh tier no, for you ain't. plucking your eyeballs out. We ain't doing <laughs> none of that. <laughs> that that seems illegal, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Good to you, so beyond Good to that, but that's that's fine. That's fine. I get that. Yes. Um, honestly, though, I want to see Legacy of Kane come back Ooh, before any I, I any like of that. that. Thank you. See, I, I had appeal to the young man. Babe <laughs> Victus. Babe Victus. Babe Victus. Victus. Give me Babe Victus yes. back. So um, that's cool. Like it's cool. I'm glad they're not because you know they had said it was gonna be it was gonna in the bushes for a while. Yeah. So you know the fact that they've been working on these old franchises, I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. Um, now the the Series S stuff, love me. that's very cool, man. I mean, they said hundreds of megabytes more mm -hmm. in terms of, for graphics performance, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of games, you know, they, it was initially touted as this 1440p system. Mm -hmm. And it, a lot of times it's more like a 1080p system. Yeah. And that's fine. Uh, my thing is getting those games, the majority of those games, to run at 60. 
mm-hmm. is the most thing. So I know they specifically spoke about graphics and improving the graphics, but at the end of the day, that memory could be used for performance as well. And I'd to rather me, be performance. Exactly. So on that console, performance is key. If you're hitting 60 on everything, with again, it's it's eight megabyte, you know, how much eight but gigs of like four. RAM. You know what? Right. Mm-hmm. But you know what? So I have an ideal that we can speak more about ideals later. You know, you I, gotta I, stop I really saying ideal stop because that. Sinister hates that you don't say idea, idea, and, and, you, right, say and you keep doing it to bother him. I, and I get the reason he wants me to say ideals, and I understand. Oh that. my That's god, why I'm saying ideals. Like, <laughs> moving on, you hear me, son? Ideal, <laughs> so, so that's it. That's it. Like, honestly, uh, yeah, it, it's cool. It's it's cool because you and you're gonna see these improvements, right? Mm-hmm. And maybe at some point we see an even smaller Series S, which would be crazy. <laughs> nah, no doubt. Lord King, Dead Sex, little man with a little bump bump. Where you at? Bump, bump. Um, I love Dead Sex. Uh, mm-hmm. Um, I, I I always loved that franchise. So the fact that w- when I was playing Cyberpunk, I was mm-hmm. like, wow, mm-hmm. this just looks like a bigger Dead Sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, mm-hmm. and. To me, I thought Deus Ex did it better. Mm-hmm. So for them to look over and say Cyberpunk copied us in a bigger world but didn't do it better, mm-hmm. let's get out there and show them how it should be done. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Competition breeds uh, excellence, so let's yes. see. So I, this, this is what I want. I, I, I'm not going to go into what they should be doing. They're talking about this specific title. So yeah. let, let, let me get this because mm-hmm. I like this. I, I, I do like this X and yeah. I do feel that there's room for uh, improvement when it came to uh, cyberpunk. Yeah. Now, shout out to Jason Ronald. Little known fact, uh, when the development kits matured, they send out a patch anyway. Mm-hmm. A lot of those games are 120 frames per second on little man mm-hmm. and 60 frames per second. So what they were listening to was the developers talking about the graphical differences between the Series X and the Series S. Mm-hmm. And there's any way that the memory constraints inside the box can change exactly what's going on. Mm-hmm. I've always say just Jason Ronald is a wizard. Yeah. His team is, is, is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the people at Microsoft listen to what you say and they try to engineer a way around it, either software mm. or physical. Mm. Yep. It's a marvel to look at the little man, mm-hmm. right? At the size, so the form good. factor. So Everybody, you know, laughed at it at, mm-hmm. at first talking about it. All the generation speaker. back. It's, well, right. Why would you, you're going to confuse the audience, the, the consumer? Remember and, that? And, and it's not because the audience is not confused. They know that this console fits them. I have four mm-hmm. of them in my house. Mm. And they fit what I asked them to, to be mm-hmm. as, you know, Series X as, as well. But I'm only saying this, that if you're giving the developers more without raising the prices, mm. without asking the consumer for anything, that's not a negative. And that's all they've been doing. They've been quietly working in the background to efficiently show you that little man has actual value and he is not a barrier in this generation. This generation is not being held back by little man. Mm-hmm. Because when little man has more 120 frames uh, per second games than uh, the stronger competitor and actually has stable 60 frames per second games equal to the competitor that has a stronger uh console or more powerful whatever however mm-hmm. you want to do it so to give the the developers the ability to use the utilize the memory inside to mm-hmm. get what they want to achieve out of it mm-hmm. i think that only shows you that they are they're listening they want to be more versatile and they want to push this stuff forward so no this is fantastic stuff when i saw it i was like wow they they quiet that don't mean that they're not working right yeah, I, like I said, I'll just jump in. Oh, Dead Sex, that's cool to hear. I'm, I'm excited. I know shout out to Grub who oh, broke it, and then shout out to Jason Schreier who actually said he does think it's a long ways away. Like it's like rare early. They got so yeah. much else going on. But it's, it'll be cool to see it come back, especially now that they're going to be most likely with Embracer. When that deal closes, I want to see the title is extremely ambitious. Say, hey, we're going to put your chest out and say what you're going to do with Cyberpunk. Hey, do do what you got to do. I want to see it with a with a budget and whatever. I'm really impressed with, with, I gotta give Lil' Man his flowers. I'm really impressed with Lil' Man. You know, there's a lot of skepticism when the Series S was first announced. And let's be honest, King, it's very risky to do a dual skew approach. Yeah. You know, people were 
concern like yo is this the right play are you gonna confuse it like remember there was talk that who would even want the series s as the x being the more powerful robust you know why would you you know do this kind of Honestly, thing Honestly, the people have spoken yeah mm-hmm. the people have spoken and, and like you said you know there's a lot of people who necessarily either don't care about the 4k aspect first of all the design of the console is absolutely stunning it, it is it, yep. when you own a series s it is really a beautiful piece of tech it's small yep. it's like shout out to all those people in japan yeah, that went out and brought it. And, and, brought it. and then I'm going to be honest, ever since I got that X screen, little man's with me all the time on travel. I take yeah. that thing on a plane, airport, hotel, whatever, and I still am playing my full experience the <clears> way it is. So it, it's a technical moment, man. So put the little man's in the chat. I got to give him the flowers. But yeah, I love anything to give more resources because that was yeah. the only thing. People was like, yo, maybe a bottleneck. Yo, you know, devs, mm-hmm. some yeah. devs are having issues. Giving them yeah. the tools that they need to maximize and getting the most out of it is awesome. Because one thing I did like is they make at least the chipset the same. That was my main yep. concern because I know with um, Attic was talking about with the 1S and the X, you talk about a whole different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Jaguars or whatever. But um, yeah, he's doing his thing. And then the last thing is I don't think people are sleeping. People are sleeping on the markability of Little Man because... Look at that four guys console. Look how like it's yep. cute. You got the little eye. Like you could get creative with it. It's such a cool looking. They got one, man. They got one. It's cool to see. And I think as we talk about Call of Duty, the generation and stuff like that, you're gonna see them get creative and do packets. Cause that to me, when you win in regions that you never went been before, like Japan, and you talk about trying to win a generation, and that to me is an entry point for a casual gamer that doesn't want to bust his pocket, doesn't necessarily care about all his 4K stuff. So yeah, shout out to Little Man, shout out to the team. They did their thing. I just wanted to get them their little flowers on that. But that's all I got. You want to do the super chat? Do the poll? We do the poll, then you get the super chat. Right, 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 right. Yeah, do the poll. Let me just run right. back to make sure that. No. You don't need me to to, to go back in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. So like see. I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All, all I gotta do is just throw this back on, get right back into the. Mix. <laughs> <laughs> New IOP poll with the recent response by Sony the regulator stating that Xbox owning Call of Duty has no rival and it could influence console choice. Then Microsoft telling regulators that Activision Blizzard doesn't. Possess produce must-have games who stance do you more closely align with the choices are a sony stance is most accurate b microsoft stance is most accurate or c i don't care we all sony and microsoft both try to finesse the feds (laughs) (laughs) everybody who rocked the iop phone last week an absolute pleasure shout out to the legendary jason i would go for i think probably one of our best Oh, I mean, we've had some. That, that was whew, that was something. And we've he had, had a some lot, of, lot of nuggets. Yeah, he yeah. he dropped dropped some. Yeah, man, nuggets, salute nuggets. salute to him. Man, chat was on fire. He was on fire. It was it was a good show. I loved everybody, the energy, everybody. So salute to that. But uh, sorry, we'll get the super chats. But we got splendiferous two dollars super chat. I hope he about to be on Jim's hit list. King is first. <laughs> you don't want to squabble. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I ain't fighting no snitches. Oh, because <laughs> all he's gonna do is he's gonna get lumped up and he's gonna be like, he over there with Iron Lords right there. He's gonna call the police. <laughs> oh, the man. With the knuckle buster. King, 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 like, I'm not fighting someone's gonna send me to jail. <laughs> I'm not fighting nobody snitch. Y'all with this snitch jacket, bro. Y'all Yo, gotta bro, chill. Like, we gotta get away from that, man. Hey, man, don't get around me. <laughs> he said that he's like, He's like, he hit me. <laughs> Y'all yeah, taking this to you. There we go. Um, Amazing deal. Two dollars super chat. Sony, aka Master Splinter. Yo, <laughs> <The> rat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There we got Stitch, $5 Super Chat. I think Sony's statement was very disrespectful to their own studios, stating they can't make a game as good as Call of Duty. Hashtag snitching Snowy. So, yeah, for real. How do you All jokes there? aside, that's real. How you gonna how you gonna snitch and disrespect your team? <laughs> <laughs> they got guns and I ain't got nobody that can help me. <laughs> Yo, how you gonna disrespect your squad, especially the new dude that yeah. gets out there? Yeah, but uh, it's kind of crazy. Then we got uh, Lord Metroid two dollars in chat. So I better get that mofongo ready. Ave Maria. <laughs> oh my God, yo, that's wow. crazy. Then we got Flame, two dollars super chat. The way Cog spelt it in the title was "do sex." <laughs> Let's do sex. Listen, it was. I don't know wow. what y'all talking about. I don't, know, I don't know what y'all talking about. It was correct all this time. Yo, if you think about it, 
Sony went over to Bungie. Was <laughs> oh, like, Yo, I, I need you to help me in this fight coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And then went to the regulators. It was like, I ain't got nobody that can help me in this fight. <laughs> Sony literally walked up to them. Sony literally walked up to them. And it's like, imagine like Naughty Dog, all Sony at Pop. It was like, we ready, man. We ready. Nah, I I, I, I contracted for this. Go, mm -mm. go, 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 go back. Do what you was doing because you can't help here. Like, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah, that took this crazy. <laughs> we got uh, amazing Neil, two dollars super chat. Sony, aka Karen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we are caught up with good, no doubt. Lloyd Addict, where can the fine people find you? What you got going on, sir? You can find me on Twitter at Lord Addict IOP. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube at Gaming. I'm gonna try to do more live streams here. Mm -hmm. um, try to pull more reviews. But you know, put in the chat what you guys would like me to review because I'm looking at all these games and like I'm not gonna lie, like there's only a couple that entitled uh, that that like interest me. Mm -hmm. I do kind of want to play Saint Row, but then part of me is like, do I really want to play Saint Row? <laughs> I, wanna, I, I do. Wanna, I'm probably gonna review Destroy Humans Reprobed. Uh, the two, two reprobed. Two, two play uh, component. Yeah, because right? it's two player. And, I want to like, play with you, Paul. I, I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember back in the day, like you could oh, like <laughs> level up your ship where you could like grab cars and throw them and, mm -hmm. and like i i, yeah, I want to just... do stuff like that see that's what i'm worried that they're going to do x because it's just like you look at something like that that is a game that you don't feel like they don't have to put a whole whole lot of money into you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying like because you look at destroy humans and it's like that is the definition of like a really solid double a game mm -hmm. and it's just like when they picked up like tomb raider and stuff and i'm just like i love that they got them away from evil square enix <laughs> but it, it, it's just like are they going to let them and properly fund them mm -hmm. to do what Square Enix was right. doing? Because regardless what kind of bad rep Square Enix got for how they were handling that company, they did fund them. Mm. They just didn't like anything. Mm. That they yeah, did. I mean, I'm saying Embracer, they, they haven't, they, they're making AAA games as well, right? So that's what they said anyway. I don't know what, you know, budget-wise budget what that means, mm -hmm. but they said there's going to be AAA games as well. Square so Enix we'll would sell 10 million copies or something. You know what? I I think this was good, but yeah, we could have did 15 million. Like, why didn't we do 15 million? Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely look out for that. Uh, we do have merchandise that should be coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's just it's time consuming, guys. You don't. Uh, we got to have someone make it. Then we got to uh, go back and forth on how we want the actual artwork to look. Uh, mm -hmm. There are new products that is in Teespring that I'm probably going to work with King to to get. They have like new like shorts that they got new new stuff that takes like the entire area of your yes, shirt right. of your of your shorts. So I, I do want to take more advantage of that. And they got a lot more women wear because, and I do feel like we don't have a lot of stuff for yeah. women. I mean, I'm sure that. We probably only have a couple percent of people that follow us that are women, but we 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 do need to do better on making yes. sure that you guys got stuff to buy if you want to. Agree. Uh, so we are looking into stuff like that. I, like I said, I will be most likely next week, next month. It's just ridiculous with the, the games that are coming out. Yeah. Like, and then you, and then not to mention next year. Next year, this next six months is probably gonna be the best gaming's been in a long time. Like, it's it's ridiculous, especially if Starfield. And Redfall actually come out during that first part of the year, like they say they are. Mm -hmm. Like it's and, it, uh, God of War next year. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, no, you did not say that. God of War next year. You know what? You know what, King? You triggered my trap card. <laughs> I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> oh, you didn't just you didn't just answer my call to your call. Uh, <laughs> that's right, buddy. I got that too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Lord of oh, Wicked of Five. God of War is definitely coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you ain't got that right there. <laughs> Here, I, B. I, 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 do, I do, but I change it to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I'm done. They they, they they talk about us extending the podcast. Yeah. yeah anyway, to apologize. <laughs> it's, 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 just, it's just time when it comes to their. When it know, comes to their time to their narratives. Yeah. Their no narratives. Time. 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 Ain't no time. Yes. No time. <laughs> so we're gonna find people find you. Too, I gotta go to work. So you know you can find me there, but you know you'll find Papa Gabe in the Steam Deck with me. So, you know, get ready for that Spider Man. We gonna get you a Steam Deck emoji now. Use a Steam Deck guy. Can we just start having weekly segments of your time with the Steam Deck? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But, what but do you along call with a the Steam Deck, see, there, boy. What do but you call along it? with the Steam Deck comes like you, you see. This is where you fail to realize oh, that boy. I I'm, I'm up in my game elsewhere. Along with the Steam Deck, I I am home sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. 
So then I'm gonna have the 3090 Ti, and then what you gonna say? Ooh. Then what you gonna say? Oh no, no, uh, he, he, no, no, he's. It's that, it's that. I'm He's just saying. Now, now I'm ashamed, y'all. Now I'm ashamed. He's shaving the crew. He's shaving the crew now. You're cut. You're cut. It's fine. It, then we'll, talk about, we'll talk about the 3090, and we'll leave Bobby. the Steam Deck off. <laughs> you, you just want me to talk about the 3090 version of the game? Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about the 3090. Well, nah, Steam Deck's cool. I guess like it's not necessarily anything to do with you solve but mm-hmm. like the same people that like clowned on like Listen. switch games now they all about so, i know the steve yes i've, I've seen stuff. some of that narrative online yeah. that's so that's funny it's just like to me it's just like dude at the end They're of the like, day 30 fps like, is fantastic like see I, i'm sitting i'm like i don't mind playing 30 frame games if i have to if mm-hmm. i have to i will play that but I, i'm not gonna like demand 60 and then go to a platform that doesn't do yeah it. no no i'll tell you this i mean i spend that's why i'm tweaking it so much because you know i'm not really about that 30 on that steam deck either you know what i'm saying like, Actually, now these dudes are gonna complain because they did four hours but they yeah it's like, funny it's <laughs> funny it's like oh, god it's too long every up they they sit there and get their balls i love it it's great <laughs> so yeah that's it um that's what i'm gonna do i got work today so um, let me read these two super chats quick get them out of the way mm-hmm. not, not get them out of the way but get mm-hmm. them Get yeah. us moving. Yeah. <laughs> Still got this game about choice. Mm-hmm. Five dollars. Who chat? Sony's a quarterback that said my offense sucks and wonders why they start getting sacked. <laughs> Great show. <laughs> Salute. Then amazing deal. Two dollars. Super chat still crying, laughing. Oh my god. Great Salute. show. Thank you, brother. Salute. Salute. Tell Salute. a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like, y'all. Make sure y'all Sony do that. Quarterback yeah. that says, I'm gonna go out there and win with those bums. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, you stupid. And, and I still, I, I uh, still want to see how that uh, that membership gift can work, man. Yes, I still yes. see how that Oh, works. that's right. We got that feature. We've seen it a couple times. Yeah, we people have. People have uh, blessed us. Let's see how it works. You see the bad times? I got to see it again, man. Oh, uh, I got to see, it again. I gotta see it again. I don't remember how it works. You don't remember how it works. You can see it in this episode. Like. I don't uh, what it looks like. Anyway, Lord King, uh, the king of the stop snitching movement. That's right. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> Where can the five people find you, Jeff? Go to us, they can find me not snitching. <laughs> That's exactly where you can find me. You can find me not in the witness protection program. <laughs> That's what you can do. And you can find me holding my head up high as an Xbox consumer. Stay tall, you stay tall. Yo, you know what? From talk now that on, talk, King. Now, from now, now <laughs> he on, man. Here he go. You got it. You got it. No more, man. You know, oh, this shades is for the dudes that's in the witness protection. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> stupid. <laughs> you know, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta see who you are out there. <laughs> And you, you, you dudes is looking mighty funny, yeah. man. Yo, yeah. I've never thought I'd see the day. Mm. King is definitely young, blind. He sent that, me a screenshot, and his texts are like this. Big. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Continue. Uh, Continue. So what? I don't care. <laughs> um, Let's go. Yeah, you, you was blind way before me. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, King. <laughs> Yo, now he's to keep bothering me. <laughs> And, and I like to squabble. Yeah, why are you shooting me? <laughs> Unlike Sony, but yo, a young Sony, I, mm. I would never have thought that this young brash dude that was out there knuckle busting, fighting, PS1. taking names, running in people houses, Ruben, holding people wrong. down, doing all the dirt in the streets. Yeah. At yeah. the end of the day, as soon as he get mopped <laughs> in his mouth, he was gonna sit there and start pointing things <laughs> out and giving up the whole organization. <laughs> Since when we do that? Damn. I thought this was like Costa Nostra. I thought we were supposed to blood in and blood out. You dudes is breaking all the rules. I don't, on all honesty, I don't know how you Sony dudes can rap these dudes like this. Like, and don't ever come at me talking about Sony got bangers. Y'all got rats. Oh, <laughs> man. Wow. Y'all got cheese. Jesus. <laughs> so I don't ever, I, this is an indictment against you. <laughs> Why is that, it indictment? That paperwork that came out. The I'm the paper, new whack 100. What paperwork for you came out? <laughs> it wasn't no paperwork. paperwork. I got your paperwork. <laughs> we saw you was in Brazil. <laughs> we saw you was out there snitching. Please. Yo, how everybody in the room ain't say a word but you. <laughs> you the only dude. And everybody can put everybody looking at you like, yo, come on, my man. <laughs> you know how we get down. And you sitting here. You was about the game. Uh, now you were out of the game. This is see, and this is how I know it ain't gonna be a PlayStation Six. Uh huh. The PlayStation sold in the hood. Mm. 
the hood don't rep no rats. <laughs> you're done in the hood. So oh I, I guess I guess you're gonna have to sell, sell to the suburbs. And you know the <laughs> sell suburbs. To the suburbs. Oh, what? You know the suburbs. The suburbs. Only run with the hood. Oh my god. So you done out here right now? You are gonna be at the gas stations? They're gonna be selling PlayStation Five at the gas stations. <laughs> Yo, how the thug? You know, I feel so sorry for the scalpers that got these PlayStations. They were sorry for them. The indictment papers <laughs> came out. They was like, yo, these worth nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> y'all not selling because y'all snitching. Stop snitching. The shirts is coming out soon. <laughs> Stop snitching. <laughs> this is the movement. This yo, the get movement. behind me. <laughs> Stay away from those dudes over there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. This Find man. me on Twitter. <laughs> not snitching. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Somebody um, clip that, put that up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Lord Cognito. <laughs> and this is another episode of, <laughs> of, of the King and the of Other the Guys. The King podcast. and the Other Guys podcast. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Let him get his bars off. Man, what a show. Again, salute to the legend. Salute to Jason Rubin. <laughs> salute to the chat. Everybody, call Brittany the Super Chat because they're not going to stop Super Chat. They're not going to stop with these. Stop yeah, the moment super the chat. super chat's over, man, click. We got to click because they not gonna let us there go. Yeah, Necromancer says, "Hey, five dollars super chat. When is the new Sony Stop Stitching merch coming out? <laughs> got anything <laughs> go, else? Go, go, go. All right, cool. All right, we out of here. We See y'all next week. Peace. People don't walk out though. Thank <laughs> you.